adverse or financial events, including myself, thought that through the increase in interest rates, liquidity had tightened or would tighten, when in fact the increase in interest rates in the US, certainly, but also in Europe, occurred from such a low level to start with, because in the EU we had negative interest rates until 2022. So uh, we had this increase in interest rates, but financial conditions did not tighten. Mm -hmm. And it reminds me of an uh, argument Milton Friedman made, and it is also my observation. Say you look at Turkey, Turkey has an inflation rate of around 100% and the interest rates are at 100%, but money is not tight. The absolute level of interest rates tells you nothing whether money is tight or not. Uh, what tells you something about uh, whether money is tight or not is that in a tight monetary environment, the stock market doesn't go up normally. <laughs> and <laughs> the bond spreads widen considerably. In other words, junk bonds decline much more than treasuries. And in a tight monetary condition, uh, the VIX index source goes up strongly but we are near record lows. So what the Fed did is it increased interest rates, but it made money available to the banking system through all kinds of facilities. And therefore money didn't become tight. In fact, from, Octo from the October low, 2023, until today, monetary conditions have been extremely expansionary. And as a result of that, I think that inflation will not come down much and actually in the second half of the year accelerate. Yeah, I mean, we've seen uh, we've seen inflation come down and the. Did you get it all? There you go. Good morning, everybody. Uh, uh, well, I uh, wrote somebody. I didn't trade it that way because I'm so crazy. But look at this chart. I can't do that backwards. But it's a uh, upside down head and shoulders pattern one way of judging it is it's a head and upside down head and shoulders pattern so this pullback if you're a chartist could be forming the other shoulder and uh here's here's the chart looking straight up anyway head and shoulders is great you're gonna have you could have a huge move now to the upside but anyway if if one had courage one would have sold it at 290 expecting them to pull it back but we'll hear what ham says I didn't do that. Oh, they had a halt. They had a halt. Let me see. Wow, 200 to 40, 240, 203. Yeah, but it's no volume. It's no volume. I mean, this this drop off is less than a thousand shares. Nobody's selling. It's all incredible fraud. Pullbacks are good and healthy. Yes, I think so. Why is ZJL down so easily but struggles <laughs> going up? Well, I used to have a theory that the reason stocks go down so quickly, they've already been there. They've already been there. To make them go up, it's new territory. It's, it's uh, 
no one can conceive of it yet. One thing I don't know uh, it, who the gentleman was yesterday, but this is an example. If you bought, I think I'm trying. I can almost see his name in my head. But if you bought some on the opening and then you put a couple of orders below the market, you they got hit off. Hey, Eunice. Uh, I guess he's going to call in when he calls in. He he. He said, go, 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 go. We got things to do. We got things to say. And I'd rather, I, my hair looks terrible. My hair looks terrible. <laughs> I'd much rather be in Philadelphia. Um, hey, Zizu, you're number one on the comments list. Hey, Mad Gun. Hammer time. Tony Saint, I hope so. Hey, Red Pepper. I'm so um, nervous about my. There we go. Calls her on pin. Let me make sure. Hello. Yeah, I just gotta gotta make sure the speaker is available for you. Yeah, okay, so that should work. And there we go. You're on. Hold on one second. Give me one second. I'll, I'll choose to answer the call at a better time. For you. I'm just, I, someone just told me that uh, Interactive Broke is offering 800000 to lend again in CJYL. So there's no stock and they're offering to lend it out again. I'm sure it's from the. I'm sure that there's plenty of stock. <laughs> they can't they can't give the client the 500,000 shares they want, but they have plenty of stock to lend out. Well, this drop, I think, is less than a thousand shares, maybe less than 500 shares. It, listen, it is what it is anyway. Uh, you know, I, I've always been taught buy the dip, sell the rip. So, you know, as a player, that's is when you buy it. That's my opinion. That's what I say. Let's move on to a different subject. I'll get to ZJYL in a little bit. Uh, the other day, there was a story. Let's see if I have it in my profile. I can't remember where I posted it. About the Europeans. The story is about the Europeans killing the U.S. equity markets. I'm trying to find that story again. Mm, 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 mm. Give me one sec. Boy, I post a lot. And it's also well written. <laughs> hey, I was paid to trade, not to post nonsense all day. This is ridiculous. I sent you a story from 2004. Did you read it? From I a, read it. A, a guy that I know, follow. We knew about it back then, correct? Yeah, but I, I still, you know better than I do. I think it's gotten worse since they tried to put a patch on it with Reg Show. No, that was just they, they you know, that's they just tried to create something to, uh, to play the game. But anyway, the story the other day was the European regulators. I'm just trying to find the headline of the story. I know I sent it to everybody. I can't figure out where it is. Maybe Take I should you, William. Pick Take a, it easy, William. Maybe William. I should Take pick a easy. better time for you to answer my phone. Well, you, my mind is going at 200 miles an hour, so it's easy. It's we're not, not. It's not easy to. We're at a full stop. <laughs> Anyway, if anybody can repost the story, we talked about the Europeans killing the U.S. equity markets. What what service that was, was it on? I can Google it. No, it was someone 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 had written the story. Was it Kristen? Look on Kristen's. I can't remember. But uh, 
they we talked about the story about the Europeans killing the U.S. equity markets. Everybody knows the fails to deliver are laying in all these houses offshore, right? All the clearing firms offshore. Right. Finver has no. Uh, they they don't they don't go after them. They all know it's there. That whatever it is, they allow this thing to exist offshore. Right. Whether it's in the Canadian depository, this place, wherever it is, they're hiding all these shares. Today, or yesterday, the SEC said that they warned the European Union that they're going to force settlement and you know faster. They didn't say they they didn't say they're they didn't put this story out that they were. Forcing settlement and forcing settlement faster. They warned. The story is they warned the Europeans. This is a this is like unbelievable. They're telling you. One gentleman t- tweeted to me, "I got to wait till May." Well, I've been doing this for twenty years. So again, uh, this stuff is like out of control. But they're warning. They're warning the European regulators about the upcoming settlement problem that's coming up. They're warning them. And now the SEC is telling them. All right. So I don't know about you, but if they were to shut it down in one day, we would have 5,000 GameStops going off. All right. This is very different. They're, they're, They're tipping off the shorts to try to cover their positions. Maybe that's why you've seen a rally in the market, you know, while everything is falling apart. The stock market keeps rallying, like William said, they're going to see a spike up in the actual Dow. Maybe the shorts are starting to cover in the bigger names and moving down, down the down to the smaller names as we see. All right, but there's definitely something going on behind the scenes. The SEC is making moves that you know we haven't seen before. All right, and it's coming. All right, William, do, do you, uh, I think maybe because of uh, the South Korean people, the, the India, everybody making a snap well, about if it. If you have to move trades from LLC to LLC to avoid settlement date, it's going to be hard to do it the same day. It's going to create havoc. All right. The, the small time guys are the biggest criminals. They're most likely going to walk away from the from from the market. They're going to walk away and leave a lot of people holding the bag, and that's why they're doing this slowly because they know everybody's going to walk away and people are going to get hold in the bag. I'm just looking for the story. I can't seem to find it anywhere. I wonder if I did post it. So Meekers wants to ask you why is it that ZJYL can go down so easily but struggles to go up? Do you think markets are committing fraud? Market makers are committing Absolutely. fraud. Absolutely. <laughs> well, no, listen, it, it, someone is here trying to hold it down. I just posted it. If it, Here it is. A million dollar naked short selling scheme. Hold on. Schemer. It's, hold on. A trillion dollar naked short selling scam is Europe destroying American companies. That's the story. And I'll repost it again for everybody. And this is now the SEC is 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 addressing this to the Europeans in this statement. Hold on, making a statement. Rap bastard. Anyway, I just want to make sure that everybody understands it. The SEC, this is how they move. What was the matter? Check Peach tells me my hair always looks good. I know she's capable of a, of a white lie. Oh, anyway, so <laughs> I'll just I'll just hop around. To me, the SEC is, t- is telling everybody it's getting close to showtime that the frauds are going to be caught. That's what they're telling me. They can't they can't allow this to continue. Everybody knows about it. MMTLP, everybody's, you know, the truck. We've done so much. And now you got foreign countries. You got the uh, enforcement agencies looking at it. You know, Secret Service, FBI, DOJ, FINMA is under attack. The SEC is under attack. 
and they're sending a they're, they're sending a warning shot over to the Europeans saying enough of this, All right? We're going to start forcing the issue. So the lawyers like Gibson Dunn. They'll be relaying the message to all the criminals they represent. All the lawyers will start saying, okay, the SEC is getting serious here. If you do have a problem, <laughs> they'll clear their throat saying, I'm going to leave the room. You need to start fixing yourself here. And I think that's what you're saying. So I think the attack in Fig Motion has been generated because they know that this was coming down. Because it's been, it's been down since October 10th, relentless selling every day. So I, I think that, you know, you have to find your own poison and figure, figure out what stocks that you can think to take advantage of it. It's coming up to May. All right. The SEC is warning them in advance. All right. So covering 200 million shares of stock in finger motion is not going to be easy or GTII or whatever stock it is. All right. So there's massive problems. And they all know where it lies. The story tells you it lies in Europe and these clearing firms. That's what's happening here. All right. So they're giving us a heads up on this whole thing now. ZJYL, they printed some stock, they mark it down. And I always told you if they thought they could win, let it go to 500, 600. They can't win. Someone's in deadly trouble here. And this is their attempt to try to get people to sell. But as we heard, there's a big buyer around, and you can see them scooping it up. I know nobody on this call bought 10,000 shares of the stock, so someone is buying it who's got balls of steel, but that's who's doing it. Any questions, William? Um, I'm going to tell Chuck Peach, Dobre Ultra, or uh, Toya Moy Pes. Listen, that more point question. Those are the did only you, two words you, I know. Uh, did your boy, did your boy Djokovic get his ass kicked? Like yeah, that? he. Yeah, I, I think. I had my, to turn it off. Was, I, I was, think like he was his, playing tennis like you. I thought it was you out there. I think it's time to move on. Let the youngsters. Where's Djokovic? Let this the youngsters. This is William playing tennis out there. Couldn't get a serve in. Couldn't do anything right. Yeah. Um, um, all good things come to an end, just like the cream is. All good things come to an end. Jail, Alpine jail, Lynn Partners jail, Yorkville will get the paper trade paper thing. Also, look at Ages Capital, everybody. I posted up their their investments. Everyone, everyone was wiped out. Yet they're out there bragging that they did all this investments. I think Z <laughs> you're going to laugh at me, but I think ZJYL is doing an upside down head and shoulders pattern. So it's about to launch to the moon. But, you know, the volume right now, Ham, is 14,029. I think that's less than a thousand shares. It's they've dropped it forty five dollars. So the buying came in this morning. People were buying it. They, sh they shorted it. All right, they're borrowing shares from Interactive Brokers, who's float showing 800,000 shares to borrow. Act Interactive Brokers has every share on the street that they can lend out. Yesterday, there was no shares to lend out, and today, there's 800,000 shares to lend out. If you don't think that is fraud, every other day, they have 800,000 to lend out. Can you imagine how much they're paying to borrow the shares for the day? I bet you they're paying $20 a share for every share they lend out. $20, $25 a share, maybe more each day. Because the, if they're lending it out, they're charging these guys an arm and a leg. They're saying, okay, you want to short it? We'll lend it out, but you're going to pay us $25 a share, $30 a share. And you, if you're the short seller, what are you going to say? We'll pay anything. We can't stop it from going up until they have to return it. Because every three days, because now they're going to be short. They're going to be short 20 to 1 next week. Yeah. Listen, everybody, this game is so rigged that you can see it coming a mile away. 
And that's why, you know, that's why I brought to the attention of this crazy stock. Is because the uh, you get to see the fraud and you get to, you know, understand what's going on. I'm just looking for the uh, the actual document that they filed. Why don't you let us know when there's a better time to give you a call? I wasn't home. I just I'm doing my work as I walked in, and I'm trying to, to just, get to the board of directors. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll post the ZJYL special meeting because someone asked me about that they go i don't even see what they say 20 it's on it's on the sec site and it's in your emails if you have it there's a proxy in your email well i don't own the stock so i don't get any information uh, let me let me see if i can find it in my email i only got to be to vote uh six shares <laughs> out of my have, big position of seven Right. Um, build a balanced portfolio with fractional shares at interactive brokers. Oh, I'm telling you, it's all a scam. They want you, you can buy a fractional share of the stock. Yeah. So here it is, Ham. I'll try to, well, they're now. Let me see if I can open it up. Special meeting. Special meeting is to be held Tuesday, January 30, 2024. Vote by January 29th, 2024. The special meeting date is what day? Uh, Tuesday, January 30. Everything, everything about the market is, I don't know how they can allow it. I I well, only am able to vote way, six way. shares out of 17. How is that right? I know it's so not I a big told you they, they, they try to hide the numbers. Anyway, just think of this. Every company does corporate, corporate things and the stock settlement controls everything, but the, co the company's got no control over anything, zero. Think about that. The company has a 21 forward split. The shorts have moved around, you know, or dividends, whatever it may be. It's the tail wagging the dog. The dog is the public company, yet the tail is wagging it. That is the stock settlement system. How does the stock settlement system control public companies? Has nothing to do with it. They're not inventing the cure for cancer. They're not inventing anything. They're just destroying the equity markets because of the numbers, and that's all it is. It has nothing to do with the stock market. Zero. Well, it just shows that you can't uh, hypothecate. Re you can't turn the securities market into fractional reserve banking because shares are not fungible. Every share comes with a vote. Right. For example... Listen, I don't know what the game plan is at the high level, but I know one thing that when you stop the music, everyone needs a seat. That's it. What am I buying? If they're going to tell you that you don't own anything, you have no rights and you have no clue what's going on in the equity market, you should never be in it. At least have the balls to tell everybody you're being ripped off. Tell us the scam. Tell us what they're doing. At least have the nerve to tell us. Saying nothing and doing nothing is the worst thing they can do. Everyone just loses because they... It's out of control. That's it. And we're trying to help you understand what's going on. I can't fix it. I can point it. I can show you what's going on. I can show you the crimes. But again, we can always fight as one and try to stop it. So what the SEC requires the company to do is reg FD and FD's full disclosure. By requiring that companies disclose material information, Reg FD aims to ensure all investors have equal access to the company's material disclosures at the same time. So don't you think the overall market should disclose <laughs> that they're going to screw you? Listen, 
the rules are slanted. We're trying to expose it and teach you about it. All right. You're learning again. And with buying small amounts of a stock, you're learning and seeing what happens with a forward split. Here's another person, Silver Minecart, owns 20 shares and he only got to vote 10. Right. <laughs> I told you that. They try to make the shares look like uh, they try to make, you know, they try to make uh, 100 shares look like 500 shares. So instead of hey, everybody Scott. getting a full vote, they keep spreading it out. Most people get their vote cards and just vote. They don't even look at it. All right. Right. Uh, ah, what am I going to vote for? What am I going to vote for? It's not an event. What do I care if they forward split the stock? I don't care. But again, if you look at the way ZYGL is trading, they did the quick knock it down because they didn't want it to go past 300. All right. Hold it down. And now it's 215, 229, one share by one share. There's nothing going on. It stopped. And none, shares, none, not, no shares have traded again. So after the bear raid, it stopped dead. Finger motion, the same pattern. Market down, they're washing trades, crossing stock, and there's nothing going on. It's traded 123,000 shares. Most of it was fake. And we're here an hour into this trading, and nothing's happened. When the selling stops and the manipulation stops, the stocks will rise. That's how it goes. What am I basing it on? Well, the SEC is telling the Europeans they're going to force settlement, uh, enforce settlement in March, whatever day it is. They're warning you. You're getting inside information that shit's going to hit the fan. Make your own determination of buy, or buy whatever you want to do. That's your business. But something's coming down. This game, they, they've been exposed and they can't hide the fact anymore. And I'm telling you, if you, you're short ZJYL, any trader on the street, the only person doing this is a fraud. There's nobody on the street would do this trade. You're out of your bird. They're paying, they're paying, I'm telling you, $25, $30 a share in fees to borrow shares that don't exist. Think about the stock loan there today. Hey, we lent out 20,000 shares. And we're getting thirty dot. We're getting thirty dollars a share today. That's a nice. That's a nice profitable day, right? Mm -hmm. Think about Goldman doing that all over the place, making numbers up. What's the stock like? Well, it's very volatile. Twenty five dollars a share. IBM. That's three dollars a share. The Tesla. You want to show a Tesla? That's ten dollars a share. They just make up numbers based on supply and demand. That's all it is. Since the supply is endless, they imagine how much money Goldman is making. And Pat Byrne made that statement, correct? Right. William? Right. Goldman Sachs doesn't make any money. They make money with their stock loan business. That's it. I, I think the number was 86% of the revenue is from stock loan. And then 85% of that is profit. Something like that. Right. Right. GDC is picking up its ugly head, getting it back over, hopefully get back over to two. Bullfrog might be doing something. Bullfrog AI up 15 cents, 678. I'm trying to, another one of your followers says process pharmaceuticals, cancer treatment might interest you. It's down, but they, they just did an offering, 7 million common stock with uh, pre-funded warrants. To me, pre-funded warrants just are a bribe to the CEO to do the deal. If I understand what a pre-funded warrant is, the company gets the money now instead of later. But the warrants are the hedge that allows the criminals to continue selling stock downward. I'll give you an example. I'll, I'll go over the Uber IPO. All right. The stock was going to be hot on the IPO. So Morgan Stanley used the called it calls it a green shoe where they're yeah, yeah, green shoe. Yeah. So they're allowed to naked short because all the supply that was people coming in to buy it. So it opened up, it ran to 44. I'm just I'm trying to probably off all my numbers. Morgan Stanley laid into it, naked shorting it. It dropped to 30. 
Morgan Stanley had the right to buy stock back at 38 from the company. They shorted it 42 millions, maybe 10 million shares, 20 million shares, who the hell knows, on the IPO day. The stock drops to 30. Did Morgan Stanley pay 38 to buy it from the company or just sat there and covered in the open market down to $32? What do you think they did with it? Well, they used the green shoe. Um, they, they used the green shoe to short. To, to short, to keep, to keep the stock from going up. And then they bought back underneath the offering price, booking oh, a profit. Didn't buy, they did never call the company up and buy it at 38 off of that green shoe agreement. Right. They let the stock drop down to 32. Yeah. They just and make they a buy profit. It down there. So yeah. they made 10 points instead of four points. Mm hmm. And they used the excuse of the, uh, the green shoe that they, that, you know, they had the they had the right to make it short mm -hmm. into the IPO, and that's what they've done. Yeah. So it's the same thing as you're talking about everything. Here. Everything on Wall Street becomes a trading vehicle. They don't care about the company. They just want to be able to trade around the prices and book a short-term profit. That's all they do, and they get they, a credit if they're a hedge fund. 60% of their short-term gains, 15 seconds or greater, 60% is taxed as long-term capital gains. It's encouraged by Congress. So they, they're basically, they're using every trick in the book, naked shorting, but with a naked short, they need a hedge to protect them. And I just showed you a, a technique they use on an IPO. Yeah. They had a, it's called a green shoe. Exactly. It gives them the right to make it short because they expect all this buying pressure to come in. And they wanted, the Morgan Stanley had that right because when the buying pressure comes in, they can actually help people. They can actually help people, you know, buy the stock by selling into you. All right. But Morgan Stanley is supposed to call the company back and buy it from the company at 38, support the stock at 38. Morgan Stanley didn't do that. They let it fall like a, brick down to 32. The company's saying, hey, you want to buy the stock at 38? And Morgan Stanley said, no, 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 we're okay. And they buy it and they cover in the open market at 32. The company never gets those funds at 38, right? Morgan Stanley never, can never finished the transaction. If the stock runs back up to 50, they can do it again, short against that, that right. It goes back up, they short it, and they, if say it gets away from them, and they're shorting it, and it's 45, 47, they're shorting the shit out of it. They call the company up and say, hey, we'll buy it at 38 now. Well, another so way, if, if I guess Morgan Stanley is raising money, they're going to sell 20 million shares at whatever, 25 bucks. The green shoe is another 5 million shares. I'm making it up. If the stock somehow just triples or quadruples on the opening day, then they go get those shares from the company at the low price. The company doesn't benefit from the higher price. But most of the time, like Cam just said, that's just a hedge. That's a cap. And as the stock sells off, because in the IPO market, everyone just flips the stock for a quick profit. All your geniuses at your hedge funds that charge you. They're charging you 2%, 20%. We have great performance. We're, we're effing geniuses. All they're doing is taking stock and flipping it. I mean, you could do that. Your child could do that. You know? A homeless person could do it. Yeah. And that's what they do. Um, so uh, KP Singh is yeah. asking the question everyone is wondering. What are you hoping to sell ZJYL for? Well, I'm um, first I have to buy it. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> any money for it. <laughs> if I had if I had a stock that was moving up, I would sell something and go buy it, but I don't have the money. My stocks aren't moving, so I'm basically just sitting like I'm basically sitting standing like the Statue of Liberty and I I've said that. I I I'm a I'm a I'm a person that believes in what I'm following and I can't jump around because I don't have the money. If I had the money, I can jump around, but I do not have the money. So asking me that question is, I said that when the stock dips, 
I would be a buyer. When the stock rips, I would sell. If I bought two shares, you sell one and you own, you take away the, I don't care if it's $70. You, if you pay 200 and you sold one share and you made 70, your, your break even is 130. If you buy it back and you do it again, your break even is 60. And you do it three times and you own the stock for free. That's the way you have to trade these things. And if you can do it and build a position into it, it's great. But again, you're going to get, you're going to be, you're going to be 20 to the one next week. We all see what happens on a reverse when a company does a stock reverse. MULN destroyed, root destroyed, CEI destroyed. You, this endless G and every all these companies that do it, they're dead. The Let's latest was uh, Vocal V O C L D. Let's see. Let's see how this is the path forward is doing. Uh, Two sixty. So. If my you divide that by 500. My friend breaks even on his investment on $4 million at $15. What's the probability that this thing is going to go back up? It's going, it opened at three, right? Whatever it was yeah. the other day. Yeah, something like that. And what happened? It's just slowly three, drifting down. Adjusting it for the split, it's trading at 0. 0.0052. So it's half a penny. No, it's worse than half. No, that's right. Half a penny. So he got the hot money out. He did do that. I don't think the hot money will ever be back to vocal. Ah, now he has a problem, right? Oh no, you want you want to get rid of the hot money. Um so th this is where this is where that he cut his throat on Wall Street. And the only people that are on his side are the devils. All right, so he's got no he's got no help from anyone buying the stock. Everybody around it knows that he's he said he wasn't going to reverse and he did the complete opposite, right? Right. 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 So that's that now you can see what happened, right? I mean, so again, you you, you he 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 aligned himself with the money. For some crazy reason, and now he has to choke with them because they're not going to help him. They just get, they just want, they're not going to give you money unless they can sell it. That's it. Everybody says the same thing. We got rules, someone enforce them. And I believe that the SEC is going to have no choice. The SEC is going to have to answer a lot of serious questions in the coming days on MMTLP. Everybody knows this. They won't give them the blue sheet. They know there's too many shares. The court's ruling. The court ruled that they can't give the information because the, the people that are, you know, Mark Brazil filing to get the blue sheet investigation, they want us, they won't give us the information because that makes the case. You understand? They want the uh, Mark Brazil to actually have the proof and then they can get the blue sheet investigation. So it, it, the courts are protecting, obviously, the criminals here. They don't want they don't want to give you the evidence that's going to hang their own. The other people. side can so, say everything they want to say without evidence. Right. There oh, it doesn't happen. They, it, you know, they're just uh, nefarious characters. Uh, you know, no evidence. So, so that's what happened in MMT. But the senators and the representatives that signed that letter, they're all demanding Senator Crapo. Capo, Crapo, whatever his name is. They wanted an answer from the SEC crapo. in January. Crapo. What is his name? Crapo. crapo. Like a crepe. Whatever. Not cra Crapo well, like a toilet. He's Crapo to me until he does something. I don't know how they're not standing there demanding the SEC. I would walk into that hall with all the cameras on and hold a press conference and say, the SEC's got three days. I want the information, the blue sheet investigation on this company. It's a disgrace that the shareholders are being screwed. That's all he has to say. Then go do what he's got to do. Who gives a shit what he does afterwards? So on a stock you own, GDC is a should. If one were planning to add to a position, should they buy now or let it drop first? I let it. Let's. I told you, watch that ZJYL. If it goes, then it'll go into here. So I, you know, this. You know, 
I, I know, but should it. you buy now that GDC is almost two? Should you buy it now? Or should you wait for it to it, pull back? The stock has been acting so awful since I've been involved. I, you know, I'm just looking for something to turn it and stabilize it. That's all. So, but again, I know the people that have bought it and they're not concerned. So I won't be concerned. I'm trying not to look at it. But again, I have no, I can't do anything. I'm not going to sell anything to go run into something else. So that's just not how I operate. So it's, um, it's stupid. You know, you can't sell a loser and go into and make money on something else, right, William? Yeah, you can but date I, a loser. I too. believe, I believe, I, I'm, just, I'm so strongly believe what I'm in that I'm not going to move away. Jay, I'm going to give you my opinion. I would buy it now. It looks like it's Who's going that, up. J R. No, J R. Abrams. But I, I would buy it. It looks good to me, and it looks like it finally hit lows i guess two day, three days ago and it's making higher lows higher highs let's just watch, let, let, i'd let's buy see it what they do these guys are trying to buy a lot of stock let's see what they do i don't know yeah. what they're doing yeah you know that i'm told they're trying to accumulate a big position so i don't know where they are what they're doing i have no idea if you want to buy it you buy 20 percent of what you want to buy if you want to buy a thousand shares you buy 200 now at least you got your foot in the door if it goes. If you don't, you could buy it. If they hit it back down again, you could buy it. You could be, you know, don't don't go all in at one time is what I'm trying to say. Tiptoe into it. I think I'm it's... staying with the horses that got me here. You know, that's what I'm doing. I know all the gory details about finger and GTII and this one and that one. GDC, I'm following somebody. That's that's the information I got there. ZJYL. It's a crazy thing. It's all over the place. Someone has obviously got a big problem here. And they don't know what to do with themselves. Let's see what happens going into the Do you think ZJYL might have a rally by the end of the day? Because who wants to I, be short over the weekend? I don't know who would want to be short going into be 20 to 1. If you short a 1,000 shares, you're going to be short 20 next week. All they're doing is trying to blast it, trying to make $50 on you know 2,000 shares, trying to steal 100,000. But when they go to try to cover, there's no sellers. So <laughs> the short's only taking it. If William's the big short, and when I and I sold 2,000 rounds, and William's telling me, just stay put, you're going to be good. At the end of the day, I'm saying, fuck you, William. I'm going to cover my 2,000 shares. You know, finger motion announces particip participation in micro-conference. Uh, Ramon Harris asks, I mean, Ramon, my opinion is, um, they all use computers and th right around $300. If it goes through it one more time, it's broken out, but that's just jerky charts. Ramon asked yesterday, the shorts looked dead. Now they're attacking it again. Uh, 200, 300 share price, really a problem for them. Is it really? It's obvious. It's, you know, it's obvious. The other day it was 225. Remember I posted this. Look at this. They're trying to hold it below 225 at all costs. Right. The other day it was 200. They pushed it down from 240 down to 160. They pulled it below two. Right. They attacked it real quick. Down a hundred, hundred dollars real quick. Then it, it gathers and it builds momentum and it turns up and now into 300. They push it back down. And what is it? The uh, I'll use the old higher lows. It's going, you know, 160 the other day. Now we're at 215. So that that low is higher than the 160. If you're going to talk chart nonsense, but again. This is manipulation 101. So a couple people have asked if what what your update is on a potential MMTLP settlement. But before you answer, I'll tell you that Kit Kitteridge, who has always proven to be uh, a very rational and uh, informative investor, he says. Uh, as NBH proves up more reservoirs, the settlement price goes higher. Uh, February 22nd is his target date for a resolution. Scott Van Dyke says, how do you know that? And Kit Kitteridge says, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if it's true. It sounds like maybe a month away for a resolution. Um, I would believe him as much as I would believe anyone. 
I yeah. personally don't see why they're already in 2024. What's the rush? You can do it in December and still. But, yeah. I guess the rush is that the value keeps going up. Um, Yaba Rumba says finger attack is anemic today. Barely got it down five cents. Volume is well, higher. The company just put out next week. I wrote down. If you want to see the company, go to AC. I'm sure they will update good news, not bad news, in front of investors. And that's his participation in the micro cap conference in Atlantic City. I didn't read the whole thing. I don't know what. It's a couple of days to show. January 30th, 30th, 31st, and 1st at the Caesars. Uh, we'll be presenting on Wednesday, January 31st at 1230. If you want to see the CEO, go right there. If anyone does go, if they can videotape it and post it for everybody who can't go, I will be there. And I don't know if I'm very good at videotaping things, but I'll try. I'm going down with three people, so. Going down. And we're going to knock on every company there and just ask them, how are, you def how are you defending yourself against naked shorts? And when they say, well, we don't think we have naked shorts, I'm going to say, thank you very much. I'm going to short your stock because you're going to zero. That's, how I'm that's all I'm going to say to them. Thank you. I'm a short seller, and I'm going to short your stock because you have no defense. You're defenseless. Thank you. I'm going to post my thoughts on Twitter about you. That's what I'm going to tell them. Then the guy's gonna faint. Uh, Jim Hegenstaller asks you, Lind hijacked Finger's share price. Do they just turn the naked shorting now over to the algos to do the dirty work or are they sitting behind a computer like monkeys hitting a sell button? They have a they have a they have a trading desk doing it for them someplace. This is a major operation. This is not like the Kramers. The Kramers are sitting there with their Commodore computer doing that. They hire these market makers to attack stocks. They use Vertical Group, ASCM, PUMA. They use all these little small over-the-counter market makers that they have direct contact with to manipulate stocks. Lynn is doing it a different way. They have a group that's handling all their, they got a bunch of stocks they manipulate. So, so somebody, you know, it's not just one person. That PXMD, they gave them money at $25, wherever it is, it's 49 cents. At the year high, 60, 52 week range, 69 to 47 cents. Another stellar performer by Lynn. Hey, you're being nefarious. So listen, they just they, they, their proof is right there. Gretchen wants to know: Do legitimate shorts are they the only ones that have to pay the borrow fees? Counterfeiters don't need to pay borrow fees. They go around the borrow the legitimate shorts. Listen, a lot of these funds are run by people that are legitimate. Harvard guys, they go. You know, they don't do this stuff. They're not here. They believe in the rules. If you get caught, you lose your whole business, right? They don't want to do that. The criminals could care less. They're just running down the street. Go ahead, sanction me. I don't care. I just open up and they just, they just continue doing it until someone locks them up. Then that ends. All right, so real shorts borrow the shares. These guys find ways around it. They mark it as a long sale, right? Goldman does it. Oh, well, our tickets were marked wrong. Sorry about that. They can do anything. They can wash trades, sell them as long sales. You know, GTII, the, the re reported naked short every day, the number is very low. There's no one selling the stock. They're doing is what? They're washing it, and then they're selling it as a long. They flood the system as a long sale, and then it a long sale becomes a fail to deliver or a naked short after a few days, right? Just another way of getting in the system. I Just on a different note, this SYTA, a Lind deal, the 52 week high was 186. It's What's the symbol? Sam Yellow, Tom Apple. They, fund, they funded this company at 10. They killed it already and reversed it again. And doing the calculations, 
the 52 week range was $186. It's down to $3.64. You're being nefarious again. It just happens that every stock they do their due diligence on and they're excited to fund doesn't work out. I mean, come on. That's exactly. It's just and a bad company, run. It just that company has been reversed also. He's going to go back to day trading Yahoo stock. Right. That's where he's <laughs> making all his money from. That's that, you know what? That's a good point. Someone should look into that guy from uh, Australia and the guy who's up 220% in the Link Global Fund. He must that, that global fund must be trading Yahoo options, although it doesn't exist anymore. They're still trading it. <laughs> um, this guy, KP, is asking you, should we be worried for ZJYL? I mean, I guess it's always good to have a healthy skepticism, but um, there's nothing I see here that you should be worried listen, about. Listen, if you're nervous about it, you, listen, every every stock you buy, you should be nervous about. Look, yeah. at, just, look at the, just look what they can do out of the gate. You got to remember that these guys can just cross 100 shares of 220 to themselves from one account to the other to mark it down. And if you notice it, they don't hit bids. They cross it in the middle because that's something that they can do to mark it down. Oh, my God, it's down 20% today. Well, obviously, going into this thing, we all know it's a, it's like a hockey game. It's all over the place. But at the end of the day, Tuesday, they're going to have to – everyone's going to be short 20 times. So, so that's it. Why to keep playing it? That's the way it goes. We're going to learn about a forward split right now. That's what we're going to learn about it. Frank asks you, so the borrow shares went for, for ZJYL, went from 6,000 to 850,000. How's that possible? Overnight. And then Overnight. I ask you, well, if they can borrow 850,000, why can't they deliver 500,000 to your friends? They won't. They won't. They had to go get an attorney <laughs> to demand, to de demand delivery. They can't get it. Well, they can they can borrow five hundred from the eight fifty and deliver it out. Right. It's all fraud. All Frank. I'm trying to show you is that it's all everything about Wall Street is fraud. There's ways of beating it, and just have to you have to live through this trashy thing and understand it all. I mean, just look at Elon Musk. He took it on the chin here know. without fighting back. The stock was 300, it was 180, it went down to 182 today. And I can tell you, you know, unless he turns it, you know, this thing has another sh drop in it coming, right? They're trying to hold it up. If it goes red again, the shorts will pile all over them and push it down again. Why wouldn't you press your bet? You short at 250, sell it at 180. What's the difference? So Matt Gunn up? says, unfortunately, people are going to lose money getting into ZJYL too late. I mean, it's, it's higher now, so there is more risk of volatility, and there's a higher perch to fall Listen, from. If so just don't buy as share, much, or don't buy it at all. Share, if you're buying one share or two share, yeah. if that guy, if someone's buying 5,000 shares, yeah. you're risking a lot of money. Yeah. I don't think I know anybody here that's buying 5,000 shares. Two shares, 10 shares, you know, $200, $300, I got it. But what do you, when I mean, you go to Atlantic City and you bet, you're risking your money when you bet. This is what it is. You're but Matt Gunn, my prediction, when it breaks out of 300, basically, it's going. It's going to go. It'll double, I think, as soon as right. it gets. As soon as the bid is through 310, I think it'll double. Hey, what do I know? That's hey, risky, though, ever, Matt Gunn. It's a speculative trade. Hey, William, William. Yeah. 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 everyone listening here. We're discussing stocks. This yeah. is what stock talk is about. You like it, I don't. You want to take a shot, take a shot. We're not hitting the button. You yeah. make your own determination. That's it. We're reporting what we see and what we hear. You don't like it, I don't give a shit. I don't own the stock. I told you I can't afford to buy it. I don't have the money. What would you like me to say? Would I buy it? Absolutely. What would I do? I'd probably buy five or 10 shares and I would tiptoe in by one, by one, by one. It runs to 350. I sell one. If it pulls back to 250, I buy it back. That's one share is back and forth. That's all it, that, that's what I've been doing in this stock. Yeah. If I had the money, I'd be buying a hundred thousand finger. Am I concerned about it? No. It's down. They pushed it down. The company fundamentals are there. My opinion is I would be a buyer and I have no fear about it. GDC, 
I would be a buyer because I know the person that are buying it are real deal people. All right. I own it higher, way higher. But again, I'm looking for the big run. I'm not looking for make 50 cents. I'm not happy about it. What am I going to supposed to do? I can't average down because I don't have any more money. I mean, my bet. That was it. I never thought it'd be drift down like this. So, Is the secret know. service going out after the small players or the big criminals? They go always get the small ones first. Yeah. And do you have an update on secret service? They don't. They, they don't. Law they keep it secret, say, don't they? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, wait. I just told them they're on Madison Avenue on the corner. They're hiding behind the telephone pole. They keep it secret. I don't know what they do. They keep, they keep it, it a secret. secret. <laughs> Good one, William. <laughs> <laughs> um, Listen, the FBI called me up. They own Finger Motion and MMTLP. That's a fact. Who introduced me to the Secret Service? Mark Brazil. They contacted me. He, they got my number through Mark Brazil. There you go. They told me that was the first thing they told me. They asked me if I would come in and educate the rest of the people. I said, no problem. What else do you want me to say? Meekers is asking you, I don't understand how the price can swing down $60 on only 1,400 shares. But all the buys that came in didn't make it go up. What? Well, listen, my friends bought 1.6 million finger motion between 650 and 720. Well, he's and talking. And guess where the stock went? Straight down, right? Yeah. So it's the same pattern as richard and not legal advice would say it's the same pattern and that's what i'm trying to show you is these patterns you have they to communicate the they collude they cross they spoof and it's all illegal and nobody right. cares nobody cares which the education that you're getting is something that you have to see and understand for example yesterday I was speaking to someone about buying rum on UM. I didn't know whether it was at 550, 560, teetering. It went down a little bit. I wasn't sure if they were to try to break it down or it would firm up. I wasn't sure. So I said, listen, I can't make a decision on it. You want to buy it? Buy, if you want to buy 5,000, buy 2,000. And they bought 2,000 and the stock ran up at 73 and they just sold it. They sold it at 620. So they made 70 cents on it on 2,000 shares. Um. This bullfrog AI, there's 5,000. What is the symbol on it? What is the symbol on it? It's Jeremiah. No, it's BFRG, BFRG. 5,000 to borrow, 800% borrow fee. It's traded 97 times larger than the public float. BFRG. And that comes from I Kit Kitteridge. I see. You, William, we spoke about a stock the other day that had a huge uh, institutional holdership. I, I forget the woman who said it. I, I forgot the symbol. I apologize. I couldn't remember. That's you know what it was. Um, Something with an M, I think. Oh, with an M. Uh, yeah, I didn't write them all down, I don't think. Let me look. Yeah, I, 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 I wasn't. I didn't have a pen, so I, I forgot it. If she can get back to you and tell us what it was, I know she's. Oh, it's the one that you got so excited about because it was yeah, massive. Yeah, I got the symbol about it. Yeah, that was. Uh, it was either Brenda or. Uh, I can't remember. I, I, if you can get that symbol again, I, I, I apologize. I just forgot it. Was it M C A F? Let me look that one up. Might be MCAF. I can find it. Mountain Crest, that's it. Yeah, MCAF. I wrote it down. Okay, I'm going to look that up for you, see what the hell's going on. I'll look into that. Uh, I'm just going to take a look at that. Okay, Finger Motion announces. The, that they're in a micro cap conference on Wednesday presenting. The stock was 231 bid. Hurry up, sell it down. There's news on the company. Don't make it positive. <laughs> Don't let it be green. Hurry up. The company's giving a dividend. Sell it down. The company's earnings are good. Sell it down. No matter what, 
sell it down. Anyone see that pattern? ZJYL. They're doing it. They're doing a witch call, a 20 to 1 reverse split on Tuesday. Hurry up, sell it down. I don't want 20 more shares. Hurry up, sell it down. What's the symbol for Spirit Airlines? I bet it's down today. S A V E, I think it is. Save. Sam Apple Victor Eddy. I bet it's down today. It is down. Why? Because there was some announcement that next week the agreement to merge with JetBlue might be abrogated or some word that I didn't. It was Listen, a weird. The government word. never blocks. It. They they bring in antitrust things. They never stop it. They it'll go through. They had it down the other day to four bucks. They were killing it. Everybody yapping about it. Since every since when is everybody a risk arb guy now? That's a risk arb play now. Exactly. Now everybody's into risk arbitrage. Good luck. These stocks will go up and down like crazy. So they keep printing. Now they're printing stock at two fifteen, and they offer the low. The offer the naked short is at two twenty two point nine nine. That's the short seller because everyone wants to know. Two 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 point nine nine for one share. So they sold the share at 215 to themselves. And the guy who bought it at 215 turns around and he offers it at 299. So the same share they're going back and forth with. And that's how it works. Well, I don't know if you know this answer, but. I do. The answer is yes. Okay. So after two years, <laughs> blue sheets can be destroyed? Oh, that's a good question. Is it that? I don't know. That, I have no idea. Is that why MMTLP is delaying? They can't listen. This, that 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 is that that that's, that whole thing is that that thing is going to bust. You can't hide. They can't destroy it. Are they going to go burn a building down like they did with the other trades? I don't know. See, I like the cut of his jib. A hundred shares doesn't... sold at two twenty. That was a block of a hundred. Yeah, a block. Call the block desk. I have 100 shares of ZJYL to sell. <laughs> we had a guy in my office. He was a big, big producer. And he'd come out of his uh, Marty Gray. He'd come out of his office. Lily, big order, big order. 100,000 shares of IBM to buy at market. Lily, big order. She was the, the wire operator. <laughs> and he'd let everyone know. So I, I one time followed him out and I said, Lily, big order, 10 shares to sell. <laughs> <laughs> a handful of people laughed, but most people thought I was being a jerk, which I guess I was. You were. You were being a jerk. That's not it. That's a that's, 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 <laughs> hundred thousand shares. Back when and that was a big my order. If I put a hundred thousand shares, I would find a seller for it in a minute and get paid on the other side of it. Well, they um, call shopping in order. That's back then you shopping. had. We, I don't know what they do now, but we, you know, you got commission on that trade that was big. Both sides. You yeah, would get sides, paid a commission, yeah. and I would get paid a commission. That is correct. It's all turtles. It's turtles all the way down. Does Ham know if the big shorts and ZJIL why they aren't trying to cover? Is it because there's they impending are doom? They are trying to cover. This is that. This is how they try to cover. Same thing in finger motion. The same thing in GTII. The same thing in MMTLP. They drove it down right before the event. Correct. They try to push them down. That's them trying to cover. They want people to bail out. I've had people call me up and say, oh, what the fuck is going on? The stock is down. I'm down $200,000. And the one guy who said that to me was the naked short seller. And I said, Johnny, you naked shorted. What are you yelling at me for? You know the game. I know, but these motherfuckers need to be stopped. I said, well, call a fucking cop. <laughs> That's what I told him. What do you want me to do? So this one's right in your wheelhouse. Uh, Jeff H is saying Ham hasn't killed the shorts yet. Told you a year ago, the dude wasn't even familiar with the AMC debacle. <laughs> Jeff, I'm gonna let Ham answer that because I I'll tear you tear into you. All right. Uh, no, well, listen, AMC debacle. You have to be a buffoon 
If you own the stock and it ran to 70, it still be there. Okay, that's number one. Number two, whatever that idiot's name is, I put up a photo of the chairman of AMC with my friend sitting with his son in a skybox at the Kansas City game. And I told everyone, the guy's not going to help. We asked him point blank. And someone said, do you have proof? Here's his fucking picture. All right? He's right there. So go fuck yourself and take a walk. And by the way, Jeff, Ham predicted GME well before it ran. So, and that's in writing. What did Jeff predict? What did Jeff predict? That he's going to get his ass reamed in AMC? Good luck, Jeff. I told everyone to sell it. I put the photo up. Go back and look. He said, the guy's not going to help you. You want me to put the picture up again to prove you? You know what? Fuck you. I'm going to yeah, put the exactly. picture. What's the guy's name? Jeff? Jeff H. Jeff H. All right, Jeff H. Here you go. Jeff the hero. Ah, this is a good question. I, I think this is a fair question. Based on the prices today, which of our favorite stocks would you buy, Ham? Hold on a second. I just well, want to make sure DB, I'm... I assume you're talking for a trade, a short-term trade. Uh, All right, there you go. I put up the chairman of AMC sitting there with our contact. Uh, Jeff H., go fuck your mother, dummy. AMC, there you go. <laughs> um, so, DB, so I assume you're listen, talking you about for a people, trade. People, listen, time out. Time yeah. Out. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Let's take a step back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing this 24 years. Do you think this is easy, 24 years of doing this? This putz came into AMC two years ago, and he's talking shit. I know nothing about. I never followed AMC. I'm nothing. I didn't. I don't follow many stocks. I never followed Nvidia until it got hot. I never followed this stock or that stock. I never traded Cisco. All right. I know people who did. I never traded Cisco. So there's many stocks. I'm not. You know, you can't be an expert on all of them. You find out what you know. I follow GameStop. I, and that's what I made my I made my book about that one. All right. And now you're looking at it saying, I'm blaming me for AMC. I don't even know about the AMC. I never even followed it. It went to $70. If I own the stock at five and it goes to 70, you got to be a moron to still be sitting with it. All right. And Wall Street, guess what? GameStop, AMC, no one gives a shit about you. You guys had your opportunity and you blew it. If you lost your money, move along. You had your opportunity. GameStop went to 500. If you're still there, shame on you. AMC, shame on you. That's how Wall Street, that's how the that's how the reporters look at it. Everybody looks at it. No one's going to have any pity party for you. You got you had your day in the sun. So please go go learn go learn about Wall Street first before you come and ask me about it. Comfy sofa Stop. made 3X on ZJYL. That's great, Comfy Sofa. That's great. Listen, that's, again, you could buy it, flip it. I could care less. It's not my company. I'm just following a friend of mine who says it's going here. I told you about it. You make your own decisions. Does the you red guys, guys show list the- matter? It's all make bullish. Uh, BFRG made the reg show list. I don't know if it matters. I've never noticed There's it. companies on the show list. They can move them on, move them off by washing. It, it, they... They it's once they pop up, that's because the shorts had no choice probably to defend it. They pop up on the show list and now they get a call. You got to get it off the show list. And what do they do? They move it from one account to the other. We settled it. And, they, you know, it's, it, it's too hard. There's so many tricks that they do. It's hard to tell you what they're going to do. So I'm just looking at this ZJYL and they just offer it. Now they're offering it 219. They drop the bids. They drop the bids. They drop, you know, they just. They're trying to mark it down. They're not trying to short it. They're trying to push it down to get you to panic. That's all there is. But no one owns it. So who are you going to get to panic? People with two shares? <laughs> but that's what you're doing. Well, reverse that logic on the way up. If we sell, we're not going to have much of an impact on the stock price either. None. No impact. This we're- is a this is a small dollar opportunity to educate yourself on a forward split. So think about it. If you bought five shares, 200 bucks, all right? Your investment there, I got it's a thousand bucks. It's like going to college. You're going, you're going to Harvard Business School on short selling right now on a forward split. There's your course. This is the forward split course 101. You're going to go from 101 
to the final exam in four days. So do you think Timothy Yikes was in there today selling some at 300 and buying it back at 220 A couple hundred shares. You made $160? They, they can't buy it back. They can't buy it back. Yeah. There's not enough to do. If someone goes up there and tries to buy 5,000 shares, it'll be a 320. Right. People are buying it. No, that's coming. If you bought 2,000 shares, that person who bought 2,000 shares is going to get 20 to 1 on Tuesday. This is not a reverse. Wow. The pattern you're seeing is for a reverse. Go look at VOCLD. That is the reverse. The stock was nothing. They reversed it back up to three something, and now it's back to 255 already. That is the reverse. This is a forward split. This is to reward shareholders. Reverses wipe out the shareholders. The, sh the reverse short wipes out the shareholders and rewards the crooks. A forward split rewards the shareholders and kills the crooks. It's complete opposite. And this is a very this is like a, a, a volcano erupted. It's very rare that they have they happen. So here you go. That's what it is. And that's why I'm following it. I'm trying to learn it just like you are. Finger motion has more good news. Hurry up, let's mark it down. We got do you know, some more. Gonna, do you know what gonna, the high low present on Wednesday? Do you know what the 52 week low for vocal D is? 20 cents. You know what the high is? $388. <laughs> that's that's the damage that was done there. That's the damage that was done there. He People doesn't. He doesn't see real. any. He doesn't see any evidence of fraud in trading. Right. After extensive due diligence. Um. So this gentleman, C Hunter, just bought twenty-five shares of ZJYL at two hundred and fifteen. I think that's a good trade. Um. And if it goes up, you know, you can peel off five you're, or something. This, you're in, all right, you're in, this is college education 101. Most people on the street don't even pay attention to this stuff. You're learning it. You'll, you'll always remember, everyone on the phone who bought these shares in the stock will always remember about a forward split. And I hope maybe in a year from now, you find another company doing the same thing and you'll understand exactly how to play it. That's what you just did. You didn't have to buy 5,000 shares. You could have bought one share and you're watching it and understanding what we're talking about. Then. Not being like that putz worrying about AMC calling us that we don't know anything about AMC. The CEO threw you under the bus. It's well, right there. I put the picture up. It's right there. The other thing you're you going to learn is what Ham teaches you all the time. Like you bought 25, let's say it goes to 2,000. I'm just making up. You sell 10 shares, five shares. You trade the rest for free. Even if it goes to 800, you sell a little bit. Anyway, I, I don't care if you bought two shares and you sold one. <laughs> I don't care. Learn how to learn how to lower your cost, and then you could be a buy, sell the rip, buy the dip. I could kill us. This isn't diamond hands. I'm not telling you, hey, guys, everybody, hold on. I'm roaring kitty here. Hold on to all your stock. Never sell, never sell. I don't say that. I should say that, but I don't say that. Finger motion, just so you know, is presenting Wednesday at the conference. They put a press release out. They spent money to inform everybody that they're presenting. But let's hurry up and mark it down because what are they going to tell everybody? We're going out of business. What are they going to tell everybody on Wednesday? The CEO's flying in. To Atlantic City, which is like impossible to get to. I guess he's got to fly into Philadelphia, where he's coming from, and uh, maybe Pete from Philly can pick him up. And yeah. here's what's he going to say? Hurry up! I'm going. I want to race to this conference to tell everybody I have bad news. Hurry up! Let me get there. Let me fly from wherever I am in the world to Atlantic City to go tell everybody I have bad news. That's what the stock tells me. Hurry up! Let me go do that. That's the manipulation that you keep seeing. Anyway, for the gentleman who just bought the 25 shares at 215, the short came back is offering one share at 213.99 now. There's your short seller. Um, 
just so you understand what's going on. That's, you know, they, if you had someone just coming in buying, why don't you move back up to 220, 225, you make, make a higher sale. Nope. They got to mark it down. They're trying to do any trick in the book to get people to bail. I just saw Kristen Shaughnessy's post, the headline on Bloomberg, SEC's Gensler urges Europe to speed up stock settlement times. Why doesn't he just focus on settlement in his own markets and mind his own business? Bossing other people around. A trillion dollar naked short selling scam. Is Europe destroying American companies? Well, there you go. It's our the own people, funds. It's our own funds trading out of Europe. <laughs> That's my opinion. Sorry, I interrupted you again. I, no, I'm just saying that I went blank for a second. What the hell were you? What were you talking about? Uh, just Gensler settling a trillion dollars. The SEC, okay. The SEC, the SEC, and my 24 years of doing this, this is how they make moves quietly. They're quietly telling you that this shit's going to hit the fan. They're going. They know where the source is. He made a statement to the European Union about these share about the delivery stock settlement, right? Right. He just didn't make a statement with speeding up stock settlement. He let them know in Europe they're speeding. What what is he telling them about for? What do they care, right? Unless they have a problem, correct? Right. They're telling you right there. That's how the SEC operates. It's just how they, they make slow, very big moves quietly. So Don Fizz is in the local news. He's been fighting for MMTOP. Um, is he still running around down there? I guess that's what this says. He stay, he's still there. Uh, don't forget that Anna's worked her butt off and other people have too. But. Oh, listen, it's listen, it's a, it's it, it's perfect because he's gonna run out of gas, that gentleman, and someone will jump in and take his spot. That's why that's how it works. You know, I, I've been thinking about coming down myself. I'm just trying to think, see if I, what day I can do it. I'm trying to get us to Asia. I'm, you know, it's, it's too hard. Pecos Bill you know, says but... Don Frizz is showing too grit. You got it. <laughs> That's, it, it, again, You it, it's out of sight, out of mind. Stay in their face. Anna, get people down there. Get someone to replace <laughs> him. Knock on the doors. They'll get sick of hearing and seeing you. That's how it works. Keep staying in their face. Chris, Kristen Shaughnessy's headline, same day settlement by March for India. Here, we're going to have it by 2025. I think that's how I'm reading her headline, but it's funny. <laughs> Let's hurry up. Let's do it by, by 2025. She put that in a post? Well, her headline reads, you can tell me what it means. Same day by March, instant settlement by 2025. <laughs> Do you still think there's a buy order for 30,000 uh, ZJYL? This is 17 traded today. We got one person who bought 25, right? Someone bought 25 shares. Somebody else is buying pretty big position, right? Yeah. I don't know anybody buying that much. Hey, listen, you could buy 30,000 shares. If they keep plugging it, this is what it looks like, right? Yeah. And the buyer, guess what the buyer wants? He wants to get a better price for himself. Richard Hoffman sent a short and sweet demand letter to Forbes to quit the nonsense. That yesterday. was a great letter. I read it yesterday. Great, great letter. And everyone doesn't understand what a great job he's doing as an attorney trying to help us out. So all the people that, like the gentleman who whining about the AMC, whatever that guy's moron's name is, why don't you have some balls and stand up and fight instead of pissing on us, fighting for you? Right? 
Jeff, whatever his name is, Jeff H, have some balls and stand up and fight and tell everybody, hey, I got fucked in AMC and no one's helping me out here. Well, guess what, Jeff? No one gives a shit about you and AMC. You had to run to $70. Grow up, take your loss and move along. The rest of us are waiting for our runs. We haven't got a run. We documented it. We documented the criminals. Who's your short sell on AMC? Give me some information. Who is it? You don't know. Oh, what are you going to blame? Citadel all the time? There's probably 50 guys in there that are short. You don't have a clue who it is. You've done no work. You're a lazy piece of shit trying to, trying to throw us into your goddamn mess. I don't need your mess. You, you created it yourself. Grow up. Learn how to trade. If you own a stock, I'm the first person to tell people in ZJYL, what did I say, William? If you bought the bottom, what is, if it runs up, what did I say to do? Sell the rip. Sell something. You can make it. Lower your costs. And people keep reporting back, hey, I made $50. I made $20. Whatever it is, not a zillion dollars. But you're learning how to invest and trade in the equity markets. If you own games, GameStop, I paid three seventy five. The highest we sold it was one eighteen. I'm the first to tell you I should have held on to more and I didn't know I didn't know how big or everything it was because I didn't study it. I understood a lot of it, but I didn't know every gory detail. Finger motion, I know every gory detail. Every gory detail. GTII, I know every gory detail. And MMTLP, I know the gory details now. I know Kodak has a big short. Okay, I don't know every gory detail. I know it's a big short in here. And William was with me when I tried to get the representatives from Rochester to stand up and do something. We stood there for an hour pitching them. Right, William? Yeah. And then we went back again to tell them. But they didn't want to, they didn't do anything. I, we tried. All right, so I, I can't, I knew the gory details in root, R O O T. I know the gory details in CEII. I spoke with them, M-U-L-N, this one, that one, you name it. GNS, I knew, and I told William, we both said the same thing. This guy cut a deal with the shorts. I said, stay away. And that's what happened. He cut a deal with the shorts a while ago. D-E-L-U, I went to see the guy with my family. I went to see the guy, a neurosurgeon. As soon as he did a deal with Yorkville, I told everyone, do not buy the stock. Stay two miles away. It went down to 18 cents, 16 cents, whatever it went down to. Wiped out. And I told everyone to say, and I love the guy. I love what he was doing. But I told everyone out loud, stay away. I knew in Wolf that the people paid off the debenture to Yorkville. It went from 60 cents to $4. All right. The venture was paid off. Now it's in a shit show because the shorts are trapped, just like a finger motion, pushing it down, up, all over the place. That stock, Wolf, went to uh, $4 when Bitcoin was 36000 Bitcoin is 42000 and it doesn't rally back up anymore. What's going on there? It was $4 at 36000 It's 42000 $5,000 higher. It was up to 48,000 and the stock hasn't made it back up to the highs yet. So what would you do? What would I do when you see them tossing it out the window? I'd be a buyer when it runs back up, you sell it. There you go. Man, they have CJYL down $80 on less than 4,000 shares. Better get out. It's clearly a, <laughs> can you believe well, that? It's probably 3,000. Anyway, listen, someone's buying it. That's all you need to know. Listen, you saw him. I just told you when you saw them, when the guy paid two fifteen and they offered it one two thirteen ninety nine, they're trying to manipulate it lower. That's all they're trying to do. Right. Hey, up yesterday, down today. That's how it goes. For anybody who sold into the rip, they could buy the dip. If you paid a little higher, you know what it's about. And now they drop from two thirteen ninety nine to two hundred for the one share. That Amazing. just tells you how desperate, how desperate they have been here. They just need to. They don't want to go in the weekend with a three hundred dollar uh, price. That's exactly right. So uh, they just took without a trade. It's now back to two thirteen ninety nine. Well, the other so thing coming up is noon margin call. Maybe the spoof at two hundred. 
It went to 213.99. Now they're back up to 214.98. Just listen, everyone. They're throwing us off now. The short is now using 98 versus 99. So instead of 213.99, it's 214.98. They changed the pattern for us. And Finger Motion, who's presenting next week after reporting good earnings, corrected the earnings so everybody can understand it. The company issuing a special dividend, and now the company is presenting on Wednesday. Maybe you can ask them about the special dividend and what they're doing, right? Everything seems, what is the company doing? What else are they going to do for you? What do you want them to get you a hotel room, take you to dinner? What would you like? This guy Mexican is going on and on about an act of God. Uh, apparently, he thinks ZJYL, if it goes up, they're going to do a U3 halt again. Uh, no, no. And an act of God. Look, well, it's listen, fraud. They, they can U3, do anything they, they want. They were going to do a U3 halt. Okay. The U3 halt was an event due to fraud. MMTLP is a fraud. Okay. I said it six zillion times. Not the company. By listing it, that was a fraud. People shorting it, that was a fraud. Stopping trading it was a fraud. That 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 was all fraud all surrounding that whole thing. Public companies do not get a U3 halt. That was a fake dividend that was trading, created by somebody. That's all that was. That was a complete fraud. Um My question to you, William, quickly. Finger Motion is presenting on Wednesday. Are they presenting that they're going out of business or they're going to present about how good things are going in their company? What would you do if you were the CEO presenting, flying in for wherever the hell he is, be in Asia or wherever he is? He's flying in to If Atlantic it were me, City. I'd be Atlantic announcing City. something. Atlantic City is, is, uh, is, a, is a shithole. I would be announcing business. something in the morning before I spoke that had real import. That's what I'd be doing. Oh, that's a good question. That's a good thing. But again, the shorts are sitting there saying, hurry up. The stock is down 50, 80 days in a row. He can't possibly say any good news, right? <laughs> um, yeah, he's flying in to tell you bad news. Uh, right, he's flying all around the world to stand in front of all of us and say, hey, everybody, we're going out of business. Your stock is worthless. We did a deal with Lynn Partners. Good luck. Take it easy, everybody, and walk off the stage. That's what he's flying in for. So we can talk, so we can go after him with a pitchfork and go after him. Guys, the forward split, the record date was the 12th to vote. The vote is on the 30th. My opinion is they they have to notice everybody for 10 days to give a record date to buy to qualify for that i could be wrong because i don't know which exchange i think that once the, i think once they get it approved it's you know it's like uh new brenna so let it be said so let it be done it'll be done okay uh let it be so yeah uh, the uh the ten commandments that, that movie the ten commandments so let it be said so let it be done so the, the, the ZJYL came always down by somebody dumping whatever all they wanted to buy. Now it's 195 to 220 again. So the gentleman who just paid 215 for it, he could sit there and sell his five shares at 220 and make $5 a share if he liked to do that. How's that? That's trading. So imagine if you were trading this name and buying 1,000 shares at a clip. That's how people do, people do that, you know. So here's here's the logic. Tri um, uh, AMC uh, popcorn double A whatever Aaron whatever did throw us under the bus, but he kept AMC from going bankrupt. So that's good. Well, yeah. Well, good luck then. Now, what are you talking about? So there you go. Got it. Yeah. Listen, I'm a movie goer. I love the movies. I don't know why hedge funds want to kill the poor guy. He puts buildings up yeah. so you can take your family and go and get entertained. But Wall Street decided that the business the business is no good. We don't like it anymore. And you'd be out of business. That's what they decided. There you go. That was it. They wanted to play God. They want to kill companies with cancer because guess what? 
it, the stock acts too. What those stocks are too strong. They know people are buying it with the hope that it's going to cure something and it's going to be the next home run. So they take advantage of people believing in things. That's what the shorts like to do. AMC, you had your day in the sun and the conversation. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's a waste of time. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, if this right now is the shorts trying to cover ZJYL, how low do the shorts want it before they put their buy orders in? Well, you can see that they're trying, they sold it down to get you to sell. But unfortunately, people like the gentleman just bought 25 shares. I'm sure there's other people sitting there buying it too. I'm on the phone with you, so it's not me telling anyone to buy it. So you know, you know where I am. I'm right here. So someone else is getting people to buy it. Maybe it's that money manager trying to buy 35,000 shares. There's 20,000 shares traded. We know of 25 shares that was bought right here. That's it. So the other 19,000, whatever it is, somebody, 19,502 shares to be exact. I have no idea who bought those. And I also don't think these shorts intend to cover. I, I think it'll be a buy-in from their back office at the prime broker. They're going to walk away from this trade, most of these shorts, when they lose money. That's my opinion. They go broke. They just they just go broke. Whatever money's in their account, they go broke and they walk away and they go to start up again down the block under a new LLC. So I need to show you how many LLCs Alpine has and the Kramers have. And all these characters, they have hundreds of them. It's 205 right now. I can't quite read the volume. 19,730 or 18. Yeah, 19,730. Listen, don't be consumed about it all day. It'll drive you crazy looking at it. You know, you know what they're doing. It is what it is. The news is coming out Tuesday. So the company got the vote. Interactive brokers had no shares yesterday. Today, they got 800,000 shares. Okay, so okay. Lauren Kitty had the foresight for GME, not him. Parker, you're, I mean, it may be that Roaring Kitty had that insight, but there oh, is no, proof listen, out Kitty, there that Lauren Ham put Kitty, out a report Lauren on. Kitty, listen, I'm not looking for anything. All right, listen, let's just Roaring move on. Kitty is look, Roaring Kitty loved the stock, GameStop. That's what he loved. He loves GameStop. He likes to buy it because it sells games, blah, 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 the pandemic. I didn't report on GameStop. I only play Call of Duty and I don't give a fuck about GameStop. It's an empty store in a mall. I'm with the shorts. It's an empty store in the mall, right? That was going to bankruptcy. That's why they were short, correct? I was there because I looked at the data and the data showed me that they were short way too many shares. That's what I looked at. And I looked at it as a short squeeze potential. That was it. He was talking about GameStop, the games, and the mall. I was telling you the information that made sense. A little different. No one was buying GameStop. Uh, hedge funds were buying GameStop because of the empty stores in the mall. It's impossible. Or they're going to do it online. No one gives a shit about it. They were doing it because the shorts was a crowded short. It's called a crowded short. What does that mean? All the shorts were piling on it. You look at it like when the water dries up in Africa, all the alligators are in the same pond jumping on top of each other. That's what that was. That's what I reported on. So Roaring Kitty, God bless him, give him all the credit in the world. He bought a stock that he loved and it went up. All right. I'm looking in the stock that I... I got involved in finger motion because I liked what they were doing and I thought it was going to be something that would make my family a lot of money over time. I wasn't looking for a grease lightning. I was willing to wait. But the company was attacked by the criminals. So that's how the game changed. And Lynn Partners is, is the criminal. Now what do we do? Hey, Parker. Parker, you go trade AMC. And you can do right, your yapping it. yourself somewhere else. That's all. Just listen, not, listen, Ames, go over and do talk about that. I have nothing to say about it. Here's my answer on AMC. If you owned it and you watched it go from 70 down to four, congratulations. Knock yourself out. There you go. It's dead in the water. No one's fighting to help you. The company couldn't give a shit about you. Finger motion is fighting for us. And if you don't think so, they go read the news, go back and read the history and tell me if they're not. 
that's what you have to know. They hired lawyers going after the short and the sort. Your CEO is sitting here, made a fortune, sold stock, raised money, and did everything possible to walk away from it. And he's sitting there, the proud owner of a four dollar stock. Good luck. Do you think I like the GameStop CEO though? I like that guy. Do you think ZJYL might be a trap like Luciano is asking you? It's always a trap. No, I don't think so. It's a trap for the shorts, not for the not for I listen, I can't guarantee what's gonna happen here. My friends are big players, they're long, they said the stock's going to the moon. I brought it to your attention. Did I say go buy a zillion shares? No. If you wanted to play, you buy one, two, five, ten, twenty shares. What's the big deal if you want to play? Wow. This guy, Joe Oseki, Oseki, has he's thanking you. He started with four shares of ZJYL. Now he has 24 and it's free after flipping out the original investment. That's good. Wow, look at that. Now uh, I, listen, I only have one thing to say about that. You don't have to thank me. You understand how to play the game now. Congratulations. There you go. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to watch the manipulation up and down. And you know what? Next week, hopefully you get you get 20 more shares and your stock, you go from four, whatever you have. I forget how many said 20. And he goes, he goes 10, 20 times that now. So now you got 400 shares and I hope it goes to 50 bucks for you. So Mark is pointing out to you that it's actually... So let it be written, let it be done. Uh, I've been saying it wrong all these years. I got to go back and watch. I got to wait for a holiday. I'll get back to you on that. Let me go watch it on a holiday. I'll let you know. Um, you sure it's not? not so, so, so let it be said. So let it be done. I think it's that. Uh, I can't. Well, I got to go back and find out now. Loading up on GDC. Bought more ZJYL. Buy the dips. Buy the dips. Listen, you, you got a dollar fifty. I'm up a dollar seventy higher. So just you know, accumulation, nice and slow. Take your time. If you're buying a thousand shares, you buy two fifty. You buy two fifty. You buy two fifty. And this way, you can add to it. If it spikes up to two fifty, and you bought five hundred down here, you can sell two fifty at two dollars and fifty cents and then you own you know you got then you own it lower then you make fifty cents you own it at a dollar fifty you know that's how you got to look at it so, I, I have a friend of mine and she only traded apple computer for a five billion dollar fund she knows nothing else but apple computer when apple computer spikes she sells some she sells five hundred thousand shares if it pulls back and she can buy it back, she sells it as a long. Let's say she sells it along at 200 and the stock drops the next day to 195. She turns around, she buys the 500,000 shares back. All right. And what they do is they have their same position, but she keeps trying to look, reduce their average price only in Apple. She knows every gory detail about Apple. She goes to all their events. Only Apple, nothing else. And that's how she lowers her cost and she does the same thing. And she gets paid a percentage of the profit she makes from playing Apple. She has no risk. But think about if she sold 500,000 Apple at 150 and it runs to 200, yeah, that's, a, that's a demerit because she left, you know, she, she was short, she got rid of stock and it ran up $50. So she's got to be very careful what she does. She trades around their posi position. That's what she does. Only Apple. Um, is Finger issuing a dividend? I don't know. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> that was an press announcement, wasn't it? That's all you got to say. Um, <laughs> Why'd you ask me for it? <laughs> wow. Well, um, that's good, King Arthur. You bought three at 200 by waiting. That's great. Three's a good number because you can sell one share to take your money off the table <laughs> and then still have two shares where you sell one share when it goes high and only and only have one share at risk. Um, well, has 
him how to talk to the new guy in GTII or the CEO. Let's just table the, that I for have now. To speak to, I have to call the uh, consultant. Uh, he reached out to me. Hold on a second. I, I'll read you his text message. One second. See if I can find it here. My daughter's dog had to get surgery. She had kidney stones. She's done, Ooh. had six stones. They said, How does the dog show the pain? Do they just fall over or something? Oh, that's terrible. No, she, has to, she can't help you. She has to urinate. So we had to put down a sheet with the plastic wee wee pads on it. So she was very uncomfortable. But she had these big oh, kidneys. Poor stones. puppy. But she went to the surgery this morning. I did that this morning. And uh, I was just, my daughter just texted me. Everything's okay. So. I gotta find this knucklehead's number, but I have to call back. Uh, the guy's name is Luke, whatever his name is, and he wanted me to reach out. He has the Bloomberg reporter that's doing a story on it. He wanted me to discuss it with them what they're doing. They're going after Alpine and toxic lenders. Talk about a story, huh? You know, toxic lenders. Here it is. I'm speaking to Bloomberg in the next few days. Call me tomorrow if you if you want to discuss. And I have to, I have to do call him too because I want to discuss it. And just think of the toxic lenders. Who are the toxic lenders that we know of? Hmm. Lynn Partners, right? We know the Kramers, and the stories about Alpine, a crooked prime broker. Wow, what a triangle here! We got everybody here. We got the trifecta. Everyone will get the story here. Does anybody else, is the gentleman that's blabbing about AMC, does he have anything can he can add to the game or is he going to just talk about his AMC? Oh, he's hey, just... Ask him, ask him, I want to go see the Ferrari movie. Do I get free popcorn at my AMC? How do I get it? Do they give me free popcorn there when I go? He's just trying to discredit you. And he figures... And you can't, listen, you can discredit me all you want. I don't give a shit. <laughs> what do you think? I never lost money in the stock market. I'm the first guy to tell you. Wow. Everybody is your name. So wow. your friend, the pilot, just bought nine more CJYL at 198. He's got 20 uh, now and an average of 100, 150 bucks. Listen, be careful, everyone. He's a pilot. Don't get on his plane. <laughs> if he loses, forget it. <laughs> so I everyone's going to have more shares well. than I do. I'm, I'm going to be the... I have no shares. I wish something would go up so I can make a sale so I can buy it. I don't have the money in the account. What am I going to do? My daughter is trying to buy Finger Motion, but Fidelity hasn't released the funds yet. It's three days. Why do shorts care about margin if they're just going to walk away from their losses anyway? Because they don't know they're going to lose yet. They're trying they don't to know. Listen, what would you do if you're in the bank vault and the police are coming? You're gonna either you're gonna try to grab more money, stay there, and hopefully they don't find you in the vault. Or you're gonna run. That's what they do. So these guys are hoping that they don't see them in the vault, and eventually they get busted, and that's what happens. They all, listen. Bernie Madoff thought he was getting away with it, right? All the criminals always think about it, getting away with it. Oh, we're never gonna get caught. Look at all the toxic guys getting caught now. A hundred, that guy, that Jewish guy, 134 companies he destroyed. 134. Think about that. How many shareholders in any of those companies that lost everything? Let's say 5,000 shareholders in each of those companies, 134 times. Look how many people that guy robbed. And he's walking the earth. Are you kidding me? He should be put in the electric chair immediately. Look at the other guy, Adam Long, who just got busted. He'd sold 6 billion shares. I don't know how many companies he destroyed. The Kramers, how many did they destroy? Lynn Partners, every one of their investments is destroyed. All the profits are going to the guy in Australia. They're hiding it offshore. They think we don't, we can't figure it out what they're doing. Oh, we don't short. Oh, sure, we know that. But your buddies do. All right, ZJYL. Let's see, a 1214 update is now 205 bid to 220. If the stock turns, it goes green today, yikes. 
my God. What, what, it's only 20,000 shares. So in this entire time we've been talking, it's what, 6,000 shares of trading? Let me ask you a question, William. The answer is not yes. Uh, uh, Interactive Brokers is offering 800,000 shares to borrow. 800. Don't you think that is a lot of shares that are trying to entice people to borrow? Don't you think I thought there was only enough? a million three in the float and insiders own 80% and thought, and the whales own 1.3 and they're asking for 500. Where are they getting that stock from? I just say, but they could at least, they should have just made the number. We're going to lend out 40,000 shares. Why would you put 800? They're trying to scare they're liars. To, yes, that's correct. There you go. There you go. There's your answer. They're spoofing the amount of borrowed shares. It went from 800,000 to zero to 800,000 in one day. How's that possible? They're liars and lawyers. Somebody's making a mistake there, right? Um, Richard wants to know if it's still the same pattern. If Richard doesn't, Richard, and I've beaten Richard over the head so much that he's saying it's always the same pattern now. That's how it's Wall Street is. This isn't, listen, Wall Street people like myself are the dumbest people in the planet. We know numbers. That's what I know. I know numbers. I know all the numbers. That's what I studied. I, I memorized numbers that's what i do i walk down the street i could you i walk in circles i get lost i don't know anything you see patterns everywhere and i see <laughs> all i know is numbers i'm like the queen's gambit i lay in bed at night and all i see is numbers that's that's what that's i do a beautiful mind chess. the richard crow russell crow will play you in the that's movie that's who you are the beautiful mind they're putting notes on mailboxes that's what you're doing <laughs> you go for a walk with the dog and you're marking all the mailboxes as you're going along. There's notes on every one of them. That's what you're doing. I see numbers and I memorize numbers. I and see a red see door people. and I want it painted black. You see you see dead people like uh, the I see Bruce, dead people. Bruce, Will, Bruce Willis movie, which was a great movie. The whole I couldn't believe he was dead when I, when I found out. Unbelievable. But anyway, it's a great movie. But that's what I know. We're dumb as stumps. It's the same stupid pattern. The people that are doing the naked short selling. I heard a comedian said, these people are so stupid. They're inside their head. It's just a tin can with a couple of marbles banging around. That's how stupid these guys. Charlie Mayo and the Kramers are dumb as stumps. They're, they're complete morons. Jeff Easton thinks he's a smart ass. All right. But he's just doing the same thing the Kramers are doing at a higher level. They all do the same thing. When Jeff Easton figured out that he can make it short, no one's checking on anything. He's probably looking around saying, this can't be real. We can do this? And that's when they jumped into it. The Kramers, they don't care less. We'll give you $50,000. and you know That's all we can give you. We'll give you $100,000. Sell a billion shares. They never went up the ladder. They don't give out millions and millions of dollars of loans. They don't have that money. They know better. They're just fronts for the hedge right. fund, the criminal hedge fund. Um, there you go. They're out there shopping. They're out there looking, and they find a company. But the Kramers do it different. They're cold calling. Benchmark waits for people to call them up. They get reference. Hey, Benchmark, our we have a company that needs money. What's the symbol? They call up Lynn Pond. has got another sucker coming in. Don't forget me. Make sure you take care of me. You got to pay me. I'm bringing you this client. And then Benchmark gets a cut from those guys what they steal. I'm curious to see if Lynn Partners, when we ever get to Discovery, is giving Benchmark order flow to cover and pay back their expenses. That's, they're paying them something. Where are they paying the chairman of Benchmark? Benchmark is not introducing finger motion to companies to Lynn for free. They need to make money. They know what Lynn's doing. They know that Lynn is going to destroy everybody. They know that if they ever get called to testify, they know what Lynn's doing. Age is capital. If you get that the guy's Jack, Jackabone, Jackabone, that was the guy's name. I think that's the guy's name. He's the biggest, he's the big banker there. 
you know, if he's he's there. This guy makes a fortune. He gets all these companies to come in. He lent out fifty billion dollars every one of his stocks. But he doesn't have to. It's just rolling the same money, and he's it's only giving money. out the money he gets by selling the stock before That's you it. sign the note anyway. Well, he's not doing it. He's doing it. To his clients. It's his clients are doing it. So he's lent out fifty billion dollars. He's making five million a week for himself and all the fees and this and that. And he's he's we need that guy in society. That's and what we need and Gary for. Gensler is lecturing lecturing Europe. Why does he get set about cleaning up his own house? You got Wainwright. You got uh, you got guys like Wainwright, the brokerage firm. You got uh, Aegis. You've seen uh, Maxim does it. All these guys that do this stuff. There's there's 50 of them. And they all go to the same clients. I got a deal. I got a deal. I got a deal. Do this one. Do that one. And they all do the deals because they know they're going to terrorize the shareholders. The forward split is 20 for 1. Ham thinks it'll be... So it let it be written, so be it, or whatever he said. I think there's going to be 10 days from the vote, but we'll find out when they put out a press release. We don't know. I saw look someone at say look at, this stock. I don't, look at this stock today. Indian Victor Peter. Oh, just, someone's texting me now. I'm IVP, to... Robert Kepke is saying, tell him to look at IVP. Yeah, I just say it traded 500,000 shares average. And today, the stock is up 0.063, up 33% to 25 cents, down from four. And it's traded 101 million shares. It's got a Veterinary future. partners. Okay, so they're basically killing the, uh, I guess it's a veterinary stock. <laughs> they don't care. 25 cents. It's a, uh, that stock's got a future. <laughs> no one has a pet. But again, you could just, every, how, come, how come every stock has the same stupid pattern? Hold on a second. I'll be there on Wednesdays. See, I, okay, I see you then. I have another shareholder going to meet me in Atlantic City. There you go. Why am I going to Atlantic City? Because I want to see what the CEO of my investment is doing. I, I, want, to from, I want to see him in person and see what he has to say. I want to know what he's thinking about Lynn Partners. I want to know what he's going to do about the dividend. I want to know about the business. I want to learn more about why there was a mishap with the uh, the accounting. There's a bunch of questions. Go down and ask yourself. IVP has, according to Robert, 50 million in assets and 22 million in revenues. And it's 25 cents. Well, that's the denominator. It's how many shares are there. All right, that's all it is. Keep doing it. Keep destroying the public companies. Every company has a failed business plan. Is that it? All those yeah. stocks that Aegis invested in, which I know none of them. Okay, all failed. Every single CEO is a crook. Every right. business plan is faulty. And thank God for these placement agents and their clients. They're saving us. They're cleansing the market of right. bad deals on behalf of Gary Gensler, who sits on his throne without toilet paper. Right. Um, it's just, just amazing. Just amazing. Uh, I Inspire Veterinary Partners has 7 million shares outstanding. Implied outstanding is 11 million. The float is 4 million shares. And it's traded how much? A hundred and something million. You know, I think we need high frequency trading in companies <laughs> with a two million market cap. I think it's important. You <laughs> you could lose. I mean, if you couldn't trade in and out 
uh, at the speed of light, you're going to lose money. I mean, it's got a $2 million market cap. What the hell do we need high frequency trading there for? 10% of the shares are held by insiders, 11% held by institutions. Hoheimer Wealth Management, MAI Capital, <laughs> Executive Wealth Management, Kestra Advisory Services, HRT Financial. Oh, UBS. UBS owns uh, uh, $873 worth. Morgan Stanley owns one share. Of what? IVP. They own one share. One share. Tower Research Listen, Capital. We can, we can keep going down the list. It's just remarkable. You see what's going on in ZJYL. And I just, you know, it's easy to oh. see the attack. Who sells stocks down $100, $80? Hurry up, sell it down. If you just sat there and offered it at 300 you would have made a sale. But no, we want to sell it at the market as fast and as low as possible. I'm going to ask you this, happened. Ham, but I'll tell Hannah before Ham answers. I think they're just all there to get the CEOs to uh, agree a meeting, and then they'll call their hedge funds, and the hedge funds will start selling stock that doesn't exist. I think the question is, what do you think about the microcap conference sponsors? Uh, Titan, Roth, Maxim, and Benchmark. They're all, I, so I told you, I just, I, I was going to walk down there and tell them the world, ask every CEO the same thing. They're all crooks. And if I were able to get to South Korea, I would go to those conferences and I would pitch all those 20 firms to leave the U.S. because no one's ever heard of any of those stocks. No one ever covers them. So what difference would exchange you're listing on? All right. You would want to be listed on an exchange that would protect you and your investors. So it's a platform. There is no New York Stock Exchange anymore. It's an empty building. It's all computerized. The Nasdaq has no trading floor. Has anyone ever seen the Nasdaq trading floor? Can, can someone tell me where it is? Because I haven't seen it yet. I've been looking for it, but I haven't seen it yet. It's all virtual, the whole thing. So it doesn't make a difference if your computers are in Korea or are on the moon. As long as the market's open during the hours that's stated, you can trade stocks and the conversation. That's it. And in South Korea, guess what? We're going to eliminate the short selling. So every company would have to work and build their companies on the on their business models. If your business model fails, people will sell you stock. If your business model is good, the stocks will go up. We do not need manipulation like we see every 20 seconds. It gives me and everyone a headache. What's going on? What's all the selling? What's you know what what happened that you need to have this end to end action in the stock? ZJYL is a product of the SEC's failed stock settlement system. Nothing else. They created this. No one else did. The company didn't create this short squeeze. Wall Street did. Some idiot trapped himself. He's upside down. And you know what? The first time when it ran to 500, some short got blown out of the water. But guess what? It tracks other flies. They come in, they start shorting it down, think we're going to make a fortune. They tried to knock it out, but then it turns and it goes back up again. Now you got a shit show here and someone's trapped. So the SEC at the end of the day is going to have to say, okay, what did we, what did we allow happen here? They created this. No one else did. No, Longs didn't create this. I didn't create this. Finger motion was created by the shorts. The stock was acting great. Who came in? Lynn Partners. They drove it from five down to 60 cents. Trying to convert notes at the at the bottom. That's what we were trying to do. They were trying to get the company to default. It was a it was a loan. They tried to get they tried to turn it into a convertible debenture. That's how what criminals they are. And they don't think we know about it. You don't think we meet the CEO and ask questions? Jerk off. Why would companies attend these company these conferences? And the answer is companies are still following the old rules. You go on the road, you tell your story, you spread the word, you raise money. But Wall Street is set up to slaughter the companies. 
Huh? And, and the, the wolf is sitting right there. You need money? You need money? You need money? Come to us. And like I said, I'm going to quietly go to every one of the companies and just ask them the same question. Who are you taking money from? And how are you, how are you protecting your company against you should just bring a You should just bring a card, laminated cards, with every deal and how far it's gone down since uh i don't know oh, that's an, i should make a sheet 10 sheet you know these are the 20 maxim. companies that maxim rate gave money to maxim this. has no brokers in their office maxim yeah. has just these bankers that do they have a hell of a magazine there. oh that's somebody right. else uh what? and they stay alive because i know people do deals with them oh we got a deal for maxim give me you know give me five thousand shares and it jumps up you know, on the pre-IPO, it goes up, and then they slaughter the shit out of it. Ham thinks the day that you're going to get your shares is almost immediately, as soon as the vote is taken on the 30th. I think I there is a 10-day notice period. But we'll find out when they make the press release. And it's not going to matter. It, it, the The... Buying is going to occur before the vote is official and afterward. It's not going to, and the stock price will change right away. I assume it'll change right away. Well, the action you're seeing is the what you're seeing that the push down, like you're watching, is basic. It's basically the shorts in a panic. That's what you're seeing. I like that idea, Hannah. And Ham's been working on an exchange. I think it would be great if we could just start with one company, do a plain vanilla offering, have it work. We could then have a trading desk, uh, physical, actually hold certificates in safekeeping, no street name, no shorting. And we'd have more business than we could say grace over. But I. Right. And we'd have wealthy investors that would want to roll from one deal to the next. And we could catch out some shorts. But anyway. Who is a reputable broker dealer and market maker for small tech companies looking to list on the over the counter? Um, I don't want to say that I know one name that was given to me by somebody, you know, but I don't trust it. So I don't want to give you a name. I think they're all criminal. I think they're all crooked. They don't have any clients. No one does that. They don't have any investors. They just go to these uh, funds. Look, SR7531. When, when uh, Finger Motion went to Lynn Partners, hey, yeah, we'd like to meet. Lynn Partners uh, and their clients started selling the stock at whatever price I'm making it up at Someone five bucks. Some, I don't know who did it. Someone introduced the company to benchmark. Right. That the company was looking for a $4 million loan because they had to do, they were doing a deal with AIZ and they needed to fu the firm up fundamentals. All right. That's what they did. Well, the, uh, I don't know. Uh, text i somehow message me i don't know how these things work i'd be glad to try but no but what they do is they start selling stock that doesn't exist and they give the company in essence their own money and it's because the capital formation system in the united states is completely shattered it doesn't work ceos can't do this so these criminals come and do it with usury rates i mean I think the lawyer in the Merchant of Venice would be embarrassed by how much uh, a pound of flesh. It's not a pound of flesh. So they leave you a pound of flesh. They take the rest of your body. Right. Just... It, 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 none of these guys are investing. This isn't the people from Silicon Valley that put up all the money into these deals to get Uber and these IPOs. You're getting guys that are sitting in an office a bunch of drunk scumbags and all they sit there and say, give me a, give me a client. I got some money I can lend out. That's all they're saying. How much money you need? You need 10. We'll give you tranches. We'll give you a million and a half dollars to start. 
you got you got a ten million dollar credit limit. You'll get up to ten million. Anytime you need the money, you let us know. The time you sign that paper, they already got five million in their pocket. Yeah, they've already sold your stock down because no one enforces settlement. Gensler, Friedman, Cook, they don't enforce settlement. And just think about it's this. like having a border and saying we're not going to care if you come across it. Oops. A homeless person do these transactions. That. All you need is a prime broker and an account. If you could sell stock, get the money in first, then you lend it out. That's all you're doing. And every company believes that when they do a deal and they raise funds, it's a major positive. That used to be a positive that someone would fund your company, but not anymore. It's the opposite. You, they put out a press release. We're proud to finally invest, or Lynn Point is will put out a statement. We are proud. We're, we're with you. We're, we trust you. We're the best. We'll do anything to help this company succeed. Pickleball Elite now owns 10 shares of ZJYL with a zero cost basis. If he loses money, I'll tell him, I'll let him try to hit me in the face with the ball. I'll stand 15 feet away, see if he can smack it in my face. Free shot. He might take you up on that. Um, I don't think I don't think he can hit me. <laughs> uh, That's why I said it. It's not easy to nail somebody. It's not easy being cheesy. Um, <laughs> what are your thoughts on MMAT? I, again, I can't keep up on it. I don't follow it. It's at five and a half cents. Uh, stay I, I don't follow. Listen, I, again, there's a whole triangle here of this, that, that, this. I'm here for MMTLP. They stop trading. How many shares do people own and how many shares are available or dividends are available? That's it. The rest of this nonsense, the SEC is hiding it. They've been busted by the emails between them and FINRA. Everyone went to Washington. They got people signing letters. Where's our money? No one can answer. Who's the person that got the stock trading? That's number one. They should go to jail, number one, because they gave out fraudulent information and listed a company that doesn't, that's not even a company. What happened with MMMA, all this other nonsense, what's going on? It doesn't make a difference. I don't care what they have in the ground. They can have a bag of dog shit in the ground. It doesn't make a difference to me. The key is stock settlement. It doesn't exist. If stock settlement doesn't exist, the whole equity market is completely fraudulent. That's it. It doesn't make a difference what a company does. I keep trying to tell you that. Finger Motion is fully funded, has major deals, blah, 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 giving dividends out, and someone keeps selling every day. Every day. And it's only one reason they're selling every day is because they're short and they're trying to distort it. And they, have, they don't even have anything to say anymore. They put out fake reports. We can't even get the judge to rule that, that the Capybara has defaulted. The company is one, but they need the judge to sign off on the, the default. It's been three weeks. I asked Mark Brazil, he goes, you know, the judge does it when he does it. I mean, think about that. The company spent $100,000 to go after these criminals and can't finish it because we have to wait for a judge to rule on it. To rule on what? He should just stamp it and say, shoot on site. They're criminals. That's what he should stamp. So we're, Miles wants you to line up. And there's everybody that owns ZJYL is going to have a free shot at you. <laughs> the funniest thing, I think that no one can hit me. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Because I believe it's not easy to be able to nail somebody. The ball tails away. I don't think you have the right swing. But, you know, I know KYP couldn't hit it into the ocean. She's standing by the Bell Parkway trying. She can't, she can't hit it into the water. It's not easy being cheesy. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what, if it works, you line up and let me hit you. No, thank you. <laughs> I can guarantee you you're going to get nailed. <laughs> no, thank you. So 195 to 215, 20,075. So they still haven't even doubled the value from the opening hour. Oh, no, wait, you got it wrong. Wait, they're at 212.87 now. Oh, yeah. The last trade, two, the last trade was 219. 
they want to sell it five dollars lower than one share for a hundred shares a block of a hundred shares uh, listen this is you know it, it's the short on both sides it's 195.20 to 21287. i don't know anybody on this phone everyone's always saying that they, they buy it <laughs> And they, you know, these guys have got these weird numbers on the, both the bid and the offer. So if anybody wants to buy it, you bid one ninety five and twenty one cents. If you want to sell it, you offer the two twelve eighty six. Do it in front of them. If anybody wants to fuck around with them, just go offer one of your shares at two twelve eighty six and see if they move the market. If they take you out, then you could be 195, 30 cents. You know, you can try to catch the spread if you want to waste your time. GTI is having a rally here, 21 to 22 cents. Everybody must know I'm talking to the uh, to the uh, consultant as soon as I hang up on this call. I can't read this out. The only good white judge is uh, something white judge. This is from your friend. Oh, God. Bernie I Madoff you. and your Steve fellow. Steve Rosenberg. Steve Rosenberg. If I was at West Point with him. <laughs> you would I'm have short sheeted his sheets? Three, three hours into the tour under my thing, I would have had him go stand guard. And have everybody shoot him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and then we turn him around and make believe that the enemy shot him. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> That's what a pain in the ass he is. A smart guy, but a pain in the ass. He's always been a pain in the ass. But a smart guy. Which is more important, to be a non-pain in the ass or be dumb? Be smart and be a pain in the ass, which is a better person to know. Okay, um, any more questions? There are no more questions. That's it. Everybody understand it. I'll recap it again. Finger Motion has updated their financial press release. The company put out a press release and updated. Everything's going in the right direction. They had some cutoffs, some accounting measure, whatever the hell it was. I'll get a clear answer on Wednesday. So if anybody's going to be in AC, I will see you Wednesday at the uh, Finger Motion presentation in Atlantic City at Caesars Palace. I will reach out. I will make a list of all these other companies and I will make sure that they're all going to be tortured for being there. All right, that's number two. Number three, uh, ZJYL, oh, excuse me, Finger Motion, let me finger the company has updated their their economic uh, their financials, uh, the discrepancy, whatever happened, it's been clear clarified. It's out there. The company trying to help the shareholders out is giving out a special dividend, a warrant that will give you an extra share. I don't know what the numbers are yet, so it's a positive thing. And the company's presenting on Wednesday in person in Atlantic City, flying in from wherever the hell they are to give a presentation to shareholders face-to-face -face and we'll answer questions. To me, those are all very negative things. Oh, wait a second, that's Lynn's statement, they're all negative things. To me, they're all positive things. And you know, the company has been attacked straight down since October 10th, I put, I put it up there every day. The company was attacked by Capybara with the false report. The company was attacked by a false statement on Ben Zinger about the earnings being down 90%. That's when they were up 80% on the last quarter. So I don't know what's gone wrong here, but there's only one thing, and that is someone is a criminal trying to drive the stock down because they're trapped. That's the only thing I could see in the stock. I recapped it from beginning to the end. The company has $15 million in cash. They're fully financed. They got big deals, and yet someone is trying to kill this company. Very different than GTI, which is building fundamentals, has the consulting on, working on deals to get new, get new deals in here to drive revenue. Very different story, right? But still, it comes down to that there's 450 million unsettled trades roaming this earth somewhere. And they were in Alpine. Where are they now? Alpine's going bust. They're going to, they should be in jail. Those guys, 
the Kramers dropped it off at Alpine. It's, we have the proof from the NSCC. It's right there. Very different than AMC. Does anyone have the AMC proof? GTI has the proof. AMC doesn't have the proof. AMC got the short squeeze, the 70. Finger Motion hasn't had that short squeeze yet. But if you own Finger Motion that runs the 70 and you're still sitting here, you don't make one sale, take money off the table, then go sit with the guy with AMC when that happens. All right, go in his uh, penalty box for being a buffoon. And I'm not being nasty to the people at AMC. They deserve to have stock sentiment like we do, but you did have your chance to cash out. Hardest well, thing to do is to sell. That's my opinion. Well, not if you listen. Wall Street is. It's, we do not feel sorry for people who missed a big sale. It's unfortunate, but I, 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 I can't feel sorry for you. I haven't gotten that big. I haven't gotten the big chance yet from the names I'm following. One person's big is that, another person's pasha. Well, that's what this is what you have to learn about Wall Street. And I'll give you an example. GameStop. I reported that the institutional ownership was two hundred was one hundred and seventy seven percent. Adding in the other retail and non reporting funds was a two fifty whatever it was. But the number we could see was one seventy seven. The stock went to five hundred. The institutional ownership now is 33%. So it went from 177 to 33. 177 before the squeeze began. And it's now after the short squeeze and it's back to earth, it's 33%. What does that tell you, William? What did the funds do when it squeezed? Um, William? Yeah. What did the funds do if it squeezes? They walk away. What? No, it was 177 at three and three quarters. GameStop. Oh. The stock went to 500. They started. Today, them. They rescued the each other. They started selling. They started. They all sold. They all sold. Yeah. Grow up. That's what they all did. They made They're more money on the way up. back down than they lost because They're they did it in waves. Every time it rallied, they sold it back down. When the stock ran, they all sold their positions. They were there. They made their statement. They bought it. That's what I reported on. When it ran, that number went from 177 to 30. If you're still standing there, you're a buffoon. The funds sold. They did. You have to learn. They're not going to call you up and tell you to sell. All right, there's a lesson. It's right there. Well, I wish I had sold That's two. What I followed. I wish I had sold two shares today at two ninety or two seventy five. Buy it back, but you know, you live and learn. That's yeah. Listen, I'm sure some people have done it. That's what they do. Some people you know, do, I, do it. Listen, you're not going to listen. No one here owns enough shares to do that. So again, it's not. It's the, the game is not there. Uh, I mean, that's how I look at it. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you're looking to make fifty dollars, you could have made a sale. So, do you think IBKR is going to have to deliver five hundred thousand shares? They're going to be. They, they've. I'm told that they had legal counsel trying to get the shares out of them. So maybe that's why they put eight hundred and fifty out to loan, so they can paper it up, and they're just going to. They uh, loaned out eight hundred and fifty thousand shares. The most they people you could see they've they've shorted what twenty thousand. Yeah. What do you need to? Why would you need to commit so much fraud to show that number? Why would you put that number out there? To scare, to people. scare everybody. They're yeah. spoofing it. That's all they did it for. Yeah, just to scare people. They did it to spoof. That's what they did it for. Yeah. This is this is making me depressed about the markets. What? They're all they're all fraud. I think I have to get into a different business. Walmart. I told you that all these CEOs going to that trade show. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the time, go through the list of companies there, and you'll see me torture them on Twitter. Um, and then when I see them next week, I'll really I'll finish the job. God. 
Nicola, we don't know when the Nicole, we don't know when the split is happening. Ham thinks it's going to happen as soon as the vote is. Uh, the hammer comes down on the vote. Basically, I think that I think, I think it's company, ten days later, but we don't know. I think the company is going to come out and say the vote. The board approved it. The shareholders approved the forward split twenty to one, and we we determined that the stock will the split on this day. That's that's what I think you're yeah. going to say. What day that is, I don't know. I, I'm going to gonna guess happens. if I look at the calendar. February 12th would be my guess. That's the Monday after, that's the second Monday after the vote. That's 10 days, 10 days. Anyway, that's my answer. I'll say February 12th. Ham thinks it'll be sooner. And we don't know. I don't think it really matters. Well, look at, what's his name? Let's let's go over it. V-O-C-L-D announced a reverse split. Right. How many days before it did the reverse did it show up? It was right away, wasn't it? Oh, my God, William. You're getting good at this. <laughs> so you're saying that a reverse split can happen immediately, but a forward split is going to wait 10 days. But I, 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 I'm just looking at it. it just the dress But the they have to is. issue shares. And in the other case, I don't know. You're probably right. You're probably right. I would listen to you over listening to me. Was there a reason why Nextbridge didn't say how many shares the shorts wanted to buy from them? Of course. Number one, they may be in negotiation. Number two, their lawyers probably said, you can't put that out there. You, you'll be sued. I mean, you look, Kevin, this isn't this isn't uh this is real money involved in MMTLP and all of these. And you can't just casually tell the whole world uh information. That's my opinion, but maybe they should have said how many shares uh uh the shorts came in to buy. I I, I don't know. I, I think it would not Perhaps it was a a confidential offer. They can't break break that confidentiality. I think it's totally reasonable that they wouldn't say what the shorts offered to buy. Again, I just look at it that if the company did a reverse split and they announced it immediately, then a forward split has the same pattern. They're not going. It's not going to be a hundred years from now. Well. Your friend from West Point says that you that there's a naked short position as large as you say. I've never heard you say what the position is short. Have you ever given a number for the short Someone position? Social watch, bro. Finger motion fundamentals, NFA. No fucking, what does that mean? What does NFA mean? In my opinion. Not uh, fucking, I don't know what that means. News for all? I don't know. I don't know what it means, but anyway, I don't know what it means. But uh, if you want to see the company, go to AC. They'll, they'll update good news, not not bad news. And have you ever I, given a short position on that on CJYL? I've no, never, I don't know the number. Yeah, I've never heard one. Never heard one. Um, you know what? I'm going to try to reach out to good old Tom and see if I can get that number. Okay. Give him one share. He might make that trade. <laughs> one share at 5,000. All right, ZJI, can you get me get an idea on how big the short is? I just asked my friend who works for him. So let's see if he comes back to me. So Kevin, Again, this is Kevin uh, Biller, not legal advice, says it might have only been Canadian brokers. And, and it may have been 10 million just from a few Canadian brokers. So uh, NFA is not financial advice. Oh, listen. LOL. I'm, I'm so, I didn't know what it meant. I, I thought he was tell, cursing me out. I have no idea. Listen, I read through this stuff at lightning speed. 
Right? That's why I'm not an attorney. Well, your your friend is I'm saying that he told Berta or that Berta knows he was correct in telling him that that they would illegally stop trading in MMTLP. And I guess he's implying, he says the crooks on Wall Street are going to have to get ZJYL to disappear if the naked short position is as large as Sam says. I lost it for a second. Which stock was that, William? Steven Rosenberg. Crooks on Wall Street are going to have to get ZJYL to disappear as they did with MMTLP if the naked short position is as large as Sam says. I don't know how big it is, so I never said it. I don't, I don't, I don't know how big it is. It's just huge, right? Huge, huge. I, I, that's it's north of it's north of the float. We know that, so I don't. We're going to try to find out how big it is. Well, so this is you know, the, like watching paint dry. And by the way, this is what your financial advisors do all day. They sit around in front of the computer talking about stocks and golf and chit-chatting this is what financial people do yeah it's the most boring existence ever but it's well paid better than being a teacher or a policeman in terms of but salary. The wall street wants everybody to put money in their brokerage account and they want to manage it they don't want you to have a thought of what you're doing so you step out and try to make a living and try to make uh, try to make uh, money on your own. This is what this is what you walk into, and I'm glad I can help. And you know, I I can't guarantee you're going to make money, but at least you understand what the hell's going on here. Very different. Before, when I was trading in size, it was I could buy. 50,000 shares of a stock, walk around, come back, and the stock could be up, up and down a nickel or a quarter. You turn around now, your stock could be down $10 over nothing. Busy Brand says, uh, North, the South Korea uh, short selling ban remain in place until retail investors issues are resolved. That's pretty good news. Everybody's making noise. And you're telling me the SEC is going to sit here and do nothing, you know? Big Orange says, no way SEC is going to let another MMTLP happen. Imagine what would happen to the congressman. ZJYL will run. They can't stop it. Oh, God. Mark R. is telling Celeste jokes. Celeste isn't on the phone. She's got to be in school. No, but she brought these jokes home from school, and her father thinks they're hilarious. <laughs> oh, good for him. That's nice to have a sense of humor. We need people who don't have real good... Uh, sense of a good joke versus a bad joke Richard. so a ham sandwich walks into a bar and orders a beer the bartender says sorry we don't serve food here <laughs> there you go william i still didn't get the answer what did Djokovic get smoked in the third set did he go go out in three sets i don't know I don't, don't want to know. That's a man who doesn't want to face the I horror. I don't want to face facts. You got first row seats to face the horror. I don't want to face facts. So, again, a friend of mine just told me he's buying 300 shares of ZJYL. That's a big, big buy coming in. I, I'm thinking, how can I buy another three shares? I got to go rob a bank or something. 
Oh, that's where I'm stuck. If something would move, if finger was running back up to four or five, I sell 500 shares, then I can go buy it. But I can't do it. I'm not selling it down here. What do you call an alligator detective? It's so bad, an investigator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you need to go watch some Rodney Dangerfield jokes. Get back in the game. All right, so let me just recap again. Finger Motion is presenting on Wednesday. They're going to present that they lost all their money in a crap game, and every business plan they have is out, and the CEO is going to sit here and we can throw tomatoes at him. Or he's going to say good news. You tell me what you know. We know he's not taking money from anybody. That's a fact, right? And I'm going down there to make sure that he doesn't talk to anybody. That's what I'm going to do. I'm Apparently, I'm looking worried lately. I think William is the short in ZJYL. No, I'm not short. They, I couldn't get approval to short. I don't have a market maker. So I may look worried. I don't know. I just looked. I, I've had... I have to go back in on this eye. I might have a detached retina. My eye, other eye can't see through. And uh, I don't know. I don't mean to look worried. But it takes William, a worried man William, to sing a worried a song. Lot. Listen, financial strain takes a lot of everybody. All right? It yeah. takes years to get it takes years to get used to this stuff. All right. When I was on a trading desk and I lost $16 million in 30 seconds, trust me, my face was turning purple. You know, I got bagged by Fidelity in the trades and I got crushed. But again, you dig your way through it and you get yourself out of it. That's what happens. Well, it's America. It's always, what can I do today? What are we going to do tomorrow? And you can't look backwards. But that, that skill we have also means we just trust, oh, we, you know, they won. Let's just keep moving. Well, this listen, is the biggest. I, I, I don't, I don't part. believe in that, and I never believed in it. And I vowed that I was going to stay until we won. So, so Stephen Rosen joining in. Yeah, Steve Rosenberg is uh, telling you that you've done more than anyone in your in our country to expose and stop illegal naked short selling, except for Don Fizz. Don Fizz is my hero. I love the guy. I, I wish I had the time to go down and meet him, but uh, I'll I hope he doesn't go run out again. You'll meet. You guys will meet. Right, so. I, he's he's like you know. I I wish I could. I you know. I don't even know what to do anymore. All right. So I'm going to see the CEO that I'm invested in and get some information to see what he has to say and listen to trade disclosure. Let him tell us what's going on. And I told you I'm going to go piss on all the other companies there. And I wish I had some documentation I could just give out to each one of the CEOs. You know, maybe I'll do that this week and I'll make a presentation for each company. I'll just walk over and just give it to them and say, here, if you don't do something, you're going to zero. Here it is. Thank you. And I'll just walk away. Just print out, get your daughter to print out charts of the 10 stocks that each one of those give and, and put it all on one page here. This is what the stock, this is when they signed up. This is where it is now. You want you want to join that for fun, right? There you go. Aegis is there. Here's Aegis's track record. Lynn Partners. Who you want to go to? Yeah, keep going. Knock yourself out, or you can leave to come to South Korea with us. We'll start a financial news show. Besides being in a market that will protect you by regulators that know about the fraud, and they're going to say, "Well, no one's going to know about our company," so we're going to start a financial news show. And we're going to cover you. And every day you have something to say. You buzz the show. And we'll get you on if you're listed on this exchange. And you can tell the story. You update everybody in real time about your company. And you'll get a global market behind you versus having hedge funds destroying your stock. Guys like the Kramers or Lynn or Yorkville or all these savvy and all those guys. Let's just set stock. up our own fund. Uh, to do all of this illegal stuff, but since everyone else does it, we can get lawyers to point out, hey, you're not enforcing the laws, so obviously we can do it, and then let's just, just run a column, notify the SEC, today we sold these kind of shares, notify, just show how it's done. 
Nobody right. believes it. That's the problem. No one believes it. Oh, you don't yeah, have but to. Everybody's, all these companies got the same failed business plan. That's all you have to understand. They're all the, the companies story. are disasters. All the CEOs are, these, this day trader of Yahoo stock knows more about each of these companies than you do. And they just need to be destroyed. These two people that work out of a crappy building underneath the, next to a bank, the Kramer brothers, they know that every stock out there needs to be destroyed. And Kensler goes along with it. Right. They All the SEC, everybody needs to just come out here and say, if we catch you naked short selling, okay, you don't have to borrow and your records are off, any manipulation, if we catch you, you're going to jail for mandatory 10 years. That's it. Savvy management, how Mintz belongs in jail. His 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 uh, his uh, document with the SEC said a naked short selling scheme. He was scheming to defraud investors. Scheming. I know a catchy phrase they could say: three strikes, you're out. Oh, that only applies no, listen, to. Listen, if, if they're going to do that, then let me go steal twice, and you'll never see me again. Who strikes you out? <laughs> These guys belong in jail. They don't let criminals out. You rob a bank, they put you in jail. Go hand out a fake 20, they put you in jail. You don't sit there and say, hey, I'm sorry I gave out those. I, I flooded the market with you know 500 fake 20s. Oh, really? You got to go to jail. Oh, I didn't do 600, I only did 500. <laughs> you go to jail. If you murder somebody and they get you, you go to jail. You're going to say, oh, can I, I only murdered two people. I only murdered one. You go to jail. These guys have destroyed people. People are, MMTLP is what had a suicide, two suicides, three people die. It's, it's stress. Your money's stolen. It affects people differently. If your family's starving, what do you do? Yeah. I did it. I lost my money and I drove a car for three years. Every night I drove to Atlantic City. I drove a big gamble to Atlantic City every night to survive my family. I don't like to gamble. I don't like to stand there all night working as a cab driver. But I was making myself three to five hundred dollars a day driving a big gambler, and every time he won, I was making money. That's what I did to survive. Other people don't have these opportunities. All right, I did it for three years. I worked all day in the stock market studying it, making sure it's selling, and I survived at night. And I, I'm proud that I did. I'm going to try to you know marry Jean Carroll after she wins her court case. Right. But again, some people don't know how to handle it. It's not easy. You know, I was hoping that I go, I had to go eight days a week, pay the gas bill, pay the telephone bill, do whatever I can do to make $300 every day. And I didn't take the money I was making and go gamble at a table. I just sat there and did what I had to do and drove back home. But again, finger motion is presenting on Wednesday. If you live in New York City, Pete for Philly, if you can come over, it'll be great. It's about 30 minutes, 40 minutes to AC from Philly. Just go over to Walt Whitman Bridge in case you don't know how to get there. If you know how to get there, it's an easy place to get to at Caesars. The guy will present. And uh, we'll hang out and uh, we'll discuss what the hell it is and we'll go on our way. What else can we say? CJYL, we all know what's going on here. Big players are here. They're doing a forward split. They trapped the short. We know our interactive brokers is the place where it's at. And they're spoofing, lending out more shares than exist. What more can there be? What more can you say? All these people that have been buying stock 20s and 30 shares and 10 shares, is everyone buying at Interactive Brokers? I don't think so. No. Hey, look at this. GTII almost going to 23 cents. Listen, everyone, I think that the SEC, their comment about the people in Europe addressing them about stock settlement is sending a message. They know where the fails to deliver are. All right, we read the stories. 
They're sending a message. The chairman of the SEC could have said, hey, everybody, we're going to work on speeding up stock settlement to make sure that we don't have all these fails to deliver. He didn't say that. He warned the European Union. Correct? That's what he did. He made a statement warning the union about that. I'm just trying to get the exact quote, William. And falling asleep on me, William. Come on, get with the program. SEC Gensler urges Europe to speed up stock settlement times. He's telling them. He's telling you. One person said to me, we got to wait until March. Well, I've been doing what does it matter if years. they speed up settlement times and he doesn't enforce them? Wall Street is about one thing, William. Settlement. Being in a, in a, besides settlement, we love to be a... Things happen in advance, and I'll give you an example. Oh, I see. I see. I had a friend that used to trade the stocks of ski resorts. And guess when he bought them? When it was 95 degrees outside in the middle of the summer, he was buying those resorts, those stocks at $12, $11, whatever they were. And when the winter came and the resorts ramped up, all the funds would come in later on. They were paying $22, $23, and he would sell them. He did it all the time. But he waited a couple of months. He got in before it happens. All right? People like to get into stocks that got that filed to get an FDA approval on something. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. All right? But people like to get in first, get in before it happens. That's what Wall Street's about. I look at it. The SEC is telling me what I see them saying is that we're going after the people that are hiding all these trades offshore, and we're letting them know they got to start cleaning it up. So to me, find the stocks that I believe that are going to benefit from people buying back shares of stocks that are short, and I look at GTII and finger motion. There's many other names. Go pick your own. I could kill us. But that's what I believe in. And I think the time to do it is before they come. Because I've had the risk is out of the stocks. If you're doing that, they're at the low points now. This is when you should be buying it. GT, GTC could be one of those names. You know, I don't know. I got in way early on that one. But ZJYL, this is a new game that's in town. These guys are short. They need to distort. And they have a problem by next Tuesday when the company announces that they're going to go 20 to 1. If you're short 10,000, you're going to be short 200,000. I don't think anybody who wants to be short wants their position to go up 20-fold. That's my opinion on that. You can, you sit there and you tell me I'm short 10,000. You're going to say next week I'm going to, short, I'm going to be short 200,000 or whatever the number is. I would tell you you're out of your mind. You better start covering. That's a, that's a normal conversation. What we're seeing is abnormal because these guys are committing fraud and they don't know what to do because they're the only sellers and they know everybody knows now. So now what do they do? Now they have a bigger problem. Besides everyone being educated, you know, we educated everybody on this crazy stock in five days. And you don't have to wait six months. This shit's coming down next week. And the shorts are attacking it because they know it's coming down next week. Otherwise, they would let it go higher. The shorts attack finger motion. They've been driving it down since October 10th. They threw everything in the kitchen sink to try to get people to sell the stock. And I'm sure some people have sold. But they've done everything. But the company still remains on the tracks going the same way. They tried to derail the company, but the company is still going forward. Now the company is telling you they're doing a dividend to what? To help the shareholders. You're going to get a bonus. But really it is, is one thing. It's basically to fuck up the guys that are shorting. Some people need proof. This chairman of rum needs proof of the naked short selling. He doesn't know where to get it. He's going to go to the proof store. I told him to go there. It's on it. Go downtown. I said, it's in Soho, the proof store. You'll get the proof there. Bozo. Richard Hoffman told you that there's such a thing as circumstantial evidence. He did. 
And but I'm not an attorney. I'm not an attorney. And I'm looking at it saying, well, you see patterns that. every time you do a deal with Lynn Partners, the stock goes bust. That's a pattern. Oh, all those stocks are a pattern. No matter who you deal with, deal with they're, it's the same pattern everywhere. <laughs> no one's getting $10 million from benchmark, these companies, all those companies, and surviving. They all go straight down. CELU took money at 80 cents. They drove it straight down. And the person that put up the money, I said, where is their name in the filing that they're an owner? They never filed. The stock went down. It broke 50 cents. The company lowered their warrants from 80 to 50, and they took another $3 million from at 50. Boom, down to 21 cents. It's right. At the, it, it's right there. You pick a stock. They're all the same. Every stock looks the same. A stock starts to go up. Look at rum. Started to break out. Go to the upside. Got to seven dollars. They smashed it down in two days in a row. It's down a point and a half. The reporters write the story. The stock is surging up twenty one percent. They never write the stock is down eighty five percent and just bounced back twenty. That's the story. They never say that. They make it sound like the stock is rallied and enough. It's surging. You better take some profits. That's about enough in this rally. That's what the, that's what the reporters write. The reporters should be writing, hey, this stock has been destroyed. And it's rallied back up 21%. And there's plenty of room still to go here. Correct? That's what they should be saying. But you don't get that one. I just found my sunglasses. Thank God. If you we have, may get a sunny day soon. I want to make sure I have a sunglasses. If you have two shares, Berna, you'll end up with 40. It's two times 20. Hold on. Let me check my cash position, William. Hold on a second. Hold on, balances. All right, available to withdraw. Okay, that's my cash balance, correct, William? I have no idea. Well, if you have cash, that would be available I don't to have trade. any proof. You're saying something, but I have no proof of it. It says available to trade, all settled, and available to withdraw. All right, I have 14 cents. <laughs> Well, That's you it. can open an account at Webull and You're buy a about, fractional share. Uh, I'm fully invested. There's nothing I can do. I mean, I'm all in. So that's it. If I had $200, I would be buying that stock right now. But I don't have any money. So that's yeah, the I wish I had it, but I don't. Uh, so then listen, but, you, but you, we're all getting a lesson on a forward split. This is a college course. I hope you make a ton of money, but this is what you're starting. This is what you have to understand about Wall Street. We all have to do this. You have to understand what it is. I was never involved in a forward split. I know a reverse is bad. The forward's good. That's all I know. Let's see what happens. I know the people that have been buying it. They said, I told you yesterday, we believe the leak is coming out of interactive brokers. They must have a client that is short. Obviously, someone's trying to protect them by offering all those shares to borrow. They're trying to entice other short sellers to come in, I guess, is what I think is going on. Oh, my God. Look at the stock. go. Oh, can we borrow it? Oh, you can borrow all you want. Is How the, can that be possible? Is ZJYL going to split? Bowit split. So how will this stock squeeze? Can't they just keep selling more counterfeit shares to meet the demand of buying? Yes, 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 yes. So and how the will answer it to that question is, yes, they can keep doing it. And my answer to you is, if they thought they can keep doing that, why are they trying so hard to make less money for it? Why would they just let it go higher if you can continue doing that? Because they can't, they can't. That's the answer. The time, the, the time is running out. 
This is a small company that you get margin calls on. It's very dangerous to play. On X Matador is just very simple. There's 1.3 million shares in the float, and it doesn't matter if you buy any. I don't care. 1.3 million shares in the float. 80% is held by insiders. They can't sell. And then the whales that, that Ham knows own at least 1.3 million shares. They at least own the entire float. They're doing a 1 for 20 forward split, 20 for 1 forward split. That's going to trap out the shorts. We hope. We'll see what happens. And the whales are asking for 500,000 shares to be taken out of DTC, out of street name, put in, put in physical certificate form. That's the story. If you don't think it's going to work, it's not going to work. They're just going to keep selling. Don't trade it. If they, if the key is, if they thought they would win, why would you not sell it at three hundred? They're trying to sell it at two hundred, and that answer is they can't win. They're just trying to get people to. These bail are out. Uh, most of these shorts. I Ham told me, and I believe him in ZJYL. Are probably have less money than than the Seven Eleven guy on, at the corner. I'm not making fun of that, but they're working at they work at day trading firms. It's, it's just day trading. They have an allocation of money. In. It's not their they, money. They they they're just day trading, and they can't carry the position, and they can't they afford the loss. Morning, they came in this morning. They whacked every bid. The stock drops. And now they're sitting there saying, okay, we sold it 300. I sold it that 500 shares. I sold 500 shares at 300. I'm going to try to buy it back and make $75, 500 shares or a thousand or 2000 shares. So depending on who these guys are, they work as a pack of wolves. You can see the attacks. Now they have to try to cover it. If they can't cover it, they're going to take it right back to the high trying to cover it because they don't want to go home short because next week they're going to be short 20 times more and they don't want to do that. They're trying to steal quick money. The stock can be manipulated quickly because it's a high price stock. That's what they're doing it for. Trust me, if I could sell 2000 shares to 300 and buy it down a hundred dollars lower, are you kidding me? That's a great trade. I mean, a hundred dollars, 2,000 times in a day? That's unbelievable. But you can't buy it back. If you sold it, how are you going to buy it back? The only sellers are the shorts. They can't. They got to go out there and go pick off the short seller. If there's a bigger short seller, the small guys who attack with them, they're going to pick him off then. And that's the problem here. All right, I have my friend reach out. You can see the stock even doesn't even trade. Except that when they try to knock it down, they get people to panic. Finger motion, hurry up. I got the 230, 233. Knock it back down. The company's presenting. It's going to tell everybody the world is over on Wednesday. Hurry up, sell it. We're giving out dividends. We got good news. We're doing this. But the stock keeps getting sold since October 10th. The CEO is not hiding. He's coming out to present on Wednesday in Atlantic City at Caesars. You want to go? He's presenting at 1230. The press release is out there. So if you invest in a company, you're looking at say, oh, the company is going to present on Wednesday. What's he going to do? Go up there and juggle a couple of bowling pins? What's he going to do? He's going to come out and tell you the story of the company. He's going to sit there right in front of you and tell you exactly. Everybody wants to hear from the company. He's going to be right there. If you have anybody in New York City area, Philadelphia, Maryland, you can drive up, spend some time, go see what you're invested in and meet the guy. He's right there. I've seen him in many times in Las Vegas and New York City. He's presented there at this conference, that conference, and I went. He was at a Roth, Roth uh, Capital Conference. My friends were at Roth. I went to see them there. They're presented there. I mean, I've seen it. The guy tells the story. He's well spoken. He's, he's, you know, as far as I'm concerned, he's a great guy who understands the business. And you know what? He's traveling the world trying to make it happen. But Lynn Partners is the only, the only mistake they made. And you know what? They survived the mistake. They paid it off. My friend gave him 3.5 million at ten dollars. 
to pay back Lynn. Lynn was so upset that the company got the money, they started screaming at them. You can't give us back the money. We don't want it. You're defaulting because you raised money because you didn't come to us. We have the first right of refusal. But the company did go to them and they wouldn't take, they didn't want to invest. So now they got trapped. That's how they try. They do everything. Why, why do you have to keep going back to them? What's the big deal? You gave us money. We want to pay you back. No, you can't have it. The stock went to 10. We want to pay, we raised money at a higher level and gave up 300,000 shares instead of millions of shares. What are you so angry about? That's a good thing, right? Not to Lynn. Because Lynn got trapped. They're exposed. So what are they doing? They got their friends here, whoever they are, doing it offshore, trying to knock it down, trying to get you to sell. There you go. That's the whole story. And the pressure of the SEC has got to be enormous because you guys think it's just us talking about naked short selling. It's all over the place. It's everywhere. People are screaming about it. Everyone's had enough of it. Who's the bank behind Alpine? I don't know. That's a good question. Someone just asked me, what's the bank behind Alpine? I don't know. They probably stole so much money at their own bank. So, uh, Wayne P., you look like a guy who knows Google. Google is a search engine. You just type in G-O-O-G-L-E, Google.com, search engine. Is ZGYL forward splitting 21? If so, when? I can't find it anywhere. So, in Google, just type Jin Medical Proxy. That's what I did. And the, the first or second item that comes up is a notice, uh, notice of extraordinary general meeting of shareholders. And it gives you the website of their company, which is um, zhjmedical.com. Um, if you don't know how to use Google, probably somebody in your house knows. Then it says that they're having an extraordinary vote. I've underlined it here. I know you can't quite read it because the camera I have isn't very good, but I'll read it to you. By way of an ordinary resolution with effect from the date determined by any director of the company being no later than March 31, 2024, to subdivide each of the issued and uh, something shares with a par value each into 20 ordinary shares. So they're going to subdivide one share into 20 shares uh, such that following the authorization, the capital of the company goes up. And that is all you have to do, Wayne, is go on Google. So I'm, I'm surprised you can't find it anywhere, but that's how what I suggest to you. Just go on Google. Someone, get, someone told me to go to OTC Markets and you type in ZJYL and then you hit the disclosures and it's right there. The first thing is right there. That's another way. OTC Markets right. Disclosures. OTCMarkets.com. Yeah. And just go there and you can see it on the disclosures. You'll see the first thing. Click on it. There's a PDF of it, and you can see exactly what they said. That's uh, yeah, I, I didn't think of that. Um, well, that's how I was. That's how it was shown to me because I said the same thing as everybody else. You know, where is the? So you just type in ZJYL. You go to OTCMarkets.com. You type in ZJYL for the quote, and then across. The the name comes up, but across the top, there's overview, quote, company profile, 
security details, news, financials, disclosures. You hit disclosures. And the first SEC filing is right there, January 1, 2024, PDF form. Um, and it gives you the proxy card. By way of an ordinary resolution with effect from the date as of determined by any director, no later than March 31, 2024, to subdivide each and of the issued and unissued ordinary shares into 20 ordinary shares. The board unanimously recommends a vote for each of the proposals. The other proposal is just to direct transact ordinary business, other business. And that's it. And that's the history of GLOBE. If I print this out, it's 17 pages long, so I don't want to do it. Who can it's vote right at there. the meeting? Anybody that owns shares as of January 12th. What is right. the proxy card? They give you the proxy. How does the vote recommend I vote? Four. What is the difference between holding shares as a shareholder of record and as a beneficial? Oh, God. Uh, how do I vote? Um, if I plan and attending the meeting. Can I change my mind? What if I, don't I think anyone's planning to attend the meeting is in China and Hong Kong, I think. Will my shares be voted if I do not sign and return my proxy card? Your shares will not be voted unless you vote in person, otherwise. Uh, the, the proxy or a vote in person. Will my vote be kept confidential? Who can help answer my questions? Pam. What question? <laughs> I don't know. The meeting will be held 9.30 a.m. Beijing time, January 30. All right, so I'm not going to that meeting. Which is 8.30 p.m. Eastern time on January 9th, 29th, New York City. But if you want to go in, it's on 33 Lingjiang Road, Wujin District, Zhengzhou City, Zhengzhou Province. PRC. The quorum is one third. One or more shareholders who together own ordinary shares, which carry an aggregate, not less than one third of all votes attaching. That's the proxy. I mean, the listen, quorum. Listen, all the big guys voted. That's all you need to know. Everybody I know that has big shares of 5,000 or more all voted to get the forward split. 5,000 shares, they got 100 now. On September 25th, the company received a letter from the, oh God, All right. from the NASDAQ, uh, oh God, uh, listing qualifications department that the, company was not in compliance with listing rule 5550A3, which requires the company have at least 300 public holders for continued listing. Ah, so there you go. That's why they're doing the forward split. There's your answer. They need to get more shareholders because people can't afford to buy $300 stocks or whatever it is. So there you go. They're doing it. NASDAQ told them to do it. There you go. On so December 18th, the company received a letter, the delisting letter, uh, if it failed to provide a detailed plan, they would be suspended on December 28th. The company has submitted a request for a hearing. Um, subsequently, the company received a letter indicating the de de delisting action has been stayed pending a final written decision by the panel. The hearing before the panel will be held on March 14th. 2024. At the hearing, the company must demonstrate its ability to regain compliance with the particular deficiencies, in other words, 300 shareholders. Um, the directors are of the view that the share subdivision will enable the company to increase the number of shares outstanding, increasing the affordability of the shares of the company, and improve trading liquidity 
and may increase the number of shareholders of the company in order to fulfill the continuing listing requirements of NASDAQs. So there you go. So the company is doing exactly what the NASDAQ told them to do, right? You can find additional information. Uh, the company is subject to the information requires of the Securities and Exchange Act of 1934. You can find additional information at the website, www.sec.com. William, is, is someone offering your stock lower? I'm not, I don't see it right now. What's the market in ZJYL? The market? Let me look. Someone told me that the last trade is 219 and someone's offering it 203 or something like that. One ninety five by two twelve, three hundred by a hundred, two twelve eighty three. So they're doing everything they can to try to break it, whether it's two hundred, three hundred, the two try to mark it down. Obviously, this is the problem. The other day, remember it was two and a quarter. I told you they didn't want they, they were doing everything in their power to hold it below two and a quarter. Obviously, something has triggered these guys to mark it down a hundred dollars. Can the 83 cents be a communication? Who would sell at 212.83? Anytime you see those odd numbers, they're talking to each other. What they're saying is, hey, William, that's me offering at 212.83. Do not buy my stock. That's me. That's what he's saying. And you say, okay, I won't buy that. I'll bid 195.20 for it. That's me on the bid side, so don't hit me. That's what he's saying. That's <laughs> me in the corner. Right. So um, this Wayne, I just tried to put it up on on uh, Twitter, but it it doesn't let me send it to Twitter. I don't know where I can send you this. OTCMarkets.com. ZJYL is the symbol. Hit disclosures, it. and it's the first it's disclosure. Right it's, it's 17 the pages. First thing there. It's right there. And that's a better way of doing it than I said, because this press release is, well, I, I guess it has a link to it. So, but it, this press release isn't as good as OTC markets. So Ham's solution is much better than mine. Once again, my solution is a lot better than yours. Yeah. I'm only kidding. I'm always wrong. That was a good one. Someone talk, someone talk, someone listened on the phone, told me about it. And do me a favor, if you're listening still, Mr. J, get me the number of how big the short is. What if you have 3.14 shares? Rocketman, I believe you're either at Moo Moo, Webull, or Robinhood. I don't think you own anything real. They're, those firms, in my opinion, are set up as a pressure valve for the fraud on Wall Street. And they trade in fraudulent shares. That's my opinion. But you just do the arithmetic. You're in a fractional uh, brokerage firm. They'll take 3.14 and they'll mu multiply it by 20. That's my opinion. Now, they may say to you, no fractional shares. So you might only end up with, with uh, 3 times 20. But I think they'll honor the 0.14. It's all bogus at, at, at Weeble anyway, in my opinion. How do you own a 0.14 share? I don't get I don't they, know how they, doing. I think it was either Webull or Robin Hood. When they first went public, they had a deck. I saw it. I can't find it anymore. But it described that their whole idea was to trade. They would buy a block of shares and then split it out fractionally amongst their, you know, their clients. Well, I, I don't believe they buy a real block of shares. I think it's just all fraud. But that's my my opinion. Uh, uh, you you can check what they disclose. Is there a cutoff date to be part of the forward split? Yes, there will be. It's in Ham's opinion. It's the date of the vote. In my opinion, it's going to be February twelfth. We'll find out af as the vote occurs, we'll find out. I don't think they can go retroactively. If well, you want to listen, you, you can't you can't vote. 
But if you own the stock as of the record date, you'll get the 20 to 1. Well, that's what she's asking. Uh, when 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 is the record date? And I, I don't think we it's don't know yet. I looked up the the traditional rules of disclosure. I just Googled it again. I mean, that's it's not very sophisticated. But you after the vote, you to set a record date, there's 10 days in a normal situation. But I don't know. This might not be normal. I don't know the answer. I think it's going to be February 12th, Delta Doc. But if you want to be sure, the only way to be sure is to buy the shares so they settle before the vote. Hey, Abdul Razik, Hifek. Um, I'm hoping ZGYL squeezes to the moon. I hate Aegis Capital. They destroy clients' accounts. And, and when you complain, they ignore you. Sounds like a good Wall Street person. And then Josh, and then also Kit Kitteridge point out, when they split it, it's going to bring in a lot of buyers at $15 instead of $300. i am trying to think of the name where the Aegis Capital, half of the... Uh... Half of the criminals went over to another firm. I forget the name of the place. So oh, Kit, oh. Kit is saying the 20 for one split must be done NLT. Can you figure that one out? NLT, um, March 31. No later than. But it's got to be before then. You know, they told them. No later than, yeah. If I fly to New York and go to Atlantic City with you for the finger presentation, will you serve as my Uber driver? Yes, I will. <laughs> so which airport can you can he, you pick him up from? I'll pick him up in uh I'll pick him up in uh, JFK, which would be about uh, 3 hours from Atlantic City. Where are you flying in from? Is that true? Is this guy goofing around? No, it's your friend. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. That, that you, that yeah, you pick him up anyway. Tell him to go wait on the corner. Get out of here. That you, that you used his car as a door dash. Uh, <laughs> while no, he was, was like, I took it to the dump. I put all kinds of garbage in it. Took it to the dump. That, that is true. Don't let him know I told you that. So keep that quiet, William. Any thoughts on the Trento mine opportunity for GTI? Actually, uh, I, I just got a text message on that. I think there's a lot going on, but I also think there's one step that needs to be taken prior to that. So I'd rather not talk about it until that one step gets taken care of, which this is This is what it. someone just told me about Trento. They've been reaching out to work with GTII. They said NASA, the Department of Defense, and SpaceX have been in contact with the mine owners. So I don't know what's going on with GTI as far as closing this transaction, but the mining people have just, you know, a friend of mine who's speaking to the mining people also, William, just texted me that. Uh, Ted, um, his post wasn't a jerk. I was a jerk, but anyway. Um, uh, they got an extension in December. Yep. Stay of the listing. Folks, read filings and not wear out William repeating himself. It is exact. Well, I do get it's the same question. It's not the same pattern over and over no. again. It's the same question over and over again. I'll keep going. Let's go. So keep let answering. it be keep written. Going. Let it be done. Um, that, was the, that was the saying? I can't believe it. I knew you knew how to Google, Wayne. Um, uh, I own 0 0.22 shares of GJYL because I put 50 bucks into it. Okay. You probably don't. It's some, it's, it's some formula where they give you fractional representation of ownership, but they own it in street name. I don't know how they do it. 
but they'll multiply that by 20, I think, Aaron. So you'll end up with, uh, uh, cause that's a decision within your brokerage firm. It's possible in the proxy document, they'll scratch out rounding up numbers, but your brokerage firm is saying they're giving you fractional shares cause they own the stock. So I think they'll give you, uh, whatever that is, 4.4 shares. Listen, you're getting an education on a forward split with a big short. Let's see what happens. You couldn't, it would cost you $20,000, $50,000 to go to what business school to actually figure this out. And those bozos, they don't know anything about it because I've, I've, I've I've addressed more what business school good people than you can shake a stick at. I mean, that's how many, and they have no idea. They had no idea about this. Do you think Fidelity will screw us on the 20 for one floored split with no, ZJYL? No. no. Um, this is not restricted shares. They're not doing it through a transfer agent. They're just expanding the amount of shares out to qualify. Look, when you're when you're listed on the NASDAQ, I don't know the rules. I could Google them, but you can Google them. You have to have a certain number of shares outstanding. And we just read you have to have 300 distinct uh, individual or institutional shareholders. All right. They may have 299. I don't know. Maybe they got it now. I don't know. But they, they did everything to address the NASDAQ and they're doing everything the NASDAQ is telling them to do. So the NASDAQ has spoken, the company has spoken, and the short sellers are sitting there saying, it's a scam, short it, everybody, hurry up. So there's a hearing in March. And let's say they got to stay short till March. Let's see what happens then. But the company's addressing exactly what the NASDAQ told them to do. And remember, the shorts love it when stocks get delisted. They go in with the, all the strategies, but the short, the stock price goes down. And then they're, you know, this, by the company doing this and having the whales supporting it, and the vote's already in, by the way, and you guys have been buying shares. I bet they're well over 300 shareholders now. Um, do you think ZJYL will make a big move next week? I thought it would make a big move this week. It did. It went from 100 to 300, but the shorts are attacking it before the move of next week. So are they are letting people to get a free shot to come in here? I think so. You make that determination. I have eight ZJYL and 300,000 MMTLP. Which one will I get rich with first? I think you're already rich in MMTLP, particularly if you've moved it over to the transfer agent. Um, which will you get? Which will go first? ZJYL. That's easy answer. That'll be the one that goes first. The Can game you? is in. The, the game is. They blew the whistle and we're, we're in the third quarter right now. The fourth quarter is next week. Can you explain how a forward split hurts the shorts and how a reverse split helps them? Well, the reverse split, if you're short 100 shares and the company does 100 for one reverse, you are no longer short. <laughs> Your position is gone. <laughs> so the short makes all the money. The investors lose all their positions. And basically, they're just starting over. They're taking... Uh, it's like the Edge of Sketch game. Remember that little game? You turn it upside down, it all disappears. Whatever you drew, that's what happens. So everything gets started over again. Unfortunately, the people that put up money get wiped out, and the shorts who sold you the fake shares, they get rich. That's why they do a reverse. And they, Bernard, they cannot take their monies out of their prime broker's account as proceeds until the, position's until closed. the position is closed. So if if in his example he went to the extreme but if you're if they're short a hundred thousand shares and there's a reverse split 50 to one they they're only short fifty thousand shares and so their maintenance requirement goes from 250 a share whatever it is on a hundred thousand shares down to the fifty thousand shares they can take that rest of that money out they can also take their profit out i i don't know you'd have to sit with a pencil but the profit 
can also come out because it, it was part of the uh, uh, maintenance requirement. I'm, if I'm not clear on that, I just made it up over my head. I'll get out and that's they're just okay. taking away. They're taking away all their liability has been reduced. I've drawn it several all the times. Money, fine brokers require them to put up money, and that money gets returned. So basically, they're getting they're getting released from prison. Is what's happening. Not the reverse. On the forward split, we're making it twenty times worse for them. It's the opposite. They have to put up more money. Their position gets bigger. All the things that they don't want to do happens to them overnight with the, wave, the waving of a wand. And now you see that the regulators are the ones that told the company to do it. So there you go. These guys do it by doing a forward split. The shorts are trying to knock it down. And guess what? Now they have a bigger problem. Because people are sucking up their shares. And it's getting closer to the date. Now, what do you want to do? Hey, you can wait to see. You can wait to buy it on Monday or Tuesday and see what happens. It may be 500, it may be 100. I don't know where it's going to be, but it's there's definitely action coming. So, Berna, I, I've tried to explain this before, but if they shorted 100 million shares and the company did 100 for one um, reverse split, I'm just going from a, a traditional number. It, it's the concept, not the exact number. If they had to maintain $2.50 per share on the 100 million, they had to maintain 250 million at the prime broker, if, if. But uh, let's just go with that. If they sold for a volume weighted average price of 25 cents, they might have a $25 million profit. All of that, the, and that 25 million would be part of that two, 250 million, that's sitting in a prime brokerage account. If they do 100 for one, all of a sudden the 100 million is a million shares. They only need to have two and a half million in the account. They can take all the rest out. And there's no closing transaction. They don't pay taxes. That's how it helps them. And then the stock is up 100 times in price and they can start selling it off again. I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but. What, what happens when they do the reverse, the stock, their position gets reduced by 50%, whatever, 80%, 100%. When the stock gets reversed, the stock price goes way back up again. So you look at it and say, well, we didn't like the stock before, and the guy just reversed it. Well, let's do it again. And that's what happens. They do it again. And that's why you see the stocks who do reverses always have a round trip. They do the same pattern. They go back down again. And it helps them because all their funds are released without a closing transaction, and they don't pay taxes either. So in a forward split, if you used my 250 as an example, it doesn't quite work. So it's an example. But if you had uh, 10 million shares out and you needed two and a half dollars per share maintenance requirement, all of a sudden it's going to be what? 10 million times 20. I can't even do that in my head. 200 million times 250 a share. Conceptually. Did they mark this stock down? Z J Y L. I'm I'm just driving and I haven't. I it's one ninety five to two ten. All right, so they're trying everything in their power to keep trying to hold it down. Uh, they do they want the stock to reverse from two hundred dollars twenty to one in the forward split, which would make it what? What's twenty into two hundred? Ten. Yeah. So the stock would open at ten dollars. Yeah. Is that what they're trying to do? I don't know what they're trying to do. Right now, it would open at ten dollars. Yes. So they trying to move it down. Uh, trying to do that. I don't know. Trying to. Hopefully, they're trying to. Maybe they're trying to change the opening price to the reverse price. Oh. Why would that be? So they don't need as much maintenance. Number one and number two, 
If it, let's say the stock's 300, 20 to 300 is what price? $15? 15, yeah. Big difference when it opens at 15 versus 10. Well, people can afford $10 more than $15. Yeah, no, they're, 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 either way, it's like it's like they grab an alligator. Either way, it's going to bite. So it doesn't make a difference at this point. By the way, this is all an experiment to see what happens. They probably don't really know what's going to happen either. I can guarantee you they're going to try to sell. <laughs> it's their only strategy. Just sell. That's their strategy. Right. Whatever sell comes, sell more. Sell and call everybody names. That's the <laughs> sell and call everybody names. Everybody's no good. Everybody's no good. Um, I'm suspicious of posters mentioning any other stocks right now. Could be a diversion attempt. It's a strategy shorts will use to split people up. Look, Meekers, um, uh, most people here are in two or three stocks. And to, to buy one or two shares or five of this hardly is splitting up the other positions. If this wins and many people are up 300%, you take that profit and you can go back it it to it's me cold, it gives you let it gives you a feeling of acting and not being a victim. It gives you something to watch while you wait, and it might give some liquidity to give you some options to do other things. That's all. Wait, listen, we this is Wall Street. Wall Street, we talk about stocks. I can't say the same name twenty. I can't say MMTLP one more time. It's at the highest level. You will. You can punch. <laughs> It's at the highest level right now. There's not much more you can possibly say. It's there. It's at the highest level. There's political people involved. The SEC has been grilled under oath on this thing. What else can you say? I believe they're going to settle. That's it. What can I say? Do I believe the settlement's tomorrow? It could be this afternoon. I don't know. But there's nothing to say there anymore. I don't own MMTLP, but I discussed it enough to show you. The guy Don Fizz is running around in D.C. helping all of us out. How many times can I say that? He looks like a great guy. I never met him. William met him. I don't know. Next, GTII. The cream is Alpine. They shorted it. We're 22 cents. What can I say about it? The company has to do a deal. People in the Trento mine saying that they're reaching out to the company. It's up to the company to close the transaction, not me. That's all I could say there. There's 450 million shares short. I haven't seen him recover. Alpine, the prime broker, got busted by the DTC and the NSCC with a concentrated short position in GTII. There's your proof. Next, what do you want me to say? I can't do anything else there. I put the truck in front of the SEC. This, that, 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 this. That's all I can discuss there. Finger motion. Finger motion's got a little more wiggle room because the company has fundamentals, had earnings come out. The earnings that were a mishap because of some cutoff, the company addressed it. The company's presenting, they're doing a special dividend. The company's presenting on Wednesday of next week. It's 205 million shares and the short seller is Lynn Partners tied to the debenture, which was paid off. That's a recap. If I have nothing else to say, we would sit here in silence and talk about nothing. Josh wants you, if you ever go on tour, he wants you to go to Alaska first. Um, Alaska? I hate the cold. Uh, Although I love, I love animals, so, but I, I just can't. Uh, can we buy ZJYL for two, $203 when the stock is 219 Say that again, William. He bought it at 203 with the stock put off for the 219 Um. Yeah, I mean, of course you can. the The price of two nineteen is already printed. When you go in at two hundred three, they're just matching you up with a seller or faking it anyway. It can happen at two hundred three. The spread right now is one ninety two to two hundred nine. I, I I bet if you went in to buy at two hundred nine right now, it would come out at two hundred two hundred three. Anyway. What that is, is their market makers are in the middle. The shorts are in the middle looking for order flow. 
to short. That's what's going on. That's what happens when you get those prices. You say take it at 205 and they sell it to you at 200. That's a short seller trying not to let it print at 205. That's what's going on there. Ex Matador, what has to happen with GTII is I think right. Reich- Reichman has to give up control of the company. I, does everything have to be spelled out? That's my opinion. Haven't heard it anywhere else. My opinion. What, what is, what's his question? It's just endless. Uh, what, what's the question? What's what the what question? step has to be taken with GTII before Trento? I, listen, I, it's either one or two things. He has to he has to resign. He's too old. Do a deal. Move along, or he has to drop dead. <laughs> Two things. That's it. I didn't want to put it that way, but I have before. So people have said it. When's this guy going to die? I says I don't know. What am I to say? It's not my business. But he has to do something. He's the CEO. He has to produce and close the deal to drive revenue. People are calling me, showing me the deals, and send them to him. What do I got to do with it? I can't sign the deal. The Trento Mine guys are running around. The Department of Defense, Tesla, and NASA are reaching out to them. They have the goods. The CEO's got to close the deal. He's dead. I don't know what he's doing. But people are presenting deals to him, and he has to do one. That's it. So Then you guys can all, we can all make a determination and say, boy, is that a shitty deal? Why did he do that one? I don't know, but do something. I, that, he's done I, everything else to this point. He Now he has to close the deal. I don't believe a deal can get done until control is determined. That's it for me. That's my point of view. With everything's dragged on forever. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um that doesn't mean something couldn't happen sooner. It, it, anyway, it it's all speculation, Matador. It's all speculation, but uh uh, you're looking for certainties. And the only way I think there can be certainties is if we, and I'm talking about others, control the situation. Anyway, um, if if VO Warrior points out 1,000 ZJYL, if someone had that much, it's it's a little under a quarter of a million? Yeah, I guess now. But he says if they make a profit, they'll bring the money into GTII and Finger. I agree with that. All right, everybody, I'm in a, I'm getting a shake, so just hang in there for a second. I'm just going to put you on mute so you don't have to listen. How to are you going to get uh, it with no sugar? Sugar. All right, hold on a second. The girls are making my shake. This is my lunch. Can you hold? On? I'll just put you on mute for a second. All right. Can you ask him about the BTFP lending program? BTFP, BTFP. Here's the, my shake being made. Give me a second. All right. You think ZJYL is confusing? Talk to multiple finger holders. Um, exactly. That's the that's actually Kit a good point. I get all frustrated sometimes, but in fairness to each of you, it shouldn't have to be this difficult. You shouldn't have to search for all this data. You shouldn't have to figure out all of this. It comes down to Gary Gensler uh, enforcing securities laws. Listen, that they're hiding all the fraud is being hidden from you. That's the problem. Yeah. We all see the companies. We all blame the companies. We're yelling at this old CEO of GTII, hurry up and get something done. You know how difficult it must be to close a deal when the stock price gets attacked? Yeah. How do you negotiate a transaction? Oh, this is our currency. Oh, wait, we just lost 30% of it. It just went from 30 cents to 20 cents on three days on. We don't know why. Yeah. So how would you like to do a deal like that? It's very difficult. I got it. They want to bust up the value per share for you 
and bust up any deals. And and Gensler doesn't enforce settlement. It just, I, there's no more to be said. My opinion is they these geniuses on Wall Street in their greed, they watch what banks bankers do in the commercial banks. They do fractional reserve lending, fractional reserve banking. They're trying to use that same model over here with securities and securities, uh, 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 holding securities, whatever that's called. And it doesn't work because securities have votes, they have dividends, uh, but it does work as long as they convince you to invest for the long run, come grow with us, put it in this mutual fund, put it in this ETF, then it works. And that's why you see all this hemming and hawing. Like your kid coming home and you said, Are, have you been smoking pot? Oh, no, no, no. Why do you smell like it? Well, I was over at a friend. They're just hemming and hawing. <sighs> so, Han, what's the BTFP pro lending program? Are you getting your shake? Are you going to the men's room? No, I'm back. I'm sorry. I missed the question. What is what is the BTFP program? Can you ask him about the BTFP lending program done in March to banks? BTFP. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. The Bitcoin for pennies lending? I don't know what it is. Um, There's so many crazy things in this world, and, the, and these these banks have created. It's pretty easy. You buy a stock, you pay for it, someone delivers it. That's it. From that, they created options to get more liquidity into the stock, get more people to gamble on it. They did that. Then you got convertible debentures. You, they change the game kept changing, <clears throat> but it all comes down to one thing: the stock settlement. If not settling the trades. Then that's where the fraud lives. They built the fraud into the system. There you go. Oh, it's it's totally right. That's it's all done because it's so much money. And if when you really think about it, the treasury prints trillions of dollars. It goes to the banks. If they if they fail, they print more. And it's all just a matter of washing it through the financial system. So a few people can glom on to five, ten percent of it. It adds up to real money. <laughs> here's, a, here's a better question. There's no commissions on Wall Street anymore, correct? Permissions? Commissions, commission. Oh, commission. No, no, no. <laughs> They're just selling your order flow. That's all it's about now, right? Yeah. What is interactive brokers doing that is so great that it that it has a ninety dollar stock? I don't know how much it's probably worth a couple of billion dollars in market cap. What are they doing? That's so wonderful. I don't know. Do they have a trading desk that's making all kinds of money or are they just committing fraud and naked shorting trying to drive money that way? That's the only thing I can think of. I worked at brokerage firms. There's not many arms that make money. I'll have Where to look it up. <laughs> but when I got in the business and my dad used to say, and I hesitate, I hesitate to call it a business hesitate to call it an industry. But when I got it, the Dow or the S&P, financial services, banking, I think it was less than 5% of the Dow, something like that, 3% or something. Now, if you look it up, the, the, the amount of the GDP and the amount of the US resources that goes to financial services, I bet it's a third. It, for what? What do they do that's so brilliant? <laughs> they're all doing the same thing i don't even get it they all do the so, same thing we open up a brokerage firm get some accounts and we become robin hood we're a 10 billion dollar company for doing what let you trade put your money with us and we we have no risk and we make all kinds of money and they, they the print thing. the same brochures they talk to you about alpha and delta and and beta and uh we're in the top two quartile and the First quintile, and it's all crap. But they take, I bet they take a third of the national income right now. I'd have to look it up. Um, somebody just pointed out 
uh, VO Warrior just sold his AMC shares at 96% loss, but he feels a bit lighter somehow. Well, I just want to read to you a quote from Jesse Livermore, one of the greatest traders. He said, a loss never bothers me after I take it. I forget it overnight. But being wrong, not taking the loss, that is what does damage to the pocketbook and to the soul. I think he's right. So good, good on you. When you take your loss, you get it behind you, and you start to go back at it. When I used to take a hit, <laughs> lose $25,000, $30,000, I didn't try to make it back on the next trade. My goal was to make $1,200, get back into the black, then, next, then the next day make 600 and 400 and you say, well, I'm down 25000 I made back two in three days. I'm down 23. Let me keep chopping away till I'm even. And guess what? <laughs> in 20 days, I would be even and be up $500 and say, okay, back to square one. And that's how you got to do it. It makes you a better trader. Um, Ramon, the split does happen after the record date. Well, actually, the effective date. The record date usually lags the effective date. But, they, for example, this Aubrey SPAC thing that we talked about, they actually used a different date when they made their dis The brokerage firms used a different date. So it can be uh, up to whim by the brokerage firms. There was a company, I'm forgetting the name of the company, HNRC, that distributed WDHI. The record date was in December. Either FINRA or NASDAQ moved it to May because the distribution was more than 25% of the company. So it's there's always exceptions. But in general, you can count on the fact that a corporate event will happen after the record date. Uh. Big difference if ZJYL is ten dollars versus ten dollars, because they're they will not try to drop the stock price below two to make sure they do not qualify for Nasdaq listing. Um, There's nothing that's going to happen here. That that that's that's over with. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, about I that. don't think that's an issue. Um, and and Jeremy's correct in one sense when he says that he's doing this reverse split without a financing, but he's he misses the point. The shorting's already he's already his account's already been killed. But in the case of ZJYL, as far as I know, there's never been a toxic financing. There's no default provisions built into a toxic convertible note, a debt spiral note that says if you get delisted, you're in default. So it just doesn't apply here, DB. It really doesn't. Um, I mean, it, it would be interesting. The stock was, what, 4 or 5 or $10 before it ripped? Maybe if they somehow it got back down there. I just don't see it, though. Um, I don't know. Anything's possible, DB. I've been in NAK for five years. I don't know that one. GDC is trying to grow legs. Which one? Um, uh, he's GDC is going up. Well, I'm not crying. Like said, even a shitty stock has an update. I'm not crying. My eyes don't work. <laughs> my eyes, VO Warrior, I'm really having, my eyes aren't very good right now. I can read though, but if I look like I'm crying, it's, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a glimpse to my soul, but I'm not crying. Um, I should be. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, there's, don't no think. Crying in, there's no crying in stock trading, William. <laughs> there's no crying in baseball unless you got hit in the nuts. <laughs> um, could shareholders remove him? Ham. Not legal advice is asking if shareholders could remove him. Oh, no, it says him. It says him. 
Um, yeah, I think that's what GTI uh, you're talking about. I think something's going to be happening, but it it um, I don't talk to the company, but I get the sense. I've said this many times. It's like having a butterfly in your hands. I think he's squeezing the butterfly so much that the wings are going to get broken off. And he's going to be left with a dead caterpillar. I think he has to just let go, let the butterfly go and let go of control. It's hard, but that's what I think he has to do. Well, if he drops dead, that'll be easy then. <laughs> Will somebody rid me of this meddlesome priest? That's from uh, that's from my favorite movie. Listen, you decade. need new blood. You need young blood in here. He survived the attacks. He's a, the company's alive. If you if you clean it up and just start building the business, it'll work out. That's it. Not legal advice gives a lot of not legal advice. It's very good not legal advice. He says if the CEO. Does not capitulate or shall capitulate. Shareholders will move forward for breach of fiduciary duty. That's a good one. I like that. Right. See, it's good to have not legal advice on your side. He's probably got a joke already lined up. <laughs> Listen, I can only come at this from a stock angle. And it's nice to hear that you can remove people from a, a, the company if they're not performing. <laughs> Again, I don't know how to. Call from 140 I'm pissed off and uh, let's see what they do. Um, the CDC keeps calling about getting uh, COVID vaccines. So I'm not going to comment on it. But if the CDC is doing it, it must be good. Uh, not legal advice says in California, shake has a different connotation. You know what? In the Middle East, shake has a different connotation too. I got a smoothie, all right? <laughs> Let me say, fuck out of here. <laughs> you, got, you got a happy beginning. Oh. I, don't, I only eat a donut in the morning. I don't eat lunch and I eat dinner. But I today, after all the talking, I had to go get something. So I just ran and got it. BTFP is Bank Term Funding Program, whatever the hell that is, Bank Term Funding Program. I know buy, sell, stock settlement. That's I guess they're I rescuing the banks. That comes from Pilot. I, listen, I stay focused on what my zone is. I can't go into all this other stuff. Banks are a piece of shit. They lend money to these people, all right? And the banks get blown up and everybody cries. They're giving bad loans. They don't care. It's, they give your money in the bank. They blow it up and you get stuck. Figure that one out. So Miles says this is uh, CJYL is a Hong Kong ramp and dump scam. Well, it could be. That's the risk. This is high risk. It's There's no guarantees. But uh, what How does he know that? How does he know that? Uh, he's, he's just Chinese. saying it. He's if just he's saying Chinese. it. But, but. I thought I think Goldman Sachs is a pump and dump scheme. They they make no money. They defraud people. Interactive brokers is a pump and dump. Jeffries is a pump and dump. I think they're all a scam. And they're out of New York City. Forget Hong Kong, New York City. But I think I think um, for me, Miles Bradley, the fact that Ham has a group of guys that he knows well that are telling him the story, and it's been relayed to you, that's a perfect setup for a trade. Will it work? Look, it's a spec. It's highly speculative. Let me put it that way. It's highly speculative. It doesn't so matter. my friends are not Chinese, but there is one Chinese guy they go to all the time to get Chinese food. Maybe he's the one telling them. <laughs> <laughs> it was in their fortune cookie to go by ZJYL. That's that's where that that's where this came from. ZJYL was in a fortune cookie. So the bank term funding program allows banks to buy borrow a lot of money at zero, basically. So it's just pumping up the banks because they're too big to fail. Just a new name. Instead of calling it QE to infinity, they call it a bank term funding program, I guess. Um, 
So what do you think about that? If you have any comment on, on liquidity. Can you, can, you list, can you do me a favor? Can that gentleman tell us the names of the banks that are borrowing at 0%? Well, it's almost zero. Out. I said that. He said that. Uh, whoever's, whoever's borrowing, let's see who they are. Maybe those are the ones that are in trouble. He said rates at less than <laughs> half of market, whatever that is. Right. Um, so. <laughs> ham and his debentures. That's what Gary Gensler will replace his teeth with, debentures. That's not mm -hmm. legal advice. There, Scott's saying the BTFP allows banks to carry shorts at rates way below normal. Ham asks a good point. Does, do they name the banks they're lending the money to? Those are probably the ones in trouble. Um, repo spikes. Yeah, maybe liquidity is drying up. I think there's a lot of liquidity out there. It was used big to keep banks in the game after SVB's failure, and they're keeping it now basically free. Yeah, I think all the real estate that's being bought up and turned into apartments is with basically free money. This The United States is set up for the banks to make money, and the banks control the government, in my opinion. I don't want to sound like a loony, but that's what I think. Just keep shooting. I'm just listening. Um, if we're buying shares now for ZJYL, will the shares count toward the forward split? Yes. Yes. And where it gets tricky <clears throat> is if they do it the way Ham says, that'll be next Wednesday, I think. I, I don't, They won't. Yes is the answer. If you buy it today, Monday, you're going to get the split. I think they have to notify everyone 10 days before the record date. So I think you have many days to buy it. But we'll know we'll know after the vote on Tuesday, right? Or what day did I say? <laughs> it's right here in front of me. Uh, the meeting will be held at 9.30 a.m. Beijing time. January 30 uh, or 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, January, that doesn't say, January 29th. So what's the 30th? What's the 30th? Because the 29th is in the evening. So whatever the 30th is, that's Tuesday. That if Ham's right, that might be when it's effective. I don't buy it though. Can Ham's friends short the crap out of Jeffries? No. <clears throat> we could do that. Yeah, I agree with that. Let's Pitt. all call, let's all buy puts on Jeffries. All right. Then we'll go out there, we'll short it by puts on it, excuse me. <clears throat> and on Tuesday, we'll all call the SEC up, the whistleblower program, and we'll write stories all over that Jeffries is going to be shut down due to fraud. What are they going to say to us? You guys are spreading false stories? No, that's our opinion. That's it. Trust me, institutions, when they see this stuff starts going around, they start bailing out and it starts to tumble. <clears throat> If you catch it right, the stock will fall twenty dollars. That's what the shorts do. Who controls the banks? Um, Biden is declaring war on Tex in Texas. I don't know. I'm not going to drift off into that. But the country will break up if people don't feel like they're heard. The whales own the float in ZJYL, so they're not selling, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Is the stock where's the stock at, William? <laughs> um, um, 
I don't know if it's in Hong Kong or in New York. 192.01 by 201. And then it's it's just been all red for the last how many ever trades. 24,000. Just, <laughs> just remember, you watch these guys trying to sell it down. <clears throat> they could have sold it yesterday. They could have sold it this morning, but they wanted to sell it lower. <clears throat> That's a margin call. That's a short and trouble. If they thought they can win, they let it go up. That's an interesting point. Could I could IBKR be the uh, naked the stock short because why would they yes. put out the notice of eight hundred and fifty thousand to borrow? <laughs> They're doing something for somebody. That's for shit sure. That's right. I agree with that. Or they're running interference with somebody. What is the ZJYL vote? It is to be held on uh, 9.30 a.m. Beijing time, January 30, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, January 29th. So you can vote uh, through the 29th. But electronically, I think. You should have an email from your brokerage firm. You have to own the shares as of January 12th, though. That's the requirement. What is the X date, Donkey Donks? We don't know. I think the X date's going to be February 12th. Uh, Ham thinks it could be right away, and he could be right. He could be absolutely right. They, it's not written here. All that's written here is they have up until the end of the first quarter to effect this. I think they'll effect it right away. I had to hit the ask. 2274. I finally got GTII to move. Let's see where it's trading. Two, all right, whoever, two, said two. That to you, whoever said that to you, all right, they have to hit the ask. Yeah, I thought it's take the ask. Take the offer. Take the offer. <clears throat> right? Guys, you got to use the right language here. That's that Kramer, that moron on TV, taught, taught everybody that stupid saying. <clears throat> it's you hit the bid or you take the offer. Your honor, your offer. Uh. <laughs> That's a good one. <clears throat> but again, that that bird brain taught everybody that everyone always says that to me and I always correct them. You don't hit the offer. You don't you take the offer. All right. You He's not bid. as professional as you. You I'm also don't saying, just you don't end your sentences in prepositions either, but everyone looks <laughs> past that. Wall Street has their own language. And that language that Kramer taught everybody is completely wrong. From what I learned, if that's the new way of doing it, then shame on me. I'm washed up. I think, too, you're washed up without even a doubt. Hey, listen, I got it. I'm okay with it. But I was taught. That it's something else that you say, not that. That's uh, wow, it. Jennifer. If I said that on the trading desk, everyone would turn around and look at me and say, "What the hell are you talking about?" I don't know which company Jennifer works at, but her company just ended a share lending agreement with Jeffries, which that's interesting. Now small penny stocks are moving. Yeah, uh, something is going on. <clears throat> The, all these shares parked overseas, all these fails to deliver. The SEC sent a warning shot. Start cleaning them up. That's what's going on. Gretchen thinks IBKR was margin called yesterday with a short fuse. So this morning they created a bunch of shares to try to drive the price down so they can cover inexpensively. I see no evidence that they're covering. There wasn't enough volume. No, <laughs> but what would be interesting, Gretchen, it's now 2.30 in the next hour and a half. Does ZJYL go back to 300? 
and I or close to it. I think it's possible because a, a bunch of these flaky shorts, these cowardly shorts, these puny shorts, they don't have the money to take the risk over the weekend. Listen, most of the bashers out here, the bashers are all these small short sellers that make a living working as a pack of wolves. <clears throat> Those are the ones that it, people come on here to pump and dump, it's cash. Blah, 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 blah. They all, they're going to lose their living. They got to learn how to trade. They're going to have to learn how to trade, whether it's to short or go long. You better know your shit because you're going to go out here. <laughs> this this uh, bear raid stuff that they do is going to end because this naked short selling is going to remove the equation. They can't do it anymore. <clears throat> so they're going to have to learn how to play the game fairly, which they do not know how to do. I can sit here all day and post Jeffries is a scam. Their Goldman Sachs is crooks. They have committed. I uh, inter interactive brokers is a fraud. They're right there. You can just go look at. They make a short. They got fined five million for naked short selling. Do you think that now they're altar boys? They're all good now. Oh, we're good, good people now. We only caught us once. We're okay now. The CEO. I posted the video. He knew everything about GameStop. And it's short squeeze. Pretty smart guy. He knows everything about it, right? No one ever said anything. No one ever stopped all the shorts from shorting, right? No one said anything like that. I told you, these messes are created by the government. And what happens is something that started out as a simple thing, the government let go into this crazy where it's almost going to bring down the whole country. Where's everybody hit? Where's everybody hitting the offer in GTA? Are they hitting the offer yet? I'm only kidding. Ah, only kidding. hit the bid, take the offer. <laughs> there you go. That's the that's the proper language. So if a, if a girl propositions you, what are you doing? Hitting the bid or taking the offer? That's true. Well, I'll, I'll negotiate. <laughs> go in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> First, I'll say to them, are you okay? <laughs> are your eyes working? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm ugly. And I'm are broke. you well? <laughs> I'm, doing I, I'm bald, broke, and I live with my parents. <laughs> that was on the other day, and the girl says to him, who are you, George Costanza? <laughs> he tells the girl he's bald, broke, and living with his parents. <laughs> That's a winning uh <laughs> well, so's, right, we so's, uh, we so Hunter Biden. That's true. Remember, Finger Motion has <laughs> clarified their earnings <laughs> and the uh the cutoff and how why what happened, and everything seems to be going in the right direction, only better. They are issuing a special dividend, and they're presenting Wednesday. Those are three awful news events for the company all in a row. The company's going to speak on Wednesday and tell everybody how they're completely out of business and good luck. And he's going to fly in to tell us all that. That's, that's how crazy that story is. <clears throat> Hurry up, mark it down. Don't let it lift 10 cents. If it goes up 10 cents, the, the, the investors will get, they'll think it's good news coming out. That's what they're afraid of. The company's issuing out a dividend, William. Hurry up. Our Cracker, Cracker Jack research team from Brazil thinks it's a negative. What we have a Cracker Jack negatives? research team from Brazil pulling the shots and finger motion for us. Not Goldman Sachs, from Brazil. That's what's calling the shots there. Some criminal from Brazil. Well, I guess our country's a bit under attack. What do you mean under attack? 
I, our country seems to, we're not paying attention. We're all enjoying the fruits of last generation's labor, but I don't know what we're doing. Everything, anyway, I, I, I got to always remember that Listen, people- everything is at everything is at a fast pace. Everything's at a fast pace. People want to trade, they're making it faster. Everything's faster, faster, faster. And it turned out by making things faster, it made everything worse. That's exactly what happened here. Wall Street, <laughs> we never knew that things would never settle. Then they decided to make things faster and faster and faster. And, and we're all looking around. We have no idea what's going on. But then eventually we see the trading patterns in stocks, and all of them show the same thing, Freud. All the patterns show Freud. Um. I'm now losing money faster. Well, X Matador, you're smart enough. You can sell to stop losing money. Holgram, Mike Lucci. And I don't know what to say to that. Um, I, I've been all about the last few months, and I think Ham has been too. You don't have to stand like a statue. And particularly when there's several companies all of which have the potential. Listen, if you have the money, you need to, you know, if you're in stocks that are not moving, you got to figure ways to <clears throat> lower your exposure. I can't lower my exposure. I don't have the money. But if I did have the money, <clears throat> I would have been traded. I would have been profitable. And I would have been adding to my positions in stocks that are moving. Because when they do move, I could be well positioned. I cannot add anymore. These guys push finger motion down so low. Five dollars is the benchmark. Benchmark target on five dollars, and that was before the recent jump from ten million to thirty million dollars in their revenue. So it's still undervalued based on what they say. I'm basing it on benchmark, not what I'm saying. Benchmark, five dollars. So if I had extra money, I'm looking at it saying, well, the below five dollars, they're saying it's worth it. I'm going to take a shot because they're they're the financial analysts on the stock. Five dollars. Capybara made up false statements. I don't believe in that one. The company's coming out giving me a dividend. I believe in that. The company's coming out presenting in Atlantic City on Wednesday. I believe in that. The company's earnings are better. They, meet, they, they had a cutoff for accounting, whatever that nonsense is. The company addressed it. The company's doing everything they can. And Benchmark says it's worth five. I believe it's worth five, what Benchmark says, and add on top of it. It's $2.30 and they keep trying to hold it down. And all they're doing is creating the illusion that we're all retarded. That's what they're doing. Excuse me for saying the term retarded. That's what, that's what Jeffrey Easton's trying to say to you. Look, these fucking idiots. We'll just keep pushing it down and they'll sell it because they think it's something's going on. But everything that's going on is positive. But Jeffrey Easton and his friends are creating the illusion that they think they're fucking the, the magicians in Las Vegas. Let's create the illusion that everything is negative. Oh my God, who wants to own this stock? It's negative, negative, negative. Good news comes out, negative. More news, negative. That's the game. That's what the naked short. Short and distort. That's what the DOJ is going after. Capybara is completely tied to Lynn Partners. Somewhere, somehow, they're all tied together. And you don't have to be fucking uh, Inspector Clouseau to figure this out. Uh, SR7531. What is that, a rocket? What is that? That's a handle. On 120, uh, finger motion announces approval. Here, I printed it out. You can, you know, of course, you can do it yourself. And I teased the other guy. I mean, if you don't know how to use Google, it's the only thing, only technical thing I know how to use. Go to OTC Markets, type in FNGR, and look at the news. It says he's asking um, what type of dividend are they going to issue. Um, Finger Motion today announced the company. They issue a free one. The best kind of dividend. It's free. 
has preliminary has approved a dividend to purchase shares in the company's common stock to holders of the company's common stock. The terms of the dividend warrants and the record and payment dates for the dividend will be fixed by further resolution by the board. The dividend warrants are anticipated to be created and allotted pursuant to a warrant agreement to be entered into between finger motion and a suitably qualified institutional warrant agent, not Jeff Easton. <laughs> They'll file a form S3. They haven't done it yet. It's all we know on that issue. Uh, how high, Ham, do you think Finger can go? The more they sell, the higher it goes. I think it can go over thousands of dollars. And the risk is out of the stock. Thanks to Jeff Easton and his friends marking it down. <laughs> the company has a $5 value and they're selling it to you at 230. And the company is willing to tell you in person on Wednesday why you should look at their stock and their fundamentals. And they will address all the information on Wednesday to your face if you want to show up. Uh any news on GDC? GDC, uh, where is it? What's the price of it? Quick. 197, it's uh, 193 it's by 197. It's, it's 193, 197, high at 207. They got up, they knocked it back down. I own it at 384. That's good news. How about you give me the news? <laughs> Since That's I can't news. get it right, why don't you give me the news? My friend owns a million shares of it. All right. He's following it. I don't need to get research done when one of my friend bought a million shares at four dollars. <clears throat> He's not concerned about it. He said there's friends are buying more. And when it's ready, it'll go. I says, OK, what am I going to say? Can you tell me the date? Um, Can you give me more information? I didn't really ask. That's how you do on Wall Street. You say thank you for the heards up and thank you. Makers, I'm sorry. And, I misunder this, and let me give you a yeah. tip on that one. I'm trying to think of it. Uh, uh, someone who gave me a stock tip many years ago. Oh, here, here it is. <clears throat> I got a stock tip. And I was working with my older brother. He was running a couple of billion dollars in a risk arb, a risk, risk arb desk. And I got a tip that the company was going to be taken over or something was going to go on with this company. So I made my brother get long. 3 million shares of the stock options. And we waited and waited and waited and nothing happened. It went up a dollar, down 50 cents, up a dollar. It went sideways for two months. And he says, I, I, by my bylaws, I'm not, I can't be in this name for too long because we're basically supposed to hedge and da, 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 da. we had a different uh, trading philosophy that we're supposed to follow. After three months, my brother kept asking me, get any more information about this thing? I says, no, you can't. That's how it goes. So we, he whittled out of it. We got out of it. We made two, three hundred thousand dollars on it. We had such a big position. It was pretty easy to make that type of money on a small move. He got out of it. <laughs> and a couple of days later, the stock went from ninety five to three hundred and twenty five dollars on the takeover. So three months. But that's what happens. That's that's Wall Street. So GTII is 24 cents. Oh my God, it's rally. Put your rally caps on. It's asking someone 26, 23.51 to 26. Someone in someone overseas has a position <laughs> and they gotta be getting nervous because of what reason? Because Gary Gensler says, hey, I'm warning you now, and that's where all these things are housed. So it's just a matter of time before they all start to go. This game is going to get exposed and shut down. Whether it comes down from, excuse me, MMTL first coming down to help us or us going up to help them. Either way, it's one of the ways it's going to end. It's not going to continue. You can't have people in the Capitol buildings all knowing about MMTLP and counterfeit shares. 
The Secret Service knows about counterfeit shares. The FBI, the DOJ, everybody knows about it. And the more people on these calls stay on and listen and tell their friends, without, you don't have to buy shit. Educate yourself. Tell your friends. I don't care what country you're in. If you're not from the U.S., you should not be investing in the U.S. unless you understand what the hell's going on. They're criminals. They've been robbing people. I told you I was on the phone with these people from Saudi Arabia. It was a woman. She was in charge. She was the top regulator there. I told her that I wanted to open an exchange in Saudi Arabia. She, I said, she said, why? I said, because I believe that you will keep, keep the laws and arrest the criminals. She said, yes. I said, the U.S. is full of fraud. She goes, we all know that. She told me that the U.S. equity markets is all fraud. ZJYL, 185 to 188. They're doing everything in their power to mark it down today. And the, uh, people out. the volume is 26,000. Right. 185 right. by 188.15. Mm -hmm. Well, there's your 15. There's your short moving it down. That's all you got to know. That's the short. Um, just looking for GTII. Yep, uh, 246,000 shares, 23.51 by 24. All right, they'll fill it in quick. Hurry up, get the printing press. Listen, they when they try to cover, this when they try to cover, and the small names like we're following, <clears throat> you'll get a spike up, and then they'll let it drop real quick, and then they come back and scoop it up. That's what I think they're trying to do in ZJYL. They're trying to force it down quickly, and then they'll come back, and hopefully people will want to bail out. That's what they're going to do. Not legal advice is saying, I don't know when, but oral argument for the Alpine hearing is 15 minutes for each side. <laughs> the one side is going to sit there and say, are you kidding me? They're criminals. <laughs> that would be my oral argument. You want these criminals to roam in the financial system? Are you kidding me? And what are they going to say? We're not criminals or we need to give us another 15 minutes so we can steal some more money. That's all they could possibly say. Which stock would run first, GDC, GTII, or Finger? <laughs> GDC, what was it, Finger? GDC, GTII, or Finger? Listen, in my opinion, Finger Motion is the best one. Why? Because I know everything about it, <clears throat> and I can see the fundamentals. <clears throat> the fundamentals put a floor on the stock. GTII is trying to build the fundamentals, so they, they're they building a floor. It's very different. GDC, I know nothing about the goddamn thing. My friend knows a million shares. But the stock is went. The stock was at five fifty. I bought it on the downswing. My friend paid four. I paid three eighty four. My cousin bought it at three fifty. Everyone bought it down, and I have no more money to buy it. That's what I know about GDC. All right, I'll bite. H C D I Q. Uh, up 48%. You said 447%. It's only, it's, I, I don't know anything about it. I'm not going to spend time looking at it. Um, Listen, there's a million stocks out here. <laughs> All we're trying to do is teach you the crime. What you see here is happening in other names also. This is not just one hit. These are not just three stocks, four stocks that are under attack. <laughs> A lot of stocks have the same pattern. Go look at Aegis Capital. I posted the list. Someone was nice enough to post the list to me. All those stocks were funded by Aegis, and they're all 10 cents, 20 cents, and 80 cents. They all got slaughtered. So 
um, not legal advice says the hearings on the 8th of February. That's not very far away. So William, write that down. February 8th hearing on Alpine. Write it down. Oh. Get a pen. Write it big so you can goddamn see it so we can remember it. That's it. That's Friday. That's <laughs> You're sitting with a desk with a pen. February 8th, no, Alpine Thursday. hearing. Thursday. Whatever day it is. Um, I, I didn't give my opinion, but of, of those three stocks, which one? I, it depends on what you mean by run. I think Finger has a lot of good news coming out, and that that we know. I'm pretty confident about, so it should go up. GTII, it's it's a little tiny bit. It, there could be, depending on what happens with what we discussed <laughs> earlier, that could be a nice little pop. But I think GDC actually has the chance of running first, if you mean squeeze. Because, no, we don't, we no one knows why we're here. That usually makes it work. Exactly. They, none of these criminals are focused on that. They might be focused on these two. And as Ham said on these calls, somebody's buying stock in GDC right now. Once they're done, they're 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 planning on doing whatever they do to make it rata, rich, shake, rattle, and roll. Right. We'll find out. Uh, anyway, my opinion, GDC goes first of those three, but depending on what you mean by go, but uh, be in all of them, then you don't, you don't miss out. Uh, do you guys remember when all of the talking heads and financial reporters were denying the existence of naked shorting? and counter? Yes, yes, yes. Every day I watched it. Every day for years. Every day. It doesn't wish, exist. They're just a bunch of crybabies because their stocks are down. That's what they were saying. Little did we know that it funds every big hedge fund that you see on TV. They all done it. They all did it. This is how they make their billions of dollars. Because you can't be right all the time. That's just what happens. Look, Lynn Partners, they're wrong on every one of their bets. Every one of their investments, yet they're rich. How does that happen? Buy ZJYL at what price? Look, it's going to be volatile, and that so maybe you don't buy all of it. Susan just bought. She wishes she had more money to buy it lower. To me, the stocks at one, uh, what what is it? One, uh, damn it, one ninety or something. Let me look. One ninety. Uh, I don't know. I mean, just looking at a crappy chart, it could go down to 150 or something. But I don't think it's going to. These are normal pullbacks. And 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 the pullbacks, once the stock has established a trend and is showing you which direction it wants to go in, I think that's when you buy. But there is risk, Sanjay. Um, uh, my read on it, once it goes through 300 or 310, you're not going to see 300 uh, before you see much, much higher numbers. So I don't think it matters what price you pay as long as you can accept some volatility. But don't put all your money in it, you know? Don't. You buy two shares, if I, you got to understand it. I, I only have, I've told everyone, I have 17 shares. I wish, you know, I could sit here and say, I wish I'd sold two or three this morning and be buying it back, buying back more, but I didn't do it. Um, uh, anyway, you're never going to get, I guess that's the bottom line, Sanjay. You're not, this isn't like a test question or a quiz. You're not going to get an A plus on this trade. You just, whenever <laughs> I buy, I, I always look at it like I've overpaid. But if you're buying because you think something's about to happen, what does it matter if you pay 190, 150, 250 if you think it's going to go to I don't know, 3,000? Well, I've, I've done that one, William, where I sat there and I said I wanted to buy a stock and I bought options and they moved up and they said <clears throat> I went to buy 500, they sell me 20 and they go, we'll plug you up 30 cents more, you can have 500. I'm saying, F you. I'm not paying up 30 cents. The next day, stock's up 20. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
was okay. That was a nice uh, not doing anything. I was, it, but that's the way it goes. It's it's it really comes down to a question that Bo Clayton asked when he was at Merrill Lynch. Paul Bo from North Carolina. He said, "You you have to ask your clients. Well, which is more important?" Would it upset you more to buy it at 200 and you lose that money or not buy it at 200 and it goes to 20,000, which, you know, you got to think it through. Everybody well, has me, a different answer. Let me answer. just tell you something. Let me just give you an example of ZJYL against Finger Motion. Finger Motion at $7.19 was ready to break out. I reported it every day. I'm not a chart person, but I look. And every signal was 100% by, the strongest it can be, until the attack came where they blasted it at the market down to 458, four and five eights, right? 462. They blasted it just to break the back of the momentum. But the chart, everything was 100% by, 100% every day at 719. Obviously, something, they needed it down at that point, right? ZJYL at 300 today. Everything looked good. It was going. Everybody was happy, looking good. And they drive it down $85 as fast as they can. To me, it's the same pattern as finger motion at 719. Same thing, same patterns. I think ZJYL will be up before the end of the day. I don't know about being in the green, but I think it'll be up before the end of the day. Because they're, to me, I don't know. It's likely it's day trading, and they're not going to carry. Let me the let me answer this question, William. I really haven't been watching it, but I can tell you this: all the buys are on the upside, and all the sells they're hitting are hitting the bids. They're not selling stock on the offer; they hit the bids. Yeah. So there's a big difference of selling stock at 190. These guys don't offer the stock at 190. They sell it at 185. They try to print it lower. Well, right now That's you've got manipulation. Oh, it just changed. You had 185 by 188 with some weird number. Now it's 185 by 189, a thousand by a hundred. I'm just saying that when people buy the stock on this phone call, they purchased it on the offer. Right. The, the sellers, if they were selling stock, they would be on the offer. They don't stay on the offer. They hit the bids. They're trying to make the stock go down. They're not sellers. They're not sellers to make money. They're selling to manipulate. That's all they're doing. And uh, just to recap again, Finger Motion had three positive news events in a row, and it's down three cents. And they're speaking Wednesday in Atlantic City. Hurry, let me sell some more because the company's gonna the company's gonna report that they're out of business on Wednesday. Is that what they're gonna report in person? Really? No, they're not gonna fly there. I and if I were doing it, I'd have a big announcement to discuss. Well, I don't know about that. But they might not. The I've gone to I've gone to company meetings and they don't announce anything, and they, you know, it's just part of their anyway. Uh David, the record date for the vote, I don't know if you can see that, the record date for the vote is January 12th, 2024. So you have to own shares as of January 12th, and I believe that's set up by settlement date, not trade date, um, in order to vote. That is not the time, the record date for when you get your one for 20 split or your 20 for one split. All right. Um, we, there's no clarity on when the record date is for that. I think it's 10 days after the vote. Ham says it could be the same day or immediately very soon, and it could be. Hey, don't be dragging me into your guessing games. I don't know. I'm just no one knows. We'll get up. We'll get up. If, if they reverse the stock, they reversed vocal on whatever Tuesday, and it was trading Wednesday with reverse price. Right. I don't see what the big difference is. It's the same thing to me. 
Oh, we'd reverse. It doesn't make a difference. Whatever it is. It's well, not I, th I wonder if there's a difference of when it starts trading versus when it gets delivered and what when, when you earn it. But I don't know the answer. Maybe it starts trading right away to reflect that. But you may not qualify for that. Well, it's just a question of who gets the, the 20 shares, I guess. You've got a good point, Ham. They it would the cleanest is just to do it as of that day, isn't it? Uh, we'll find out. Again, I it doesn't make any sense that it would drag on only because uh, a fo a reverse is immediately. And why would it why would a forward split take forever to do? It's the same I thing. I agree with that. And maybe it maybe it would be the case they go by trade date too. Uh, because it doesn't make sense to drag it out. It just brings in all sorts of complications. Right. It's, Anything else? Well, yeah, there's... Uh, I'm in all three of them. And by goes, I mean squeeze, yeah. I think GDC goes first. Why? Uh, I, you don't have the criminals at Lynn Partners or at Alpine fighting against you, too. I think the whales are paying attention to GDC. And three, I think ZJYL might go first, and that money will first go to GDC if I had to predict. It doesn't mean, don't listen wrong, it doesn't mean I'm against any of the other stocks. Will yeah, short start to cover <laughs> on their own Listen, now. at some point, guys, you got to make your own ideas. There's enough information about GTII, what's happened. There's enough information about finger motion that's here. GDC, we don't have that much information. ZJYL, we don't have that much information either. MMCLP, the shit's all over the place. There's plenty of information about that. There's plenty of information about the uh, the markets being fraud all over the place, the SEC. Every, everybody knows about it. You know that Aegis Capital calls you up. Don't ever give them your money. They're just a bunch of crooks. Same thing with Rain, Wainwright. Same thing with Benchmark. They're just crooks. The guys in suits and ties telling you they, they fund companies, they just destroy companies. That's all they are. And they're the front and they're the front for the hedge funds. That's it. Uh will the shorts start to cover on their own for ZJYL, or do they wait until March 28th, which is the deadline for the uh uh I'm reading it. No, March 31, but when's the hearing? Sometime in March is the hearing. I think they'll start covering before. It's all about momentum, Ramon. If they can keep the price down, they will. But once it crosses a certain point, the decision goes away from the broker handling the sell orders to the compliance officer, the risk desk. And as soon as the compliance officer gets in and says, we are going to buy you in, but if you don't get the money in by by 15 minutes, we're going to buy you in. And they don't care what price they buy in. That's my opinion. I don't know what Ham says, but I don't think they're going to wait till the hearing in March, whatever March, whatever. I, I can't find it again. Whatever I read to you. What do you think, Ham? Are they going to wait to cover until the end of March? Yes, they're going to wait till the last minute and cover then. Okay, GTI I said 20. Listen, Wall Street is about being ahead of the curve. That's the most important thing. That's what they do. I told you before, my friend used to invest in ski companies, ski mountains, ski resorts. He bought it in the dead of summer when it was 90 degrees outside. He was buying for when November, December came, and that's when they made their money. That's what he did. That's being ahead of it. If the Fed is going to do something with rates and they talk about it, people already made their moves already about what if they raised rates or lower rates. It's already done already. Wall Street is six months ahead of everything that's going on. The SDC is telling you they're going to clamp down on this shit. I always buy my hats in the summer and my snow shovels in the winter. There you go. You do it the opposite <laughs> way. William's the type of guy that goes to buy a shovel 
and it's snowing out. And guess what? There's no more shovels left, William. Right, so and they're all plastic. So the first time you lift it, it breaks. Right. Um, that's what you, so that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's how Wall Street operates. That's okay. just the way it is. Okay, for Ramon, and we will win no matter what, uh, from the filing, which was released, uh, uh, last week, and now my computer's freezing. There we go. Uh, the company proposes with effect from the date determined by any director of the company being no later than March 31, 2024, to subdivide each of the issued and unissued ordinary shares into 20 ordinary shares. On September 25, they got a letter. They got on the 18th, they received a letter from NASDAQ delisting. They got an extension until uh, they, the company has submitted a request for a hearing before the NASDAQ hearings panel, which by which they will request a stay of the dis suspension of the company's securities pending that decision. On December 20th, the company received a letter from NASDAQ indicating that the delisting action has been stayed pending final written decision by the panel. The hearing before the panel will be held on March 14th, 2024. That's one deadline. The other deadline is in the proxy, what you voted on or what you will vote on, the, I've got to just find it, by way of ordinary resolution with effect from the date determined by any director of the company being no later than March 31, 2024. I don't know what March 28th has to do with anything. Those are the two dates, the hearing before FINRA and they've given themselves all the way up to March 31 to actually affect this distribution. But Guys, this is just what you're voting on. I don't know why it says March 31. It's going to be right away. Why? Because they have to show to uh, they have to show to um, Nasdaq that they have 300 shareholders or more. So I don't worry about the 20, the 31st or the 28th. Don't worry about all that. I don't know if you want to add to that, Ham, but. And I don't know if I clarified anything. I'm not worried. I'm just doing what you're saying. I'm not worrying about it. I don't even own it. Why would I worry? <laughs> GTII is now trading to five decimals. It's uh, two, two four two nine. How do it's you get two three five seven by? Hey, call two, someone. Five. Call up Finra. Say, listen, I bought a stock at two four two nine. I gave him twenty five cents. What change do I get back? What, what's the number? How do I get change of that number? Is that DB's a genius? See this? I bet DB put his order out before the market opened. He sold four shares at three hundred dollars this morning. That's great. That's acting. That's going ahead and taking a trade. I, I regret I didn't sell. Well, today. listen. Sometimes it works. And sometimes it doesn't. I sold all my GameStop at 118 and I was high fiving and laughing. I did it. I made 104 points. I went to the bathroom, it was up another 104 points. Then I came back and looked, it was up 200 more points. So you never know. So please don't be a Monday morning quarterback, William. Congratulations on the gentleman that sold it. Good luck. I'm happy you made money, William. Don't ever doubt yourself. You made a decision that why you're here and you stick to what your guns are. That's yeah. the way it goes. I just someday, <laughs> someday I hope to have a, a enough of a portfolio. I own maybe 10. You probably don't want to own more than six stocks. But Listen, maybe. ZJYL, the market is 185 to 186 now. Mm -hmm. It's $1 spread. They're offering one share and they're trying to mark it down. That's all they're trying to do. 
that if I sold 10,000 shares at 205, why wouldn't I sell 100 shares or whatever it is, trying to market at 185 in hopes that I could buy it back, right? Yeah. So, Sanjay, I don't think we're all dirt in the end. That's a metaphysical question, I guess. But we probably have souls that go somewhere else. But anyway, it is about learning. Eric bought one share for 186. That's awesome. He caught the low today. Today's low. Congratulations. And just let you know, Eric, Finger Motion had three great press releases. And they're going to present on Wednesday, and someone is still trying to mark it down for the 500th day in a row. And that's a company with fundamentals. Everything's going great, but continues to be sold. Just think about that. And you say to yourself, how do companies even survive when they do this all the time? They don't. That's just, this is the crazy part. Imagine if you didn't have the fundamentals of $15 million in the bank. It'd be very difficult to survive, correct? Yeah. Bob told us about a company before that had, I forget how many millions. He said 50 million, 80 million in the bank, that veterinary company, whatever that was. Is I, IBKR driving the price down as far as possible so they can get a thousand to one split on ZJYL in order to use it to cover up the split? No, the vote, the proposal is 20 to one. And it's not about the the listing on nasdaq as it relates to stock price it's about getting enough shareholders to remain 300 is all they need and my guess is we've just just by talking we've gotten that and sanjay says he was watching the movie dumb money i thought you said you were watching a dumb movie about money but he's saying that your chat ham feels like deja vu. You sound just like dumb money. No, he said it about me, not about you. What, that we dumb money? Yeah, that's a stupid movie. I told you, it's the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Worse than Every Witch Boy But Loose with Clint Eastwood and Sandra Locke? Listen, I don't know who that guy was. He just, he just moaning about whatever. No, he's a good guy. I'm not. He's not. Oh, I'm just saying. Oh, okay. I just, I'm just sitting there saying, guys, listen. It's impossible for us to stop what's going on here. I've said it a thousand times. Give me a badge and a gun, and I promise that we will get this fixed. All right. That's how it has to end. And we went. We went to the federal authorities. We went to everyone. Okay, to try to make this work. We can't do anything about it if they don't if they don't settle the trades and enforce it. So we're trying to get companies to actually do things that can help force the issue, right? Dividends, expose the problem. This is what happens. GTII is staying alive for one reason, because they're exposing the problem, what's happened here. Finger motion, just to let you know, William, an update. Someone's dropped 600 shares from 228 to 226 because the company may release good news on Wednesday. Let me hurry up and sell 600 more shares to mark it down. Just just want to update that on uh, update on how silly. Now those are geniuses over at Lynn Partners. All right. Geniuses, absolute geniuses. They're great traders. Mm -hmm. Um uh Somebody bought one share for 186, X Matador. Uh, Dow's bought one at uh, 189. What's going on with GTII people? GTII found they, they just struck oil, I guess. Maybe they did the mining deal that everyone's talking about. I don't know. Um, or someone in the, someone overseas who has all these accounts stuffed with fake trades is saying, you know what, fuck this, I'm starting to cover because I don't want to get caught because if I'm covering, the guy next to me is going to start to cover. Let me cover first. Um, and that's how you start to cover. Bunny says shorts are going to attack ZJY after hours and they may bring it down to 160. That's Bunny's uh uh knowledge 
Um, I, I don't know. That's that's less than that doesn't change less that. than one percent after hours. Less than what one and a half percent down from where it is. What happens right in now. after hours means nothing. They attacked it down to sixty the other day, and it went to three hundred. The gentleman I, that sold his four shares today at three hundred, what did he pay for it? How about that question? Let's ask. Because he's still listening, tell him to give us the answer to that side. Let's see what happened where he bought it. I do agree on the trend line; it could go down to that level briefly, but I, I don't. I wouldn't worry about. It. You're not in it for the fifty dollars, although it's a nice trade. Um, do you think the big Texas convoy to the border is going to affect? The Hold market? on a second. They just hit the two twenty-five bid for three hundred shares in finger. It's two twenty-three for four hundred and two hundred at two twenty-six. The company is going to present good news on Wednesday. I want to make sure whoever's selling can make sure they can get out on Friday afternoon. Hurry up. Just want to keep you up to date on Broad One Hundred One. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't speak about GTII. For the gentleman in GTII, it's 2358 to 2499. It's up four cents today. And the weather is rainy and chilly out. That's the GTI update today. Back to finger, William. Do you think the Texas convoy to the border is going to affect the market? No, I don't. Um, the market is... I, I'm of the opinion there's plenty of liquidity in the market and the Fed and the... Listen, just hope the guys, the government sends down to the federal agents down there and the people the, the people in Texas mow them all down. This way we can clean up that mess and stop talking about it. Send the federal agents down there to fight the National Guard in Texas. Shoot it all up and let's move it along. That's it. That's this country. Let's just keep throwing shit around. Nothing works. No big deal. Oh, so I'll the, let you the answer one this the, one. I'll let you answer yeah. this one. I just can't answer it again. What do you think the brokers will end up doing with the GTII dividend? And they're, they're, they're tap dancing around it. They're very good at that. Now, right now, they're doing the Fred Astaire for you. They're tap dancing around. Wow, look at this GTII update. Hold on, everybody. It's twenty four ninety nine bid. Off it at 25. Maybe they're covered. GTII is getting, uh, what's his name? Lynn Partners is buying GTII, I'm hearing now. There you go. GTII, Lynn Partners is going long GTII. How's that one? Is that a good update? Oh, that's a great update. As we update. speak, they hit the bid. <laughs> There's not much more to say, everyone. It's just we recapped it, sliced it, diced it. They can ZJYL, the shorts can sell it down up. Tuesday, they're going to be short 20 times more. And we, before, we said we said it there, we said it this way, we said it that way. There's not many ways we could say it. We could say it in Japanese, Chinese, is what would you like us to say? It's the same. Aunt Moz doesn't care about ZJYL. He's here for GTII and things. GTII, here you go. GTII, 23.58 to 25 cents. 319,000. They just hit 24.99 bid. It looks like someone in the UK is probably short. They read the Gensler memo and said, you know what? I'm going to start covering back my 50 million shares that I'm short. And I'll start by buying it today. That's my guess. Well, Ant Mods is appreciative because he doesn't care about ZJYO. I don't care about it. I don't own it either, but I'm reporting on it because I think it's something that affects all of us. And there is an opportunity to make money in it because there's smart people that are buying it. All right. And they're not buying two shares and five shares. They're bigger players. And not everybody can be a bigger player. I'm not a big player anymore. I would, I would have been there with them, but I can't. So I'm watching and educating it. And I discussed it with everybody here. And I said, if you bought it and it runs up, you can sell some. Some people have. Some haven't. William hasn't. Some of my friends haven't. And it's a game. What is the game? Someone's betting it's going to go down. They're betting it's going to go up. And right now, the people that are betting it going down are in a panic because they're selling it down 
like crazy. Wouldn't you want to sell 5,000 shares at 300 than at 185? That's a pretty easy question. No one's answering it, but that, my answer is I would never sell it down like this because you're getting less. I would never sell it down like this because if I thought I could win, why would I give up $100 a share? Because I know I can't win. I'm screwed. I got three days before they do this forward split, and I need to get people to sell the stock. That's what's going on. And because of that, we have to sit there and watch it and discuss it. Why is it going down with no news or nothing happening after the stock hit 300? They do that because they want to create a stock that makes a high, drive it down and say, I see you guys are all full of shit. You're getting ripped off here. That's what they're trying to say. And they did the same thing in FNGR, in case you haven't noticed. Right, finger motion. Capybara, they wrote the report, they drove it down, they had another fake report, you name it. The companies sued Capybara, he defaulted, the company has issued a special, issuing a special dividend, the company clarified the earnings, the, uh, the missteps with the, uh, the cutoff, and the company is man enough to come out and present at a conference. Now, I would never present at this conference, but if the company wanted to reach the retail group, they are. And if you care, you go there. If you don't care, you don't go. You don't go. Hopefully someone will go there and videotape it. I will not videotape it because I don't do that. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Maybe there's rules against videotaping what the CEO says. I don't know. You know, sometimes these conferences film it and they present it to the uh and they present it to everybody for uh uh, you get it off of their site or something like that. Maybe you can go on and there's a video of the CEO speaking. Maybe you can register and you can watch a video. Maybe they film it and they do it that way. I don't know. But if you are invested in it, it's good to see what they're saying. I'm sure they're not going to come out there and say, oh, my God, the company's falling apart. We're going to zero. Not like the stock is acting. Anytime, William, when a company was presenting, William, what would the stock do, William? And when a company's presenting, it usually went up. Right. Not here. Hurry up. The company, we have our research analyst from Brazil dictating to us what he sees. That's what you're seeing here. By hitting a sell button, nothing else. Hitting a sell button, he's dictating the stock and how we all feel about our position. Not me, because I know it's fraudulent. Um, it's, it, it's, it's, yeah, 26 I, I cents, it, 24 to 27. Someone is covering. Not very much. Of course, they can't cover. They only, the only sell is of them. Yeah, yeah. Twenty-seven cents. All right, there's your GTI report, everybody. Everyone who says we don't talk about GTI, I'm going to say it ten times. <laughs> I I told you when the other day I saw from the the, the movie Ted, with the talking teddy bear, Mark Wahlberg, the little teddy bear yells out, uh, Ted, the teddy bear yells out. He goes, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, he says it three times. Warburg turns around and says, stop saying that. We don't need that fucking guy running around. He's crazy. <laughs> so it's the same thing here. Well, Listen, of they course. Have to buy back this, they have to buy back the shares. Of they, course they, it they goes. Manipulate. It starts to go when you are when you get distracted. That's how life, I've always noticed life is. If you... Stop focusing on the water boiling and go vacuum. You come back, the pan is boiling. That's a bad example, but. That is a crazy example. When you least expect it, that's when it happens. That's just the way it is. Finger motion. I don't need to watch it anymore. I'm confident what they're doing. That's my decision. The company's doing everything in the right direction. I listed it. Just read it yourself 
And you, if you want, have someone go to Atlantic City. If you live in Philadelphia, Maryland, D.C., you drive up for the day. You can see what you're invested in. Ask all the questions you want. If you're in L.A., obviously you can. Or if you live overseas, you can't. But again, we'll try to represent and get back to you on what we hear. But I'm sure without being, you know, without even second guessing, it's going to be positive. You wouldn't go out there as a CEO and say, hey, everybody, we lost all the money. We went out with prostitutes last night. We spent the money. We have nothing left. Have a good day. I doubt that's what's going to come out. What's the market on the other piece of shit? CJYL while we're looking. GTII is 23.6, 23.6 by 26.5. 95,000, basically 90,000. That's, that's how you get people to sell it now. GTI, you spike it up. Then you walk away. And then the offers all fill in again. And then you come back up and you suck it up again. That's how it works. There's 10,000 shares on the bid at 23.61. Do you understand what I said? If I had to cover it, I drive it up to 28, walk away, let it drop down to 23. Everybody on the phone say, what the fuck is going on? We go, I don't know. People are like, I'm going to get out. And then all of a sudden you go 24, 25. William sells his. I sell mine at 26. And the short seller is scooping everybody up. That's how you do it. That's how I used to cover millions of shares of big cap names doing the same thing. But you get people to think that they missed the sale. And let me get back out there. And that's how they scoop you up. That's the only way they can scoop you up. Scoop it up like that, or someone puts a gun to the head and says, go buy it at the market. Those are the only two ways you can cover a stock. ZJYL, 185.05 by 187. All right. It's still only 28,000 shares traded all day. They're just keeping that spread closed. They don't want that one share. It keeps holding it closer. If you take the 187, I guarantee you it'll be 188 for one share. That's how they are. That's what that's how they're manipulating that one. They want they don't want it to bounce back up. And where's finger motion? 224, 25, 224, 225. DC is 192 by 197. Uh, finger is 225 by 227. That's it. There's not much more to say, William. We've finished out the whole day here. I've been on the phone with you four hours, 50 minutes, and three seconds. Five seconds. GTII, for the people saying don't talk about GTII, GTII is having a good day. It's short's trying to cover, and they're manipulating the stock back and forth to torture you. ZJYL, down 90. 185 to 187. 185.05. The 187. So the short's bidding 185.05 to 187. Right. It's the short by the short. Right. There could be a buyer at 185. They're standing in front of them. Right. GTI. All right, William. I'm done for the day. We did a lot. I said the same thing 700 times. Yes, you did. The SEC is telling you the shit's going to hit the fan. They warned the European Europeans about the, excuse me, I mean the pretzel. They warned them about the stock settlement. And that is your tip off. You want ins inside information? They just told you. Who just told you? You're talking about Finger? He just told uh, them uh, uh, yeah. that they're going to force settlement, make it happen faster. They sent the, they made a press release and told everyone about it. Do you think management of well-run companies take these toxic deals on purpose to plunder the company? No, I don't think so. I think it's the toxic note holders. There might be some cases where they pay off the CEOs to get a deal, but no, I don't think. The CEOs do it on purpose. 
Most CEOs don't have a clue. They, once they get in it, they finally figure it out. Listen, if you're a CEO, it's Friday. You got enough money to last one more month. You got 30 employees. What are you going to tell them in one month? You go to everybody. No one's giving you money. You bump into somebody who knows Lynn. And they said, your stock is $2. You need money. We'll give you $2 million with a $10 million credit line. We won't short the stock. It's right in the paperwork. We will not find it. We will not short it. It's this, right there. This guy says people on his building sites thinks he's complete nuts when he goes on and on about stock settlement. <laughs> well, tell all those people that they're all going to get fucked. And you hope they all go broke and their families get thrown in the street. Then they'll pay attention. Can or you can explain? Go tell, the guy, tell the people on the site that you're talking about the equity markets being a total fraud. And if they don't want to follow you, tell them to go, go follow the Kardashians. They'll tell them what kind of lipstick to wear. Idiots. You can, you can hit her offer or take her offer. Um, can can you explain number one, Beery? There are no. There used to be specialists. There used to be market makers. They don't. Ex specialists did it on the floors. Market makers did it on trading desks, and it was usually firms over the counter. That, to me, they don't. None of it exists anymore. But anyway, I'll ask Ham. It Ham. Don't exist. Can you explain who are the market makers? And how do they establish a bid or an ask, if not actual orders? The, the market makers today, any market maker in the over-the-counter market that is not one of the big firms, they're all, they, they, don't, they, they have no money. They will, not, they will not buy anything. They're very small players. That means V-E-R-T. These are the symbols of market makers, V-E-R-T. If you just go to OTC markets, you could see all the names there. V-E-R-T, P-U-M-L, I-M-T-L, A-S-C-M. There's so many of these guys that are broke. They don't have any money. They're there to facilitate orders for the criminals. That's what they're about. The bigger players are Citadel, Virtue, and it's just an open cry, an open orders. If someone wants to buy it, Virtue will make a bid. Citadel will make a bid. If someone wants to... If someone wants to sell it, unless there's someone closes the gap, like in uh, what is it, ZYGL, if that guy wasn't off from 187, the next offer would be wherever the next 100 shares is for sale. No one's going to stand in front of that. No one's making a market in it. There's no one here. So they eliminated by doing electronic trading. All the market makers were fired. All the trading desks are gone. There's no one here. It's just these, it's just computerized. If you put a bid up, you'll be representative. That's it. Yeah, you asked me, GTI any hope? No. What are what your thoughts that? that ZJYL is down 33%? What are my thoughts? Yeah. It's it's business as usual until next week. It was up 33%, down 33%. Someone is short and trying to mark it down. That's it. Now all short of a sudden to we're, we're going to believe Gary Gensler on Europe. He said it in a statement. If you don't believe him, then don't believe him. I believe him that something's happening. That's what I believe. And I'm the, I've been doing this 24 years. You guys are doing it two fucking weeks and you're crying. Two years, two weeks, whatever it is. If you don't believe it, then go figure out a way to make it short and go to town. What can I tell you? What's the matter, William? You got the cat got your tongue? Come on. I'm just reading a bunch of these. There's no real... Uh, uh, question. So there's a lot of thank yous to you, Ham. You know, um, uh, is there any real covering going on in GTI? I, I, no. Yes. 
Oh, yes. Uh, I don't think it seems like a lot. Who's running in to buy it on Friday when the stock is doing nothing to take it up to 27 cents? So I'm going to want I guess to it depends on your thousand. definition of real. I, no, I thought you no, meant I'm volume. No, I thought you meant about. volume. It's so 412,000. If you said to me today, is someone covering short in GTII, I would say yes. Okay. That's real. Yeah, that's a real short. But I yeah, I just thought you meant a lot of volume. I don't no, think. not a lot. Someone's covering something. Yeah. Pam, everyone thanks you, and then they, and and to you too, William. Um, when we all make money, we'll celebrate in Vegas. Well, I just as soon celebrate in somewhere else. Um, I was going to sell new vocal and can't. Ali doesn't have the stock yet. Well, that goes to the point that Ham and I were going back and forth on. It started trading, but maybe you didn't get your stock yet. I, I don't quite understand why you wouldn't have your stock yet. I'm too tired to think that one through because I guess he created a new something. Busy Brand sent me something. I'm going to send it to you to read it. This came from Weeble to a shareholder in ZJYL. I know that's Mexican has been talking about it. Force majeure, as if that's a brand new concept. Let me read it. Vocal is uh, vocal D is 275. Let me read that to you guys. Um, it to me, force majeure is in every contract. All right, that is what it is. Urgent, urgent. This went to one person's Weeble account. Weeble does not bear any liability for surface interruptions or losses to the user due to quote unquote force majeure Weeble does not bear any legal liability for service interruptions or losses to the user due to a force majeure event such as flood extraordinary weather conditions earthquake or other act of God, fire, war, insurrection, riot, labor dispute, accident, government action, communications or power failure, equipment or software, malfunction or pandemic or other health emergency. I guess that needed to be said. I, to me, I, that's nothing unusual about that. Every contract you sign, there's an act of God clause in it. And that's all that is to me. What do you think, Ann? I couldn't do it. What you said it was too boring. I hung up. I stopped listening. Boy, boring. I couldn't care what we I couldn't care what people said. Okay. It doesn't <laughs> matter. It's it's nothing, it's all this drama around force majeure. Yeah. So that's force majeure. It's the same thing in IBM, whatever they're saying. They're, they same always same have majeure. force majeure. Except, except when you're married and your wife wants it a divorce. Sounds like a, it sounds like a dessert. I'll take, I'll take two. <laughs> it sounds like, yeah, sounds like a, a drink. Um, EMP, EOMB. All right, so Aaron is saying some knucklehead on Twitter is saying there's less than one and a half percent short interest on ZJYL. That might be the so-called real short block that duty must be short but look there yeah sure and and the, he's 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 100 percent right everybody listening that man who's just posting that is 100 percent right the people selling the stock down a hundred dollars today are longs who want less so it's either longs who want less or somebody is short you tell me which one it's going to be 
to me, that pattern looks, and I'm just going to just base it on past experience that this stock has the same patterns of all the stocks that I follow that when they get a bear raid, this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like to me. But maybe this guy is right. There's no short in the stock. Sure. So what's the big deal then? Why did it go up if that? It... Remember, guys, I mean, there might be there might be the fact that we're buying some today. We're having some impact. But we're not the big movers in this stock. <laughs> Just to repeat, insiders own 80% of the share, 1.3 million. Actually, let me check that. They might may own 80% of the total shares. Let's look it up. I'm quoting it by memory. According to Yahoo, which is a pretty good source, but it's not always it's not always a hundred percent accurate. Um, there are seven point eight million shares outstanding. The float is 1.33 million. The percentage held by insiders, which I believe is of the total float, is 82.8 of the, sorry, of the shares outstanding, 82.81%. So 82.81% of this stock is held by insiders. They're not selling. The short as a percentage of the float here is 2.27%. Percentage of shares outstanding, it's half a percent. But that's what they report here. That's not the counterfeit and the naked shorting. Anyway, the float is 1.33 million. And the guys that Ham knows own 1.33 million. Plus. Plus, and they're asking for they're asking for five hundred thousand shares to be taken out of the system and delivered to them physically, and they can't get it. But Interactive Brokers has eight hundred thousand to lend out. You can't get any more inside scoop than that, right there, right? Well, can you get more than that? Tell me, give me more. They're, they're not selling, out. so. This say this is all fraud. That's what it is. And the only thing when I look at it, oh shoot, I missed a chance to sell it, you know, 290 and buy it back. But you know, I didn't know. I What's only the know that now. GTII, William. GTII is um 26 by 27, 5,000 by 8,425. 455,000 shares. So, you know what? If you if you missed, you could you would have missed selling the stock at 27. I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, yeah, I mean, right. you know, you could have sold it at 28. You, when if you sold GTI at 23 the other day? Now it's 27. You're going to sit there and kick yourself in the ass. That's, listen, that's just the way it goes. The trading patterns that you're seeing are complete fraud. Just take the same pattern that was in finger motion at $7.17 before Capybara bashed it to four and five eights. They didn't bash it because people were selling. They were selling and selling and selling to get people to panic. That's all they did. And I could do that to any stock as long as give me a sell button and I can never stop selling it. You could crater any stock. And then you spread a rumor, spread a story, and that all becomes true. I watched it in DeVita, Dog Victor Apple with Jim Chanos. I walked. I watched it. Andrew left and eat in Etsy. E T S Y. I watched Andrew left destroy uh, E X A S one day. He went after Peloton. He went after this one. He, I watched uh, Adam Fornstein kill I M M U over breast cancer data. Only the thing it went from five to two, and then it went to eighty eight dollars and taken over a twenty one billion dollar takeover. That's that's what you're dealing with. Those are the criminals. 
that everybody I know bail out on the stock from five to two, it turned from a two to 88. I was he called in the God of the Vita. Oh. Anyway, listen, I'm losing my patience. This force no. majeure issue is not a big deal. Weeble is covering oh, their right. ass every which way they can. And I think we Weeble's a piece of shit company. I have an account, but I don't have I have one share of something there. But it's you know it's all I know is it's it's 344. Finger motion is presenting on Wednesday in Atlantic City after they gave out a special dividend, cleared up their earnings, the the press release about that, and they're presenting. And somebody wants to sell it down again, another six cents. Hurry, let's keep selling it. Ellie no bought some ZJYL. I hope you got a lower price than this morning, but that's great. Whatever you got, it's great. Um, ZJYL has a thin spread. Let me see. Yeah, it's 170 by 173, but it's below the last trade. This is a full core press trying to mark it down. That's because they, they don't want the call Monday morning or Sunday night. Where's the, your money? It's down a hundred bucks. Right. And then you get the people bashing. I told you it's a fraud. Stock settlement exists. None of this crime happens. That's it. It's Is IBKR easy. buying GTII to prevent GTII holders from selling and buying ZJYL? Yes. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we don't have enough money to buy ZJYL. Are you kidding me? People are buying twos and five shares and 10 shares. This I is know, Ellie, we, you, you should have waited, but you, it's the woulda, coulda, shouldas of trading. You're never going to get it right. But it is why like Ham's it. idea of buying, you know, buy half, buy a third, buy three quarters, and then save some money to buy it lower. But you're never going to get it exactly right. Whether you pay two hundred or three hundred, if this thing goes to five thousand, are you going to care? Not that I'm promising that. I'm not. It's just that's. This is listen. This is what it is. You're going to get twenty for one next week. The shorts are trying to push it down. This is not long selling it. These are short selling it. No long sell stock like this. This is when you buy it. And when it spikes, that's when you sell it. It's the opposite. Yeah. One gentleman took advantage of the spike this morning and he made a sale. Good for him. That's how it goes. That's that's what you call trading. He wanted to trade it, so he made a few bucks and he, he can get back in, do what he wants, who cares? That's his business. Imagine if he sold it at 300. I should have trusted my guts. It is like a upside down head and shoulders, and this fits that pattern. But the good news is, if it is a head, head and shoulders upside down, your next move is going to blow your socks off to the upside. If it is. And finger motion still trading at 223 down since october 10th every day gti trending up for those who didn't say i spoke about gti today gti is trending up finger motion is trending down zjyl is being attacked by the shorts and that's the weather report for the day how much of this gti AI today is legitimate shorts? i don't know i think that is i think that there's longs probably selling into it and the some short is taking advantage of it and trying to buy back, you know, maybe it's the real short of 400,000 trying to buy. Yeah, cover. it's 480 now. What? Oh, 481,000, sorry. Um, yeah, that could be that guy short 400,000 trying to cover. I told you, when I want to cover, you spike it up to 27, let it fill in, no bids, all of a sudden, no bids are there. Everybody comes in, oh, I missed it. Let me sell my 10000 Then you push it back up again. That, you gave yourself another. That's a good reason to show that this might be a real short or at least someone that has a brain. 
Well, I, I've always blamed the shorts. And to me, without looking at it, the stock is spiking on Friday afternoon after the uh, the SEC says that they're going to uh, start looking into this uh, forcing stock settlement. So maybe this guy's saying before the real short, the naked shorts start covering, let me get my ass out of it. I'm short 400,000 shares. I'll make 50 cents. I shorted it at 70. I'll make 50 cents in my pocket and I'll walk away and I'll see you later. And that's what this looks like. It looks like a controlled buy-in of someone trying to cover. This is how you do it. Um, uh, 170 to 171 on ZJYL, 33,000 shares. 170 to 171. Do you think that's the short trying to keep moving it down with his one share? And some point when we came on, I think it was either 12 or 14,000 shares. It's not a lot of volume, at least, at least. Listen, you don't have to, listen, it's not a lot of volume line. Your stock is down. Someone is selling it. That to me, it doesn't make a difference if it's a lot of volume, a little volume, it's down, correct? That's true. And that's what they're trying to do. They're just trying to manipulate 150 bid. One seventy ask. Right. The one share will be trading one fifty shortly to try to mark it down again. That's, that's and, you know, and finger motion still trending down on good news. At the so that GTII looks like someone's trying to cover. The market is up again. No matter what happens, the market continues higher. Tesla's barely hanging on at 183. What's the next? You know, that's a good question. What's the next move in Tesla? You had the quick drop. Do you buy the dip for the rally back? Or do you think it drops more? That's a tough spot to be in, right? Sanjay thinks uh, CJYL will go down, down, down. Well, that's what makes a market. Um, I think it's going to be down $111 today. I think ZJYL is going to be down $111. Where's it now, William? What's it down on the day? I was looking at GTII. It's down uh, uh, 111.11. Nice. I was close. I was off by 11 cents. There you go. We're both right. It's down 40%. So. Um, so just what I wanted to show you, everybody, is we can all do this ourselves. What's the guy's name? CJ, who said it was going to go down? Sanjay. 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 You thought it was going to go down? So did I. But you know what? I don't have the power to make it short. Why don't you get an account and I'll help you out and give me 20% of the profits. I'll help you out, bro. Go get the account. Set it up. Let's go report it to the FBI and the Secret Service that this is what we're going to do. Because you you know you're good at picking out stocks that are going down, so we can do this ourselves. We can make a lot of money. And then what, when after we settle up and I get paid, you go to jail. That's what's going to happen. The game is rigged. If you can keep selling things that you don't have, how could how could the stock stay up? But guess what? Whatever they're doing, it's going to be twenty times worse next week. So good luck. I guess I was wrong about the end of the day short covering, wasn't I? Oh, well. That'll be it. They want to get it down before the vote, I guess. What does that mean? Maybe they want to get it down before the vote. I don't know why that would make any difference. You know what, that you know what, William? Based on that, you're correct. Figure motion, they want to get it down before they present. I got it. It's the same right. thing. I got it. Right. Great. Yeah, fingers 224 last trade. So they want to get it down. They want to get it down before the before the company presents. So it's the same thing. You're right. So you they start you down. start off a lower base. So that's what I guess they're starting with ZJ Way. They want to get it down because they want to what? Sell more shares at a lower price? Or do they want to get people to bail out? That's what they're trying to do. Yeah. 
but no one owns it. No one owns the stock, but a few people. <laughs> they don't even have 300 shareholders. Maybe what you and I'll do on Monday is spend the day telling everyone to sell VJYL. So then they'll start buying it. The criminals will start buying it. I swear sometimes I think they listen to us and try to force it the opposite way. Um, I listen, I have to run, William. I got to go. All right. Thank you. Ma'am. Call ended. All right, guys, um, that was that's a long day and I haven't eaten. I haven't walked my dog and I. Uh, uh, can I help you, son? I got to pee. I got to pee. Um, all right, I don't see any real questions. We've only got six minutes, so we can watch it close. CJYL is 160 to 179. And I really, I sent a text to a friend last night saying, is this an upside down head and shoulders? And it is, and that's what, how it's trading, darn it. See, I don't always trade what, what my intuition is. But the, that 150, that's that trend line. I mean, sort of, right there. So it's all good. Um, if this little drawing is correct, it trades up, comes down, trades up, comes down. It'll trade up, come down a little bit. And then And then it won't have anywhere to go but up, in my judgment. Um, oh, wow. Interactive Holdings holding massive short. Thank you, Jennifer. You're too kind. You don't have to do that. I don't know exactly why I can't show it. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's not coming up. Thank you, Jennifer. You're you're way too kind. Um, uh, let's just see how some of these close. Four minutes to go. Might as well gut it out for that. Um, one sixty-seven to one seventy-eight on ZJYL. Uh, still down one 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 dot one one. Uh, I don't know which ones to highlight to you. GDC is 192. CAUD was down uh, 75 cents. Um, I think I'm too tired to do it now, but there's a new presentation out. I think there's going to be good efforts on this company soon. But, you know, it's not the house, it's the mortgage. They sure took out a bad mortgage with Aubrey's with Aubrey advisors. But you know, I I think the pain will be coming to an end. Um vocals down a bit. I don't know what else to look at. Uh GTII, 25 cents, 24 to 25. And um, CJYL, you know, I just punched up logic 339399. I can't understand why that's not the best thing to buy. I mean, the question is, what value will it have? Will it be worth 10 cents or 50 cents? But they're gonna, they're going to, uh, be acquired in a reverse merger and then uh let me just check hnrc 
can't figure out why that price is so cheap. 30.033. Tesla in trouble? I don't know. He always seems to rally out of it. But they have a lot of shorts going on in Tesla. And uh, let's see, ZJYL, two minutes to go. 170 by 177. 170 by 176. Yeah, that's true. They, they, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, um, dogs, cats, and babies all seem to get along with me very well, but anyone older than, uh, you know, Gullible. Anyone older than gullible? Uh, I'll, DoorDash is a good idea. Yeah, I guess. Um, what's this? I have 305 in my account. Charlie Mack, I think Finger's going to do great over the next few weeks. Um, I would be tempted to buy ZJYL. Look, we don't know. We don't know what's going on. We know that a group of major investors are in it, and maybe institutional help. You don't know. And we know we know everything we've talked about. We know that they're trying to get 500,000 shares out. Why would they do that? Because they have awareness of a major short position. You know, it's like opening a lock without the combination. You got to get all the tumblers to tumble right in the right place. And if it all gets right there, you can open it up. That's what they're trying to do. But um if if you gave me that choice i'd be i'd buy zjyl and i'd say darn it if finger goes i'd say darn it i missed it but my thinking would be charlie mac if zjyl goes it might go to such a level that you can come back and buy finger whether you pay 220 or 420 you're still going to be able to buy enough finger to be happy. I, I don't know. That's my reaction to your question. There, it's really up to you. All right. ZJYL closed at, and survey says, 178. It's 175 by 184.95. Um, GTII closed at uh, 2599. So that's not bad on 500,000 shares. That that picked up. Even CAUD picked up at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it's the end of the day. At the end of the day, it's the end of the day. MMAT was up. Vocal D was up. Well, it was flat, but then aftermarkets, it's up. And finger, down two cents, not a big deal. GDC, up during the day, down slightly after market. Darling. Darling, can't get the right tone. Darling, there's talk around town about a girl who spreads love around. Okay. 
lips of red and eyes crystal blue. Darling, say it's not you. They say she comes in alone. They say her self-respect is all gone. That each night she leaves with someone new. Darling, say it's not you. And each day, oh, at first, what they said, didn't hurt me until they mentioned her name. Then slowly the tears overtook me. Cause her name and yours was the same. I'm looking to see what else. What's the cutoff for to buy Z for the fourth? No one knows for sure, Lou, Louis, Lou, Louis. Um, I've read the dividend quite a bit. I'm not going to bore anybody. I mean, the, the news announcement, the proxy. Boils down to this, Louis. Uh, one director can call for the date. And it has to be done no later than March 31st. The vote is on the uh, 30th of January. So Ham is convinced, and he makes some sense, that it'll start trading right away after that vote on a 20 for, you get 20 shares for one. What I read is in order, on a dividend, and and I think on a forward split, on splits, you have 20 days, sorry, 10 days to notice. So the record date is 10 days out. But Ham gave examples of stocks that immediately started trading the way. So we don't, I don't a hundred percent know, Lewis. If you bought today, you're you're gonna settle by Tuesday. I think that makes that's gonna be fine. Maybe if we're T plus one, you can buy on Monday. Maybe they'll do it off a of trade date. But to be safe, maybe you buy today and, and Monday. My opinion is you're going to have the ability to buy up until February 12th, which is roughly, that's the Monday after the vote. Well, adding 10, 10 days. So we don't, I, we don't know, Lewis. It'll be in the press release. I think Ham's probably right. It'll start right away. But I think they have to notify you of the record date. It's just a difference of opinion. And that notification is 10 days. Shit's getting real for GTII. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go get some water. Where did I learn from the stock market? There's a book called, um, uh, I have it here somewhere. Can't find it. Anyway, it's, um, I never read it, <laughs> but it's the best book if you want to learn about uh, 
investing. Ah, there it is. The intelligent investor. Let me show it to you. It's the best book to buy if you want to buy a book on investing. It's pretty thick. But I've read I've read a lot of books I, over the years, a lot of them. I think the book about Jesse Livermore is a very, I forget the name of it, uh, something about speculations here. I might have it here, actually. Reminiscence of a Speculator or something. Yeah, The Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. That's a good book. I've, I've read that a couple of times. Um, I just heard of another book that I want to get that I never read. But basically, you have to read, Sanjay, and read and read. It's your generation uh, is shortchanged because there's no good newspapers anymore. None. Wall Street Journal, maybe a little bit. But um, I used to read five to six newspapers a day all my life. Uh, I read five or six a day, Washington Post, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, LA Times, sometimes the Baltimore Sun, uh, Investors Daily. Uh, and that might still be all right, Investors Daily. Um, but the, number one, they're all expensive now and they're all complete crap. I mean, there's some articles, the sports sections, maybe business, but they all have a woke agenda. I don't need that. Just let me read it. I used to, I still do sometimes read the New York Post versus the New York Daily. One was conservative back then, one was liberal. Let me make up my mind. I don't need, I don't need a, a woman in the editing room telling me that uh, Marvel, Marvel con comic books that a woman the size of 100 pounds can beat up a man 300 pounds because women is women are powerful doesn't those things don't make sense and i just stopped reading a lot of that uh uh but probably the best thing you can learn about investing is what you know sanjay uh you know probably not listening to everything uh, the one thing about him is he focuses on a couple of things he knows. But then when I hear an idea from him, he, he probably hears 30 ideas a day. But when he picks one out, I know his judgment is good. Does it mean they all work? No. But you, like obviously, many of you guys sold out of, it, of this stock, what is EJYL for a nice profit, and now you're able to buy back in. That's how to trade. Me, I hear it, and I hear that it's going to go to these highs numbers. I want to I want to see if I can participate in that. And that, so that's two different ways of doing it. Sanjay, I do not recommend becoming a day trader. I do not recommend listening to every single stock that comes out and that you need to trade every single one. I try to pick a few, um, but the better thing to do is a, if get to know a stock. The Investors Daily, the guy, I, I, I'm trying to remember the editor's name, William James, maybe? I can't remember, but he had a book. Uh, that I read a long time ago. And he said, when you're young in particular, that you have to concentrate your positions, not diversify. You don't make money diversifying. You pick something you know, and you focus on that because you know it better than anyone else. Then you know when it's cheap, then you know when it's valuable. But I have to say, a lot of my instincts don't work anymore. I don't know that hams always do either. Because there is no price discovery. There, they, you don't get any kind of read. They interrupt it. 
you, there's no tape anymore. There's no bid and ask that make any sense. As soon as it starts to run, they halt or they do other things. So it brings me back to what I started to say is you want to accumulate a position that you know. And eventually when it runs, you hope that you have the courage to get out. In retrospect, we should have all gotten out when Lou told us to go over to COSM. Um, but it, it's never it's never completely a winning game. But Sanjay, I, one thing I've got to tell you is you know more about your generation than I do. I don't know where you're from, if you're in the United States or if you're uh, maybe Pakistani or Indian. But the future, no doubt, the future growth in the world is going to be Southeast Asia, India, parts of Africa, maybe even South America, uh, Russia, I think, Middle East. And the United States, because of our uh, uh, bullheadedness and Europe, we're headed into a period of trouble. And there's, to me, there's no question about it. People on here get upset at me when I bring up Israel, uh, Palestine, or I bring up the United States vis-a-vis -vis Iran, or I bring up uh, Putin, uh, Ukraine, or I mention uh, Biden as it relates to China and corruption and then Taiwan, and, or I question about our, our, our uh, military ability against some of the weaponry the, the Soviets and the Chinese have developed, or uh, uh, the fact that we're in the paper part, the financial moving paper part of our empire. China is building out high-speed trains, factories, patents. Uh, they're, they're even a building a new luxury car with robots that apparently is better than anything uh, out of the United States or Germany. Where are they going to sell it? To their own middle class, to the Middle East, and around the world. So my point, Sanjay, is if you can pick up trends, if you can see where they are, don't listen to this stuff here. The United States of America has, has, has $34 trillion in debt. And I bet by the time uh, Joe Biden leaves office, we could be at 50 trillion or committed to 50 trillion, whether it's a year from now or five years from now, who knows? Uh, whoever replaces Biden, I don't think it'll be Trump. Uh, Maybe it looks like Michelle Obama. I thought she didn't want to run or Hillary, which is my favorite candidate. But there's a battle for the Democratic Party between Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, Jill Biden, and and Kamala Harris, and uh, uh, maybe Nancy Pelosi, where they're glad handing uh, nephew uh, gruesome, gruesome, gleesome. Uh, but they're going to pick somebody to replace Biden after Biden wins. And the, whoever that person is, I'm sure in the most honest, transparent, and unbelievably democratic election, they'll win. But it doesn't matter. We can get caught up in arguments about politics and whether this is censored or whether or not I am woman, I am strong. Uh, uh, hear me in numbers too great to ignore. And the whole world's problems that come singularly from one characteristic. If it's a male and he's white, somehow white women are exempted, but white males uh, straight, that one statistic, that means it's a patriarch, doesn't even make sense on surface. Doesn't even make, why did white men go to war with other white men? Why over all history were white men enslaved by white men? Why over all history were white men 
in Carthage, for example, I don't know if they were all white or in, uh, uh, why did the Germans slaughter other white men? It, 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 the whole argument doesn't make any sense, but that's the world we're in now, Sanjay. I submit to you, while we do this woke agenda in the United States, whatever it's called, DEI and ESG and all those other things, and we get in and we make try to make sure everything's even and everybody everybody that graduates from high school get, graduates summa cum laude and everyone on the on the soft on the baseball team gets a gold cup and you know while while we're doing all that sanjay in india in the middle east in southeast asia in china uh korea these the and, and Parts of Africa and and, and uh, South America, even Central America. These places are working hard, and that's where the economic opportunity is. That's all my point is. I know I go off on some things that don't make any sense, but the United States is lost right now. And uh, so, if if I were investing, uh, I'm not sure I'd buy into American stocks. The I do think we could have a period of time. And Lou Bravo, I think, had the vision to see it. I think that there's going to period be a period where the over-the-counter markets could be really hot. And that might be a chance to make some money. But um, Sanjay, when I got in the market, my memory is the Dow was 680, maybe 630. If I'm wrong, it was, you know, 700. But the point is the Dow is now, whatever it is, 46,000 or something. I, I don't know. Uh, I think the Dow's going to go higher. But where are you going to get that kind of run again? I'm not positive it's going to be in the United States. I mean, I think, I think uh, even though it's disparaged, uh, for example, I heard a good idea from Mark Farber the other night. Uh, REITs in Hong Kong are selling at 70 to 80 percent discount to the value of their buildings. Well, obviously, those buildings maybe are going to go down. Are they going to go to zero? You got to think trends, and you're young enough to think trends, buy and 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 learn learn a space. I personally think Russia, uh, uh, and it's already probably too late for property, but I had a girlfriend, really I did years ago, she was from Russia. She bought a property in Reston, Virginia. I'm sure she's done fantastically on that investment. And then she married and, and I'm sure she's doing very well. But I said to her way back then, why not buy in Russia? Why not buy in Moscow? And I, I don't know how to compare the two. Uh, but I think Russia is going to have the American century. They have energy. They have very little debt. They have gold. They have factories which are producing highly educated uh, populace. China. Uh, anyway. Trading, I think trading should be for smaller amounts of money. Hello? Okay. Well, I'm still live if you want to talk to him. Otherwise, I'm going to hang up shortly. Well, it was, it was a big... Stunning surprise. GDC closed at 191. Finger closed at 226. Um, ZJYL closed at 184.95. And I don't know what other one you want to know about. Oh, <laughs> GTII. Ah, why did I forget that? Twenty five nine nine zero zero. 
All right. I'm not going to go. I got to go. I'm just answering one guy, young guy's question. I'm going to go. All right. Bye. So anyway, Sanjay, um, I'm going to give you the one that I think you should focus on. And I'm going to try to do it with everybody as we make profit. There's one, there's only one asset in the world right now that's trading below its all time high, best I can tell. And it's silver. So I think you can make in silver over, I think you can make a lot of money in silver. And we'll talk about that. Anyway, let's let me go through some of these points qu quickly. Uh, I'm just going to skim them. GME will be, uh, G yeah, okay. Wells Fargo freezing business cards. That's right. And uh, uh, Wells Fargo, also, I think Bank of America might be in more trouble than people, but that's right. Quit yelling. I have sensitive ears. Okay, I'll try to do better. Uh, Spock, I've, one of my problems is I always raise my voice. Um, and then this ear is clogged right now. I went in, but they couldn't see me. So I apologize for yelling, Spock. Um, uh, I never took training in being a broadcaster. So I'm learning as I go. But thank you for pointing it out. Uh, I, I wish I had more success to go along with this story, but when I was young, I followed Pan Am in the business pages and one other company, I can't remember it. I followed two, but number one is I followed Pan Am and I would open up the business pages from when I was eight or nine years old. Um, and I did it all my life. But then when I went to college, um, I didn't go into business. I studied economics, but I was fascinated by government. I loved all the subjects. I was fascinated by government and, uh, but other things too. I wish, you know, you make one choice, you can't do the others. But, um, yeah, I, I, and I always, I enjoy deals. The other thing is don't do business with partners. Don't do business with partners. Uh, try to do them on your own and make, make the people you work with your employees. Partners let, let you down. And if you introduce people, um, even if it's a really good friend you've known for years, to someone that's a friend and they're your partner, once they meet each other, they're going to say, what do we need Sanjay for? It's just human nature. And uh, they all do it. Not all of them, not all of them, but enough. Um, I would be very careful doing business um, Across, if you're other than investing, well, yeah, you're not, you're talking about stock investing, so I'll keep that comment out. Um, there's going to be Sanjay trouble ahead. I think there's going to be a huge rally in the Dow and the Nasdaq. Um, I think the Nasdaq could get to the, not the Nasdaq, the S and P 500 could get to seven thousand, for example. In that period, I think it'll be an opportunity to start buying, paying off your debt, buying physical assets uh, uh, that no one is thinking about right now, oil and gas. But you've got you got to be counter trend. Sometimes you go with the trend, but you got to be counter trend. And I got to warn you, Sanjay. I think that there could be such devastation in the stock markets that one or two generations won't invest anymore. And, uh, but there's still a chance to make money 
There's always, it doesn't go away. It doesn't go away. Start with that book, thick. Start with that one. All right. Um, Gusta las, I, I, I don't, I better not read that out. All right, Lucky, hang on. Uh, NVIDIA is good for you in long term. Yeah, but NVIDIA is so priced to perfection. So priced to perfection. You know what? I, I'm not going to contradict you. It, it's it's a great stock. But if you could study artificial intelligence and pick the one company that's going to prevail there, wow, wow. I if, if CAUD hadn't done such a shitty financing, I think they're going to build out a powerful company. I really do. So the opportunity is the price is low, but it, it takes some, you know, wiping away the mud on the windshield to look inside. Yes, yeah, Sanjay, uh, Ham did a good job. Do I think my car? Thank you, MFN. Well, don't don't get complacent with GTII. I really mean what I say. I think it's time uh, for a cool change. I really think it's time. Direction, purpose, action, and it's going to need. It's going to be, it's going to need a uh, set of hands that's on your side, but also understands what's going on and doesn't have, doesn't have self glory in mind. Um, well, yeah, Lou, everybody makes mistakes. Um, That's so cool. Six years old math professor. I wish I had learned more, arith you know, math. Uh, uh, horse picking, too. I like that. Um, I have a friend who can look at a sheet and he can pick out probabilities. He's not very good in real estate, but he's good in, in, uh, in uh, stocks. Uh, Robert, I'm thinking of going up myself. I don't know how to get those passes, but I have to look. I got to make sure I can uh, uh, leave my dog for a day. But anyway, I have all weekend to talk about that. Uh, what am I speaking? I was trying to sing a song, darling, there's talk around town about a girl who spreads love around, lips of red, eyes crystal blue, darling. It's a Keith Richards song, believe it or not. It's actually George Jones, but Keith Richards uh, sang it. Um, Ukraine lost the war before it started. I know, Keith. I know. And uh, I think it's a proxy so we can go after the Soviets. All right, I got to go walk my dog. Michelle, let me just quickly scan, 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 scan. Um, so many lessons. One uh life to live yeah but you know what don't put it all on one day don't put it all on one day don't put it all on one day all right i'm gonna go walk my dog i'm gonna sign off because he's been so patient uh i've got to close all these things uh, i might just turn off my computer because it's freezing but uh, as there, I can hit it. As usual, I wish everyone peace, love, and happiness.
Uh, don't get all stressed out. Remember to take some money off the table. Maybe we should have done it this morning uh, uh, or not. Um, there's, I, there's not much more. Let's all go back to GTII. Um, yeah, and then uh, uh, let me start at the beginning. Uh, it's been about it's been about seven hours. I'll I'll uh, start at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, please, when you think of it, pray for peace uh, around the world and and pray for each of you that are working to fight so hard to expose this fraud. So many people. Um, uh, uh, I feel like if if you have uh, goodness in mind, a prayer for Anna, Queen of Trades, would would be great for her. Um, she works so hard, and then and it's draining, you know, uh, it's draining. And uh, of course for Jenny L, and that's about it. Um, yeah, exactly. Can I help you, son? I got to pee, so I have to go. I've got to go, and my dog's probably got to go, and we'll catch you on down the highway. I wouldn't touch rum. I wouldn't touch rum, uh, but I don't have any specific. I don't have any specific reason other than he didn't listen to Ham's advice. So to me, the risk in rum is they're going to go through the same mistake all these CEOs go, and which is to listen to the liars. The liars dress up, and they're the devil in disguise. All right. I got to run and I'm I'm a little down about my tennis uh, uh but I'll get over that. Anyway, cheers.